am definitely live, man. Let's do it. And look who we don't have here today. <laughs> That's okay. You feel me? It's all good. Orange is in the chat. Orange is in the chat right now. You feel me? Heather, what you got for me, man? Yerna, <laughs> it's Friday. Back on Fig. It is a beautiful Friday. Uh, we have the host, T-Rail, in the building. I'm trying to do it like smack, y'all. We have, <laughs> we have Hakeem in the building. We have Hakeem's friend. What's your name? My name's Tony Stark. Tony Stark in the building. And we have me, Heather, the co-host, in the motherfucking building. Yeah! Let's go! Man, we don't have house phone here. So, again, this is his second strike. We're not even going to go third strike. So, we just going all the way fuck house phone. You know what I mean? Like, why? Fuck who? Fuck who? Fuck who? Mine neither. Mine ain't either. But oh, fuck wait. it. Oh, oh no, y'all headphones. We can turn them on. They got all headphones on. Them, you know what I mean? oh. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yes, there we go. They trying to hear. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> hey, I know they was talking shit. Oh my god, I'm yeah, already they was talking that shit. They was talking yes, that sir. shit, man. You feel me? What we hear? Big house phone in the building. Hey, big phones in the chat, man. Hey, man. Shout out to my boy Hakeem. Shout out to Heather. Shout out to my nigga Tony. Shout out to T Rail, man. We in the building. We in yeah, the man, building, we here. Man, yeah, man, you feel me? This might be me and Hakeem first time on camera in a long ass time. This is nostalgic right let, here. I want to. It's crazy, right? This is I very nostalgic. I want to really just, you know, let the record reflect on that. It's just they. Um, are you you were screaming? Your health your headphones are screaming? No, no, no. Are you no. just trying to I was look just, good in the I camera? I was just fixing my fixing my hat up real quick. You know what I mean? Got to make sure. It's, Gotta make sure the drip was good. Oh, that is crazy. Yo, we can do fit checks. You feel me? <laughs> Big fit checks in the building. Um, Everybody's but, icy today. Man, golly. I mean, look, man, pause. But <laughs> 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 this is the first time you guys have been on camera together in, in like how many years, years, bro? How many like years? years, bro? Literally At least years. Six, nah, six, like seven, four. four. Like years? four. Like and like four years. Because what one thing I feel like people don't even like realize is that I talk to this nigga all the time, bro. Yeah, yeah. this nigga live, we live around the corner from each other, bro. Yeah, we, we're now new neighbors. You feel me? I mean, but they they thought it was a beef. Because the last time y'all was on camera, y'all was on that other platform. Yeah. Yep. I uh, was on camera. That was, a, yeah. The other guys. The other guys. Yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> he was trying to make us go against you. You know what I'm saying? House phone, you know. He uh, go I, I never you. was going for that, though. You went for that shit. Oh, God, I wasn't. <laughs> yes, you did. You was talking Nick. bad about me. You was talking bad about me. Never. 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 Mm -hmm. Like being like, bro, he Hakeem got his finger on the pulse right now, bro. Like you, I did see clips like that. Come on, bro. I always shouted you out, bro. I that's, did see clips. Niggas like that. know that that's cap. I've been shouting my nigga out for years, bro. Saying that he know what the fuck going on. He got all the new people. You feel me? Yeah. I've, been, I've been giving my nigga his flowers, bro. We gonna get to that though. Yeah, for sure. Man. For yeah. sure. Hakeem in the building. We got a house phone in the building, man. We bringing it all together, man. People that's supposed to be brought together. Look at the. Why would you not want niggas like us? Come on. What? <laughs> right. Look at this. Oh, man. Are you stupid? Right. Better live it. Walk in the building, it's icy. You feel me? Better live it. Spiral oh, stairs, nigga. It's been stupid, Spiral better live it. Better live it. I actually, I actually learned that phrase last time I was here. What, better live it? Better live it. It's definitely stayed with me. It stuck with you, right? Yeah. Better I went to my house sport. and I was like, wow. Better this shit is better with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm wow. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. My boy, my boy don't got no spiral steps yet, but he better live dot com for sure. Oh, I'm, no, I'm on my way to that. I'm trying no. to work to that. He man. got pieces. Hey, that nigga definitely. That nigga he be got posting, pieces. He be posting the scenic view of the balcony and shit with DJing it at three in the morning. My nigga I be do. better living up. That's me trying yeah. to seduce a bitch. I DJ for them at like three in the morning. Like, nigga yeah, be playing reggae, reggae tone on the DJ thing at fucking five in the morning. <laughs> That's crazy. With the sun, the sun rising and shit. <laughs> you got these know. niggas in the building, man. Yes, sir, man. You feel me? Big oranges in the chat house phones. You put me put the phones in the chat for my boys, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We almost got 4,000 people in here already. Make sure y'all like the video, you feel me? Make sure y'all like the video. If you ain't already subscribed to the channel, 
Uh, subscribe to the channel, man. We don't know what the fuck Heather watching. You feel me back there? But it's all good. Yeah, you know I man. It's all good. This, it's is, all this good. is technically a, a Black Friday stream. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. Yeah. That's For why sure. all the niggas linked up. Damn. Yeah. We was tired of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna tie a nigga up today. Y'all ain't gonna tie us up. Ain't no yeah. Black Friday doing nothing. Hey man, I seen a lot of niggas trying to boycott Black Friday. I'm like, hold on, I'm a, I dropped today. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Yeah. No. No. That's why they made up that Cyber Monday shit. Bro, yeah. see, but you know what though? Like, I wasn't privy to all that, so mm -hmm. I kind of felt bad. I'm like, damn, I'm doing my drop on black but see but but i will say mm -hmm. the drop that i did today was like a regular drop it wasn't it wasn't no 50 percent off but you know tap in with us on cyber monday we're gonna have that yes sir yeah tap in yeah. man now nah, the shoes went crazy though bro thank you i man, seen that the pair uh sam gave to little tyler the pink one hey shout out to hey shout out to hakeem bro so look I was doing my photo shoot at the same space that Hakeem was about to interview Lil Tyler at, right? So shout out to my boy Sam from OGM. I gave him a pair of shoes and he handed them off to Lil Tyler. You feel me? As supposed to, As man. Suppo but he a real nigga, bro. Shout out to my nigga Sam for but that, But you bro. ain't giving me nothing. Oh, you know what's crazy? I did bring you some stuff, actually. Whoa. So, oh, because I was actually like, you gave all oh, the oh, rest oh. of these niggas some shoes. I ain't gave wait, me wait. nothing. I don't got no shoes yet, but I brought you some shirts. Yeah, come on. Okay, I need the shoes too. Oh no, we got you. We got <laughs> you. Oh, my <laughs> boy, icy. My come boy on, got back. Big tail, come big on. tail, the big tail, yeah. the big tail look, look, this is actually the this is the back on fig personalized pack. First of all, because oh, wow. you know what I'm saying like I know y'all be fucking with Hellstar. I know you like orange, so I had to go into the vault and go get you some Hellstar designed high rollers. Actually, and, and this, this is actually for Heather. Actually, by the way, oh love this that. This one's for wow. Heather. Here you Thank go. Thank you. Oh, designed that. Nigga, nigga yeah, Oprah yeah. right now. Now. Yeah, shout out to <laughs> shout out to Shawnee, bro. Shawnee designed this. I don't know, T Row, you kinda small, but I got you a medium, bro. I mean, that's too small. I mean go crop. I think it's style, right? <laughs> we go crop. See, wait, crop wait, is wait. in style right well, now. Yeah, crop is in style. Wait, I also, I also, you know how to you know how to pull out the black the blue and orange for you too, my nigga. Come on, bro. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, already know, man. Lisa seven seven seven. Yeah, you feel me? Hey, shout out to shout out to Hellstar Shawnee for designing these, man. I got Heather one too. Thank you. I got them on deck. You feel me? But I will. Your show, shoes coming soon though. Big high yeah. rollers, man. Yeah, big high rollers. Man. In the chat. already know what's up, man. Big high rollers. In the Tap in with us, man. The drop went crazy today. What's the? What's you know what I'm saying? Tap in with the like, psych. You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't sure crap out. Dot com. Don't crap out. Dot com. We only got a couple sizes left. We've been selling out all motherfucking days. Every time, yeah. I, every time you talking about some Love shit, that. you only got some couple sizes left. Nigga, because my shit been bullshit. going, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to oh get nothing away. Yeah, that nigga yeah. bullshit. That's a marketing tactic. Yeah, no, we only got a couple sizes. Yeah, no, like, for real. For real. Listen, the pants sold out, the hat sold out, the fleece is sold out. We got a couple hoodies and we got a couple shoes left. So go tap in with us for the one time you feel me. Hey, yeah. hey speaking of fashion, I seen y'all do y'all fits on the streets in New York. I seen y'all. Mm. Seen that? I did I see that. that. I oh. like Murder Vibrato. He liked that shit. I oh, said, shout there you go. <laughs> shout out to Murder Vibrato. I like shout all of that. Shout yeah. out to Fitz from the streets. He's shout tight. out Fitz from yeah. the streets, that was man. Dope. Shout yeah. out Fitz from the streets. Y'all was literally just posted up outside. He just came up to y'all. He was at the show, yeah. Shout out to oh, him. Oh, yeah. pulled up to the show? Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's up to crazy. the show, man. How was that? Dude? You know, that was, that was dope to see because, you know, you guys being now doing your show on the East Coast to really see that other side of the market. What was that like? Man, just, man, to be in New York was a different type of energy. And I'm going to just say, like, they actually, it's just fly. You feel me? Like, the culture is just vibrant. You feel me? They take this shit serious. Fashion, food. Mm -hmm. yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like, it's just, like, it's serious out there. I'm not even going to lie. Like, it's really serious. And I was like, I really can move out here. I just said this shit about four, five times. But, you know, if it wasn't expensive, as expensive as L.A., mm -hmm. we out of here. Yeah. Nah, yeah. for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, at least. When I, I got to do, like, two years in New York. Like, that, like when of I'm, course. like, 30-something, like, I got to live out there for two years. Man. Sure. You know Just I mean? really, like, soak in that. Yeah, yeah like, go and you go see. Because I'm like, this should look fake. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> Just walk this Spider-Man really was, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was right here, like. I keep forgetting. You know, Spider-Man was really right here. <laughs> yeah. I keep forgetting niggas was being cheap, and you didn't come with us to New York when we when we all went to New York. Yeah, yeah, you know, because niggas don't know what's going on. They didn't, you know what I mean? The, the business side of mm. things, you know, they was just kind of new to that, you know, where mm. they talk about business and shit. Mm. Motherfuckers really didn't know what the fuck that, you know, mm. was going on. Yeah, and you know, like, you got to get your people's flights, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah get your people's flights. Niggas, and you don't pay nobody. Yeah, yeah, you just start doing that shit. 
Yeah, yeah man. man, he just started doing this shit, man. Well, fuck that nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. And we doing, you feel we smoking on all packs, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> <laughs> Christ. Bitch. But yeah, no, so... Um, JK. Y'all, y- y- yeah. did the, y'all did the show at the Gramercy Theater. Yes, sir. How was it, bro? And, man, Gramercy Theater was... Uh, like I said, it was another level, man. In New Yorkers, they yeah. take everything really serious they ain't really indulge in the culture you feel me like they they're really detailed so i didn't really have to put on no fucking show you know mm-hmm. what i mean they just wanted to speak y'all kind of are the show us. already though you feel yeah. me yeah like i mean that too but they really just wanted to be vocal they wanted to speak to us you feel me they was hollering yeah yo nigga what's the deal at what happened like damn you don't even need a mic <laughs> they were intense facts. damn yeah like they were intense shut up suck a dick <laughs> so y'all y'all were doing like crowd work the, like pretty much the crowd the was working themselves <laughs> yeah literally That's fire, the bro. whole time like we really was potting with them so it's like the live chat right in front of us. Okay, oh, wow. I got a, I got a, I got a crazy question. What the fuck happened with academics and him going crazy on somebody on stage? He was on stage and they was talking shit, and it was just a lot, bro. What the fuck happened with that? Man, I fuck with academics. You feel me? <laughs> and motherfuckers say he don't come outside, which he don't. But when he came outside, he popped had, out for y'all. He popped out, you know, for some real ones. But niggas had a lot, of, a lot to say, but he didn't back down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that'd be the first thing we'd be looking at. Like, let's see if he backed down or let's see what's going on. Like, you know, because he was you, standing in front of his He stand, he, like, he was standing did. on business, period. Like, and he said, I'm the richest nigga in the, in the, in the <laughs> building. <laughs> in the building. He said, I'm the richest nigga in a 10 mile radius. <laughs> <laughs> what is y'all niggas talking about? That was, that you was you some fuck shit with right me, there. You from New Jersey, suck a suck dick. A dick. <laughs> that that gave niggas a platform to talk shit for the first time in person. Bro. And then the nigga came up to the stage and I'm like, what if bro just grab academics by the ankle and just we pull him off the stage? It would have oh been the God. last live show that young man would have went to. We would have mauled We'd that have got nigga packed in out there, bro. Sure. Is you I'm crazy? Like, how are you from this city and our state and everybody hates you? I mean, they he got a lot, of, he got a lot to say. They right? were like booing him when he came out. And- See, but you got you to gotta think about it like, really? I feel like the, the viewers of academics stream and y'all stream are kind of no, that I put different. It, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's different to where like y'all really got like y'all got the YouTube streets on lock. Yeah. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. He, kept, he kept saying y'all got gangsters in here. Nah, nah, hundred percent. He was looking at the crowd. He was like, "Nigga, these niggas is gangsters." And, and I was telling uh, Heather before before we even started, like, "Yo." Y'all got some bad bitches that be too oh, into God, this shit. For you real. know how many times I'm like bagging little bitch. I'm like, yo, so what you be watching? Uh, she's like, I love back on Fig. I'm like, I love Heather. I'm like, damn, like damn. multiple times. Bitches like, really be like, that. bitches be like, oh my God, Heather Sanders follows you. Like, crazy. oh my God, I'm like, yeah. you been on back on Fig? You ever seen a Family Channel? Yeah, nigga <laughs> culture. Hey, <laughs> yeah. you know how it's I know. Culture. You know it how goes. I knew I fucked with y'all before I even met y'all. Like when T. Rell first came over to uh-huh. platform, platform, nigga, I was really sitting there watching y'all shop for doorknobs for oh. the crib, bro, oh, on the wow. Family Channel. Oh, and wow. I'm like, hey, these niggas is funny. Like <laughs> they really like. I'm fucking with this. I'm watching the Family Channel, man. That's when I thought T. Rell was a nice guy. He's a very nice guy. <laughs> That's when I thought. Family. He was Terrell like, loves the kids. Nah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, he loves the kids. Big he also ready vibes. to punt some kids too. At the same time. <laughs> you gotta get older. You gotta get older. Like, they still gonna be your kid though, but you gotta get older though. Nah, you but just I mean? just know I was like, I, I seen the family vision from from early on. You feel me? I was like, okay, I'm fucking with this. Yeah, and yeah. that's still the vision. Nah, for right? sure. That's, that's still the vision. vision. That's still the vision. That's still what niggas don't do. That's still mm. it's, that's still what niggas is having a hard time doing. Yeah, that's, that's just that, crack, right there, that yeah. shit was cracking on its own before yeah. you even before y'all even did this. Yeah, yeah, for real. Like Nigga. so, yeah, I've been had a plaque. I just you know what I mean. We just let it go. That part. You know what I'm saying? Before we even came been over here boys. to do it. Yeah, before we came over here and did this shit, we just let the family shit go because we didn't kind of like. My my thing it was like, damn, how do I get in here with all these corny niggas? Mm. I don't fit. You feel me? Mm. Like, I don't fit. Like, it don't fit the family channel. Whoa! <laughs> like, it didn't fit that. I didn't fit. Like, I was trying. I was like, ah! That's where the fucking uh, skincare shit came from. Oh. I'm doing, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm yeah, trying to do what they what do. what I do before I go to sleep. Yeah, like, if she trying to make me do it, I'm doing it. Oh, shit. You feel me? Like, 
it was even a time where it was like shit was going viral, like the husbands and and fiancés, whatever was doing they uh wife makeup. That's kind of crazy. And you know what I mean. And it was going Absolutely. viral, millions of views. And I was like, man, I'm like nigga ain't gonna question my guy. I'm, I'm gonna fuck with you, Heather. Like. <laughs> Nah, I don't do that one. <laughs> I'm glad she, she I didn't ever well. do that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Wait, if I did that, oh, I'd have been done. Wait, 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 wait. Well, the real question done. is why? Why did you stop him from doing that, Heather? Fair to say, because I know who he is. I know where he comes from, and I know even his friends before we were on this shit were gonna clown him for doing mm. it. And I'm like, you don't gotta do it. Like we're not that corny. We kind of had to enter into like a little corny phase because that's what we thought we had to do to like be a YouTube family. Like we gotta be a little corny because. But now we're just like we're just gonna be our fucking self. You yeah. and look at us like that. And look not? at it. Look yeah. at it. It's going up. Mm. Exactly. It's, it's going up, it. not down. Exactly. Yeah. It's going crazy, man. I got my boys in the building, man. You feel me? We gonna turn up one time, man. Who you letting crash out first, me or them? <laughs> they not here to crash out. They want to see you live. Oh, they want to see me crash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only, I'm only here for the girls that are gonna be like, oh, you're on back oh, on feet with Heather. I see you on there when she crashed out. All the shorties that's like, oh my god, Heather Sanders follows oh. you. That's what I'm here for. Oh, yeah, god. man, god. niggas is here, man, in the building, man. One time, man, they wanna, you, you feel me, <laughs> Heather? You know, you, a, a lot of the things that I said, my, I might have, I, I, I know my, I said some crazy shit, and I'm gonna stand on it because mm -hmm. once you say some shit about my family, so. Mm, yeah. yeah You know what I mean Once you say some shit About the handicap thing I can either be nice And clown with you back Or I'm just going all out I feel like you never Like You never even took that shit Too seriously Nope Like at one point It was getting kind of redundant Like okay Like that's the only joke Niggas had towards you mm. yeah. At one point But I feel like you never Really tripped on that joke, you feel me? No, I'm a no. sensitive ass nigga, bro. If niggas would have kept hit it, I would have been like, all right, listen, man, fuck y'all. All right, <laughs> like, chill out with that shit, bro. How sensitive are you? Cause I had a lot of jokes for you. I'm already knowing. I'm honestly, oh shit, I'm honestly really surprised that. Whoa! You, I'm already knowing, but listen. Oh no, you you was letting them fly when you was mad at me, nigga. Don't think I didn't see. I seen him for sure. You ball. That nigga was waiting. He was waiting. He was waiting for me to piss him off so he could let them jokes fly, bro. Oh my god. That nigga, he was in there oh right. He said every day he was like this. No, literally, literally, he's he was taking notes. But you know what though? So what happened? I had you fucked up. So I was like, I'ma let him I'ma let him get it off, bro. I ain't even had no rebuttal, you feel me? Dude. That's what we not wait, I, what you mean what happened? That's Yo. what we not doing. <laughs> oh, oh, we so not now. doing no play by play, play bro. Right now. Now. I can do the play by play Yo, real quick. No. I can do the no. I can do the play by play real quick. Listen, listen, I've been doing this for years. I'm a tiptoe around everything you answer ask so <laughs> do your thing say whatever the fuck I'm gonna say crazy. nigga I'm about to go right around you my boy so oh, that bro. night alright here we go <laughs> you was drinking alright he said hold on I don't know but if uh, is it <laughs> you like fuck it you know what I mean like did you question it hey listen man just like you said you know once you say some shit you gotta stand on it so I already said what I said. You could go back on on the other platform and go watch the rebuttal if right. you want. If you want some answers, oh. you feel me? Oh, there you man. go. You know, see, just like that, I never go, really go go give bro some more views if you want the answer. Oh, okay. They gotta go see it over. They there. gotta go see it on over there. Throwing cups and all all those shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, but listen, that's when my leg was fucked up, man. I couldn't get over there, the bro. Fast that's leg. The cup, I know you can relate to that. I couldn't get yeah, over there. Yeah, fast yeah, enough. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, the cup set. I would. <laughs> I wanted to catch a fade. I couldn't get over there fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. That hey, listen. I really need to just bank him one day and get it over. He just needs to be oh fucked up. Oh, my God. Hey, listen, no, listen. Listen, I ain't going to oh hold you, though. Man. We went we went outside. We went outside. I was out. I was about to hop in the car. I'm out. Right? Yeah. So... Big, big uh, and, and bro came outside after me mm -hmm. on some, like, all right, you're, you're you're done. Can we talk now? Type shit. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm like, nigga, if you come over here, I'm about to fire your shit up, bro. Do not come near me, bro. Yeah. And then you know, shout out to my nigga A Dizzle man, A D and, and Lush was like, bro, you can't leave on a note like that. You gotta come. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. But you feel me? We went back in. We talked it out or whatever. All that weird shit. But I don't know, man. I wasn't feeling it still. I was like, I can't. I can't go As back. As a friend. Mm -hmm. As a longtime friend, he was. He was say. 
he was saying his mind, and that is so crazy to me. I could say that, that in you, my mind too, for sure. And you're not a friend. Oh, it, oh, oh. you would break it down to say like never was my friend. Who I he was, said that yeah, or I said that? He said that. Oh, really? Like never was like my friend. I didn't kick it with him. I don't hang with him. He on never said basis. that. That's cap. He did. I've definitely seen y'all niggas kick it mad. Time. I was like, about what to say, say if he wasn't my friend like if he, that. If, if he, he did, wasn't my friend. I, he, if I, he did say that, if he did say that for real, for real, that's some straight up bullshit because, nigga, I met him as the homie. Yeah. And then he he brought me onto the platform or whatever. So at the end of the day, bro, like, you know, that shit did give me a little opportunity. And a lot of people know me from that and whatever the case may be. But it really did start off as that was legitimately, that was legit, the homie. And it became a, a business relationship after that. So mm. if he really said that he, we was never homies, that's crazy. That's that's just a straight up lie. <laughs> Nigga, it's proof. It's video proof yeah. of years and years of us hanging out. Like, you feel me? <laughs> that first thing when you first seen that shit, though, like, were you like, nah, he curated? Te- he he texted me about it <laughs> separately on some, like, funny shit. And I'm like, Nigga, this shit ain't funny, bro. Like, come on. Like. And this is the thing, though, because I told Hakeem this when him and Hakeem got into it the first time. Bro, you have to, if you're going to accept somebody into your life, whether it's a friendship, Mm. business relationship, whatever the case may be, nigga, you have to fully understand that person, understand what kind of person that person is. So you shouldn't be like, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, I wasn't blindsided by that. We'll say that. You feel me? I think you, when it's person constantly does certain things you kind of just realize who and they that are. wasn't and, and, you know and, what I mean and like, you know I'm not about to go air out a bunch of shit but that wasn't the first time he did some some weird shit or some some funny shit but also I can't even see her and lie act like he didn't help me out in, in oh, a lot yeah. of ways too at the same time you feel me like even even after me leaving he helped me out before so mm-hmm. it is what it is but that wasn't the first or last time no that wasn't the first time but that was the last time yeah on my mama the last time you ever I'm doing, not taking no disrespect from you no more after that. Like you you're never going you over to do anything. You permanently altered my life by by putting that out, by like ex- exposing that, whatever. And it's not even that I don't even that I give a fuck about it that much, it's everybody else do. Yeah. And like nigga, I wake I see that shit in my DMs, in my comments, nigga, in my ex's <clears throat> comments. Like niggas got shit to say about that shit every day. So you feel me? I can't respect it. And I don't respect the fact that niggas was trying to act like he paid for my mom's funeral, all this other shit, bro. Like that shit's a dub, you feel me? Cause that's I, not even the case. And I fuck with you though, man. You I feel fuck me? with you too, and I my fuck nigga. With you, man. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then you know, it, you know, I ain't, I ain't here to bash nobody. You just you know, here to you know, let motherfuckers know that you know it was it's real. It was in the in the building. You know, it was real genuine motherfuckers. And yeah. You know, you 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 when you stop fucking with a motherfucker, you it's just a it's a pattern. Where, there, you mm. know what I mean? Where motherfucker pick at you and stop mm-hmm. fucking with you, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Always has something to say about you, you know what I mean? Type shit. Hey, type for sure, you feel me? And one of those was this young man back here, you know what I mean? Like, it was always something, you feel me? Like, we never was like, bro, he yeah. good. Like, what is he, what are you, why, why you keep fucking with that nigga? Like, why do you, look yep. at this, look at these, look at the views. Look at this, Look at this, it's all, <laughs> oh. you know, I knew it was kind of looking at me, you know what I'm saying? You. Yeah. Oh, oh, he was talking shit be, about me. Oh, we'd yeah. be in the group chat and he'd be like talking shit for sure. But, oh, know, wow. I, I knew it was kind of, you know, I knew it was kind of, you know, kind of come, it'll kind of come to us too because you know the motherfucker, it's a pattern with that type yeah. of shit. So, and I'm seeing it right now, you, you know, and that's why I was just like, you know, it's a pattern. Then you read what you why saw. Why is man. every, my, my thing yeah. with Adam is like, why is everything about views? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, Bro, you're out here just doing all types of wild, crazy shit for views. Like, bro, you need to, like, you know what I mean? Have some type of fucking moral stand ground, nigga. Like, like, bro, like, it's not all about views, bro. Like, you know what I mean? There's legacy. There's things you're leaving behind for the world. There's, you know, you know. Yeah, really all that, honestly. I mean, yeah, you got to have some type of integrity about this shit and some type of moral. Everybody don't really kind of care about that type of shit. And you yeah. kind of lean on it to make it and, seem and, like and that's, doing And work. that's actually, you know, one of the reasons why, you know, I get such dope interviews and, you know, people actually fuck with me and something mm-hmm. that probably will never, you know, happen for him again is just like, bro, like some people aren't capable of standing across from you because of the type of shit you do. Yeah. Like, do you not understand that? Like, it's just, it's just who you are as a person, you know, People actually have like moral <laughs> things. They're yeah. just like, bro, we can't fuck with That's that. That's why I said you gotta, you always be chasing motherfuckers. Now your your the shit is trash. You know what I mean? Nobody want to go there. Nobody want to fuck with it. You always be chasing, acting Vlad for the rest of your life. Now you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, our generation music, like his yeah. platform, is supposed to be uh 
our generation music on So steroids. many of Terrell's famous friends have, like, Terrell reached out to them when he was over on the other platform, mm-hmm. like, come through, and they're like, no, I'll no. never come through there because it's a joke. Like, it's a joke. I don't even know why you're over there. You need to leave. Like, yeah. Yeah. it's a it's a joke. Like, you, you degrade the black men that sit, acro- uh, that sit across from you. I don't even know why any black men go over there and sit with him the way he did zo osama had me sick to my stomach yeah like he disrespected him so much like zo osama needs him and i don't understand why people think that we need this platform that buys subscribers anyways he buys subscribers i've seen the receipts you buy subscribers like boy Nobody, nobody should sit Speak over there. It's it. not helping you. You're helping him. At the end of the day, you are helping this white man. And he's sitting here degrading these black men. Like, nobody ever should sit across from him. He, does, he doesn't care about us. He doesn't, you don't help. Like, you're not helping. You're, he's not helping your career. You're helping his at the yeah. end of the day. So, I just, I, he's just whack. It's a fucking zoo over there. It's crazy over there. And I, I thought it was interesting him saying that, oh your guys' views are at a certain place and this and that. And it's like, bro, I was there when No Jumper views were down too. Like, what are you talking about? Like, this is a cycle of content creating. Like, things go up and down. Like, for everybody. Mr. Yeah. Beast, all across the board. There's TV ratings. Shows go up. Show, there's good episodes. There's bad episodes. That's just a part of creating. You right. just have to keep that shit going. Right. You gotta keep it going. Yeah. You know what I'm it's just consistency <laughs> at the end of the day. Like, I remember... You know, at a time when I first was going on that run of doing all those crazy interviews and we were looking at the numbers at No Jumper and it was, just crazy. Like, it was just like, what the fuck? This shit got 20K, 30K, which is nothing wrong with that. At the end yeah. of the day, it's just like, it's a part of it. It's, it's like, part of the you game, now bro. feeling like ah, I'm up because your shit's probably doing a little bit better now. But it's just a part of the game, bro. Everybody's shit goes up and down. That's yeah. fine, but... But we doing good though. Doing this. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. where you supposed to be at, and you ain't doing this. Not with so this nigga. Stop it! You feel me? ASAP Barry, you feel me? Come on, my nigga. You got yeah, Zach I mean, I, 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 here. Yeah, I ain't giving no flowers on that nigga. Oh, you can go, you can go to somebody out, else. Yeah, okay, but we can <laughs> you can go to we, somebody we, else. We, we can go nah. cold bitty. You feel oh me? yeah, yeah. We can sure. go cold bitty one time. We can go shout here. Out, shout out to cold bitty. Yeah, we can go there. For sure, for like, sure. Like, this is what niggas are supposed to be doing, man. I mean, Stop bro, playing, bro. you know, you feel me, with people platforms. Why would I be sitting around here looking up to somebody like you, man, is sitting around and looking at you? They stop it, man. And nah, he's definitely pigeonholed his 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 sense of growth and, you know, um, who he yeah. can sit in front of, like, and who would even want to even sit in front of this dude. It's like, there is a certain respect level in life that, you know what I mean, like, you just you're never gonna have bro can we can just we never really, gonna have that can we really be honest bro nigga ain't nobody out here that got the that that real next generation of the huge stars besides hakeem bro nigga i ain't never even seen another ye interview besides yeah, besides bro interview. with drake now come on bro you know what i mean on and the it's drake like, album i know for a fact a lot of the people that you know have Gave me, you know, some of their first interviews have looked Bro, at me and said lonely. they would, they they would never Kim go Carson. on No Jumper. They were just, they're just like, I'm never going on that place. That nigga's weird. Like, <laughs> just simple, like, yo, that nigga is weird. Too, and he's like, young, the youth. I mean, right now I see him trying to get some young cats over there doing, you know, I'm actually happy mm-hmm. for the young niggas, you know, getting the opportunity for sure, these new young kids. But it's like, at the end of the day, there's still the fact that people are like, No Jumper, that nigga, weird. Hey, 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 look, I, I, I'm, I, I'm going to give y'all like the quickest story real quick about somebody that y'all had um, back on Fig, bro. But let's just say um, I ran into Vince Staples randomly at a restaurant one time. And I was like going because like, this is right when his uh, like Ramona Park broke my heart album came out. I was listening to that shit every day, bro. And I remember I was about to go say what's up to him. And he basically was just like, I fuck with you. And like it, it threw me off because I was like, what? So like I was talking to him and I long story short, I kind of was like, bro, you gotta pull up. Like I'm trying to pitch myself, yeah. like, yo, you gotta pull up. And he was just like, uh, like not doing that, but yeah. keep doing your shit type shit. And it's yeah. like like niggas don't know, un- don't see that part. So they don't understand, like, that's how a lot of motherfuckers that are up here, that's how they feel about that shit. They might fuck with you or, or, or fucked with us back then, but they not gonna go up there. They're not. I, mean, not. I ain't never seen nigga. That nigga sitting across on the couch with y'all. Schoolboy Q. These niggas like, come Told on, bro. Me no, never. niggas is so not doing. Bro, yeah. we got we got grandmas. Nigga, our grandmas not that like. Hey, grandma, you did an interview with who? Like that man, nigga? Man, it's crazy. You just gotta give people <laughs> our a family, credit. You our gotta moms, stop trying like, to like 
Decredit motherfuckers We was in there Doing our thing Then we wanna just Come get personal with us Like this motherfucker Just in there doing their thing And I feel sorry For niggas like Josh man you, you I talk with about, Josh I ain't gonna you, hold you And you just sitting here Talking about you Like you so business savvy Like you had a payroll Set up nigga When we nigga, first got Josh there Nigga Josh changed The whole landscape And shit man, yeah. man, when, Josh is the when reason Why in. you in that building Josh the reason Why yeah. you got a payroll Structure Long, He man. the I'm reason Why you even Chris got Long. Structure You feel mm-hmm. me Like he's the reason Why everything is moving yeah. In it's place I, right now Like email and group set up all of that shit and you sitting all. there everything. bashing niggas left and right left and right you feel me like and before even, Josh it was Alfredo you feel me yeah and before, you know what I'm saying and I'm, I'm Jason too you just sitting in there just disrespecting nigga. he got all the ideas he's <laughs> like, sitting right there bro like nigga that shit is crazy like so we just try to you know like I said to these motherfuckers out here anybody that's that sitting in that bitch fun. right now milk that motherfucker dry <laughs> Pause. 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 Fucking dry. Pause. <laughs> Suck that motherfucker dry, man. You hey, feel don't me? don't be like me. Be like Hakeem. Start your shit <laughs> and don't wait forever and start your own shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, don't, uh, fucking. Don't wait forever. I, to cap, start I that capped shit. on a long. I mean, you know, I had other shit going on, but I capped for a long time about doing my own shit. Yeah. Feel me? So you definitely was capped. Oh God, oh God, but it's alright though. Cap. You hey, was listen. a bullshit nigga though too. Now. Hey, but you listen, a but guess nigga. what? But guess what? Everybody. Everybody got their own path, man. Everybody got a lot of, you know, you got to go we through what you got to go through to get to where you got to get. You feel yeah. me? Get that accountability we got 16, going on. No, for sure, for sure. viewers in here, y'all. We got how many? Damn, T Rob. Didn't he say, uh, pick his best, what's the name? And yo, but you made the call and then we. Yeah. Get, <laughs> we tired of this shit, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. He said go live, nigga. We ain't he said go live that. for live. Live for live. live. I got Hakeem in house phone in this motherfucker. Live for live. Start in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. man. Start in this, this motherfucker. Let's go. Bitch, Almost 17,000 people in this motherfucker, man. Big oranges in the chat, man. That's how niggas fuck with me, man. I ain't taking, I ain't taking no, 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 nothing. No disrespect, you feel me? Go to your live right now. Go to his live right now. Go to most popular. In the last year, you feel me? At the end of the day, is the number one live video right, right. there. Mm. We there. I'm yeah. in the top five most live videos on that nigga platform, homie. Don't worry about nothing. Don't That's, worry this about is it. what we do. This is the new generation. Our generation, this is what I want to do, along with still pre-recording interviews and doing that whole little thing, you feel me, bouncing off people that got, you know, different connections and all that. I just want to feel comfortable when I do that shit, because it was feeling kind of forced. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't getting no help. It's yeah. great talent over there that can't get no help. Throw yeah. me a lob. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You 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 this nigga, throw me a lot. Hey, could you contact this nigga for me? DM or something. Like, throw me some lot. Give me some people you don't oh, want to yeah. fuck with. And it's 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 like the one thing that he said, it's like, oh, you guys added to that the whole thing. You guys <clears throat> carved out a whole different lane for no jumper and eyes of audience of people to actually watch this shit. That's so it's like when the nigga be saying, I'm like, bro, like you sound crazy. It's like, definitely tuned out of that shit. Like, what are you yeah. talking I mean, about? When y'all, you, you brought different on. eyes. I yeah, remember when y'all, when, when y'all came in, that really gave it the the certi- like it, street, it certified it was street it in official. The, in the street views. You feel yeah, me? A hundred percent. Because it, it wasn't no more just like 2018 SoundCloud, yeah. like white kids in Nebraska watching it no more. And shout out to all my white niggas in Nebraska. But you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shout them out. It, it was just that. It was. It was just that. Like, bro. You got to think about it. I've been a part of this, sh- a part of that shit for years, bro. And I ain't gonna hold you, nigga. I, nigga, I was, I was able to perform at, at you know venues in goddamn Fargo, North Dakota, and random ass shit like that because niggas, niggas was fucking with me off that shit. But it was, it wasn't hood niggas tuning in no, and bro. watching that shit, and it just wasn't, bro. No, man, it really wasn't. Definitely wasn't carved out something. Definitely carved out a lane for us, man. Don't never disrespect for disrespect. That. That's why it's kind of, kind of trying to come at a nigga personal. You can't come yeah. at a young, you know what I'm saying, black man. I'm gonna I'm say young bitch because I look younger <laughs> than you. <laughs> right. Right. Look, let's get to that. I keep right. saying everything it's is bigger than me. I you look culture. younger than you. Side <laughs> by side, you feel me? I'm just doing it like that. Since niggas want to keep bringing me up and, and all and this even shit, you, man. Even you, Heather, like you brought your own audience of females, like yeah. you know, to. to to that world because you guys was lit before you even went on no jumper. Come on, right. man. And Let's that's facts. Let's get to that. Let's get <laughs> like, to that. What are we talking about? Tell them about it, Ellie. Lines on Melrose. All these niggas. We're really on Melrose.
was like, I remember going to the store. Come on. I was all, the difference is he could say whatever, but I worked in the store. I was actually around. Yeah, you can say that Niggas to, was on Melrose, bro. You can say that to people that are just like, you Watch know, sitting it from there. Afar. Yeah, or like that wasn't there. I was there. Like I was you. there. I was on the block. I seen Heather's store. I remember y'all having the parties in the back. Right. Let of me the just store. tell you this. The only reason that we're not on Melrose right now is because we had a long thought out decision of why we're not going to open our store in that location. Mm. That doesn't mean that we're never going to return back to Melrose or have another store again. I, I, like he's, he's <laughs> calling us broke, but I, we paid 20,000 a month for an empty ass store That's with crazy. water damage. I, we didn't have the right insurance. Okay. We dropped the ball on that and we're in the middle of switching it's our a, insurance. It's a trial but process. We still, we're paying 20 racks a month. You do the math, bitch. 20 yeah. racks a month on an empty store, not making no money. But like I said, we've been had lines around the store. I've been a legend that you'll never touch what I'm doing. You'll never sell as many clothes as we have. You have four t-shirts hanging up in the store. That shit is trash. <laughs> like Terrell said, that's a little liability you got over there. It's for your ego. Liability. And it's Lena paying for it again. Lena is paying for that. Speak you, on it. Let's speak about all this men. Oh, Terrell's not a man. He doesn't. Let me tell you this. My nigga been taking care of me before be, when I first met him he's been taking care of me he is the reason why I have what I have I would have never I'm I'm so happy to be able to provide for my family and do whatever we need to do for our family because he is the one that he he lets y'all run with this narrative that Heather pays for everything Heather has all the money Heather has all this but we're a team at the end of the day we started this together he gave me five racks and I turned that shit into some crazy shit that you, you don't even want to hear about. Talk that shit. 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 We made Talk it. Like, bruh, As it should be, too. Three million a year. Like, we're, like, this is no education. This is not business savvy. Like, we're young black entrepreneurs doing it, and no white man is about to sit here and discredit what we've ever been doing. Like, we've been doing this. That little 800 square foot liability, don't ever talk down on me. Mm. Don't ever talk down on me and my nigga. Your wife <laughs> paid for her whole wedding. You let your mm. wife pay for her whole wedding. What kind of what kind of man is that? What kind of man? You let this your wife pay for your your whole home. Your whole home is pink. Like <laughs> your whole home is pink. Let's get to that. Your house is pink. Uh, that's Lena's house. Bar Did they get in a Barbie house? Yeah, that's Barbie Lena's house. house. <laughs> that plug talk house is Lena's house. Lena was fucking crying to me at your daughter's first birthday that how piece of the shit you are. Mm. You're sitting in the living room while she's trying to get y'all's daughter's party together. This will forever resonate with me. Mm. She fucked, sat there and had tears in her eyes saying, this fool don't help me do nothing. He's sitting on the couch all morning watching videos of himself. It's my daughter's first birthday, and he hasn't helped me with a thing. He hasn't fucking hung up a balloon, sat on no motherfucking cup, or sat on a table. You want to know what this man does? I don't got to ask my man to do nothing. He going to do everything. I, gotta, I don't got to ask him to do shit. He's going to make sure he's there for me, supporting me with whatever I have going on. My da your daughter's first birthday, like you're trash, bruh. You're not a man. And now you're you're just using her. She saved your life. Shout out to Lena. I'm never talking bad about Lena. I'm never turning my back on her. I'm never unfollowing her. I'm never doing none of that shit to her. She saved your life. Okay? Cause this piece of a shit of a platform was going down the drain. That's when you started plug talk. And you had to have her fuck. And you had to have her do that shit to save your life because you didn't have no money. So show the bank accounts. Show them. And about those millions of views and going viral, I don't give a fuck if we got 10 views. We're building an empire for ourselves. We're building an empire for our kids, our black kids. Like, we're not feeding off no fucking other culture. Like, bruh, yeah. this is for us. We don't give a damn about you. Like, I didn't even know who you were. You didn't exist in my world. Yeah. I didn't know who Adam 22 was or No Jumper. When Terrell went over there, I said, why the fuck are you over here? I didn't, he, First of all, you didn't even pay Terrell the whole first yeah. year. Terrell was sitting over there for a free year working for free. And when you decided to pay him, you gave him 300 measly ass dollars. Bitch, I make that in my sleep, bitch. I make that with one order. Like... That shit is disrespectful. Oh, you're not a man. You're not business savvy. You're a white boy that wants to be black. You'll never be black. You hate on my nigga. Ever since he walked through those no jumper doors, you couldn't stand him. You could not 
stand him because he has everything that you wish you had. You have no personality. You're not funny. You have no jokes. You're trash. You have a white, sarcastic, dark humor. Like, you're just never be Terrell. It's really like, get out. You want all these black features. That's why you have all these black men working for you. You're obsessed with black culture. And you just, you're just obsessed. Like, you gotta let it go. Let us go. We're thriving. And we're gonna thrive with or without you. And I'm gonna make sure of it, bitch. Cause I'm a consistent queen. Consistent. Hey, she had the shit West LA. Don't ever talk yeah. bad about me. Don't yeah. ever talk bad about me, Hold bitch. on, but let, let, let the record reflect. reflect. Let, let the record me. reflect. Let the record reflect right now. We got yeah. 20... Yeah! Yeah, bitch! Yeah, yeah! And we can't buy that! Everything's not meant to be bought, you weird! 20k in the fucking we chat! We got 20k in the chat right 20K now! 20k in the oh, chat! Nigga, ain't me! Hey, I'm not gonna hold you. Heather just digged up a grave. 20k in the chat! Like, Heather, you don't ever call me a prostitute! Don't ever call me a prostitute! Don't ever call me a prostitute! What you got going on over there? Oh, don't shit. ever call me a prostitute! <laughs> Like, the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? I'm going to sue your bitch ass and I'm going to make mm. sure of it. You're fucking defamation, pound, defamation of character. Mm. You're telling lies about me. Cardi B just showed us how to do the lawsuit for 16. Or I'm going to do it. I'm going to yeah. make sure I do it. Lawyers on the line this morning. I'm suing your white ass. Stop fucking with us. Stop fucking with me. We're going to pass your bitch ass up. Like Terrell said, fuck what academics said. I don't care how he said he, this person respond, this person respond. Academics tore your ass up. He fucking slandered your ass every chance he got. And now you're on his dick. And that's how you're going to be on this nigga's dick too when we're at the oh, top. Pause. Mark my words. Pause. I mean, he's already pause. on it. He wants to suck it too. Oh, he does. Pause. Whoa. Whoa, back up. We're coming for you. Okay, okay, we can, we can you're comment You're not down. the only platform in the West Coast. No, look. You're not the only platform Pause. no more. Sorry. You had a smart black nigga in here. You had two smart black niggas in there. You're bad. You fumbled. They are... Three. They, sorry, you're bad. <laughs> you didn't want to pay him? And the little $2,000 that you're talking about... You gave me? I spent 2500 trying to go support you at your fucking wedding. I bought my flight, booked yeah. my room, did all that trying to support my girl Lena at y'all's fucking wedding. Bitch, you owe me that two racks. Like, thank you so much for giving me that. And why are we acting like rich people don't borrow money from people? Like, you have, you bought the building so with the SBA loan. That's retarded. You like, bought your building with the SBA loan. Y'all getting into it right now. <laughs> Like rich, I don't even know, I know what that is. Of, What's I, 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 my glasses I don't know. Let's ask I, don't know. He did it. I don't know what that is. Let's put some glasses on. <laughs> I don't <laughs> even know what y'all. Y'all talking a different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ask him. Let's ask him. What's the chat saying? You bought your billy with the SBA loan. What is that, Heather? Explain. What's that? I don't even know what that is. So an SBA loan is what they were giving out during the pandemic and through all of that stuff. The PPP loan. The PPP basically. It's a business loan. It's a business loan. Like, I should have got one. Yeah, you got, yeah, everybody got one. You can like, still go you got one. That, everybody man. got one. It's okay. You're That's not good. business savvy, bro. Like, you're not running a, a legitimate business. You fuck. You're 40 years old and you fuck for a living. Like, you can't fuck till you're 60. Ask him what's the payroll company called when she was running. Talking about <laughs> what, what, payroll, uh, what payroll company you fuck with? He probably wouldn't even know. But the, he don't know shit. Josh knows. Shout out to Josh. Yeah, hey, Yo, no, no, no. Shout, shout out to Josh. Shout out to Josh. He brought everything. I ain't gonna you lie. You got me on top. He fucked in his sister. If you, if you don't know Josh. Shout out that nigga. Shout out Josh. Shout, shout out to Josh. Josh. That's a good nigga, Even bro. when I was working in the store, Josh really came in Josh and cares, ironed bro. everything out. Like, he really came in and helped iron everything out. When I needed to get paid, I had to Josh. Had to Josh, to Josh made sure I got paid on time. Right. Yeah. Josh may be like, yo, you need more money. I'd be like, yo, I, sometimes Bro, I was like, some little shit. I'd be like, oh, I forgot to get paid. Josh would be like, yo, I got you got to get paid yeah. for this. Like, I'm like, oh, shit. And, bro, and, and not even just that, just even on a personal level, bro, whenever Josh would see shit was going on or whatever, he would really reach out like, bro, I hope yeah, everything's bro. good with you and moms. And like, you know, he was like, you know, he was if you if you need your time off, like, let me know type shit. So, bro, shout out to Josh, bro. If I Josh even, was in there, that shit would have really been in the dirt. Like, yeah. Let's keep he, it a real. He, he, and, that's, and that's just facts. Like, cause he, he, 
He Josh, I think, was coming from like a when, when he first came around. He's coming from yeah, like I a corporate was, background, right? Yeah, I, was, I don't know like, what oh, my Josh brother, was doing uh, my sister, uh, my brother-in-law. Um, you know, he's working in a corporate. He wasn't like us. He was a little green. You know what I mean? Like, but he was like he added his smarts. He made sure that yo, like these certain things but got he done. Made Adam. Sure, he made sure he inserted himself because he wasn't given that position. Mm. But he's seen somebody that was a family member. You know what I mean? That his sister, that's my sister's brother. I know that he needs help. I'm going to insert yeah. myself because there was no positions given. You feel me? There was a lot of people that could have took that that the initiative, but they didn't. He sat there and he took that initiative. You feel me? Or we be sitting in there in a leaking building. <laughs> new building, new design, and why, and why would you equipment, everything. He said that if he made sure every little point... The period is done and he still is disrespected right now. You feel me? And, and, and be the, little. And Shout out that nigga, man. And and make sure another, I like the video. I like the video. I like the video. And another thing, too. It's like me and Tony both worked on Melrose. Yeah. Obviously, we're part of the whole Melrose culture. Melrose is fucking dead. Dead. That's like, why it's we decided literally, not to it's go a back. Literal, literal dead thing. Why would you want to stay on Melrose? Why, why would you want to be on Melrose right and now? Niggas, it's literally and, dead. And niggas is getting booked and killed no, and like, all types of shit. That is not a flex to be back like... <laughs> you know, niggas getting is. killed out there, bro. Nah, I'm look, good. I promise me, you. And to look at the culture for what it is, is... That's him going back to tapping with Dusto. Exactly. Yeah. Mm, had to go get the streets. He don't got T-Rail no more. Exactly. Yeah. Like, mm. Desto got the old spot, got it going up. Shout out to Desto, shout out to Desto doing his thing. thing. Desto you know doing his thing. But then nobody sure. run us off Melrose. I can go sell fucking 2,000 tube tops with those fucking four shorts you have hanging up. Like, boy, don't ever talk to me about this clothes shit. And you someone that, t you, you someone that work, you work over on Fairfax, you work on the block. Yeah, the blocks are dead. Nah, this shit is dead, but I mean. Supreme got loose. Oh, Round two's dumb. not there anymore. Yeah. Like, it's mad. Supreme moved. Everybody, Supreme was dead. the heart, I yeah. feel like, of that, that fair folks met. Fair Round two moved? Yeah. Bro, round two is not there yeah, anymore. Bro, round two been it's gone, It's not a bro. flex to be on Melrose. Any, like, bro, Melrose is dead, bro. Round two been <laughs> like, gone, bro. Literally, you it's fucking the dead. Like, we've been on that street for 10, almost 11 years after this year. Facts. We've been on that street with Last Kings. We've been on yeah. that street with Sorella. Nigga, I, I, I know, know the energy. Like, I've been up in there. Hey, I know listen. the energy. I ain't it know ain't Last not. Kings was T-Rail. And to be like, oh, shit, that's, that's him. And then he that's a fact, but That was all him. That's a fact, but real quick... It ain't not one bad bitch that didn't hopped off the plane at LAX and didn't go to Melrose to take a picture in front of the pink girls tour sign. Let's Let's talk talk about about it. Real culture. Every bad bitch didn't hopped off the plane and went right to Melrose. Every to girl take a rapper. Picture. You could you could probably you could probably go to the G, the tag right now and find mad heat. Mad. Yeah. For sure. Man. I was putting them on the billboard on top of the store. Come on, man. Got the billboard Talk on top it. of the store. Like Talk about it. Like with 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 no like with no business savvy. Like we did that. Two young black kids, we did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't talk to and me, bro. You gotta sit down. You really like, gotta sit down when it comes to this. Last Kings got in there right after motherfucking Ed Hardy, bro. What is, what is this niggas talking about, for real? Yeah. Like, Christian Artisay walked Ed Hardy, in the Christian store. Ed Hardy, Christian Artisay was he there. He walked in the store before he died. Yeah. Right. Come on. And I looked at him. I'm what's up? He's like, I'm Christian Artisay. I said, I bought a, I bought an Ed Hardy shirt from you. He said, oh, God. He said, you're doing beautiful things with this, man. Thank you. I said, damn, thank you. <laughs> but Shit, he's sitting never here know what happens, trying man. to discredit a black woman. He's trying to discredit a black woman. Call me a prostitute. Call me this. Call me that. You can't discredit greatness. Like, boy, I'm a legend out here, whether you like it or not. And all these bitches, your bitch knows too. She was in the store. Every girl has supported me. And, mm -hmm. I, and I love every single one of them who's ever spent even a dollar with me. Like, bruh. You, man, thank I you, just, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, everybody. You know what I mean? We in here doing it, man. One time, we had 20,000 motherfuckers in here. They left, but that's good. <laughs> we had it. We had it going. You know what I'm saying? But it's about 14,000 people still in here, still in the building. That's still a, a mark for us, man. That's still a mark for us. Make sure y'all go like this video, man. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to the channel, man. Back on Fig. That's what we doing. It. That's what the motherfuckers want. You want to promote the show? I think it's a little, little show. He promoting it, the thing. I think the boy trying to fuck his Man, bitch free again. Lena. You yeah, know what I mean? God Lena. damn. Free fucking <laughs> Lena. Y'all gonna do that He's over here using man. her bag. He's yeah. using her up. And uh, she loves him so much. Don't let that nigga use you. If you groove on that nigga right now, he's going down. Yeah. I swear to God, Lena, I'll do whatever you gotta do. On the set. I swear to God. 
<laughs> Leave That's that right. nigga. Free Lena. Free yeah. fucking Lena. Hey, I, I ain't even gonna hold y'all like. Lena really is a cool ass person, bro. I fuck with her, and that's why I'm, you know, like I was never gonna get into no weird expose and all that weird shit. Because they say you was, they, they, I mean, they, they say you was trying to fuck her. Well, you want, well, they said he wanted you to fuck her, or something like that. Or they wanted you, you to or do that. Listen, man. Loose lips sink ships, man. I'm not here for the okay. for all of that, but just respect know, it. just know, I fuck with her and I, I respect her, and I would never go on no weird like Me whatever. Either. I mean, Adam, Adam admitted it, so if y'all like <laughs> that, that for sure happened. I ain't gonna see her and lie, yeah. But like Adam already talked about it. Adam admitted it and all that, but. I don't know. Niggas was definitely trying to get me to do a play by play and all that shit like that. And like, I don't know, man. I never I never felt no need to do that because at the end of the day, she ain't never done nothing to me. What, whatever me and bro had got us getting into it had nothing to do with her. So I ain't about to I ain't going to never do any of that. You feel me? Yeah, man. Make sure y'all go. Um, Make sure y'all like this video one time, man. Niggas is here for the messy shit. At least I got at least, you know what I'm saying, 30 minutes out of you niggas for the messy <laughs> shit, man. Back <laughs> to regular. You, you know crazy. what I'm saying? Back to regular. I love y'all to death, man. But like the video. Big Orange is in the chat. Smack big head ass ain't here, man. You shout see, out to my nigga saying? Smack, man. Got big. Shout, uh, out, shout, shout out, out to shout my out boy Apollo. Smack. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to Apollo, too, man. Um, He don't like King. Ooh. You, you, Keem, Keem and Keem don't like each other? Keem and Keem oh. don't like each other, man. God, I, I don't think Keem even knew. <laughs> I, don't think he knew. I don't think Keem knew he ain't like, but he didn't get to that. Where, That's where, my boy, man. Where'd this narrative come from? Yeah, shit, I, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> fucking around. I'm just fucking around the spin, one time. The spin artist right here, man. Yeah, the spin artist one time. Spin I don't artist. know, man. How you, how you how you been, you know I, I seen that uh you went on the pod um with there and you said you weren't really into like interviewing um artists and stuff because you just hate the one word answers and just you know them really not being there. Are you, um, that something you're really gonna like continue really not doing? No 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 I'm gonna go back into it I'm gonna go back into it I felt like when I was doing the interviews I think I was doing too many at a time and I think I was putting too much pressure on myself. And I really, really wasn't interviewing, you know, much in, like anybody. You know what mm. I mean? Like, I wasn't really interviewing anybody, though. And then, you know, around that time with him, it was just like trying to switch and find his way. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, now we, we not making you no money. Like, at the end of the day, and this shit not making no money. Maybe we might have to stop these live shows. Uh, maybe you guys can't interview as much. I, I need to get you guys off the platform interviewing. It's not really making any money over here, doing this over here. So, you know, it, it was kind of discouraging, too, at a, at a time, too, and I was doing too much. And then it was like, it was motherfuckers that used to come and be like, you know what? Damn, man. Um, like, like, oh, yeah, like, like, I wish one, she was, one word I wish she was, in was crazy to me. Like, it was like, it was really, yeah, it was that really should burnt be, out to that me. should be like, someone that like do interviews with a lot of artists first interviews that should be crazy bro yeah, yeah like man. bro you gotta know how to like communicate better than this but i they feel don't like be giving a fuck they be trying to act too cool cool and shit but i mean i feel like you know like when you go into it and kind of like show some relatability like okay you know pointing out, out something better. oh i i like this about you i fucked with this and this and that you actually get to a point with getting some more you know answers out of people but yeah. it was well, definitely even back. for even for yeah. me like even for me like when i first um started doing interviews that was definitely frustrating but over time you start to realize like oh okay like this is just a part of it like yeah that's all it is just like oh some niggas are just gonna give one word answers and, and wasn't he great at the one-on-one -on -one interviews who? Yeah, no, he did his uh, research. Terrell. When he would do this, when he yeah. would do his research. Yeah, uh, he was great. Interviews, he would do his and research. He, and, and someone he actually told me about. this. My homie from Kids Take Over, shout out shout Arshan. Shout out to my boy. Shout out Arshan. Arshan said the this. Goat. It's like, at the end of the day, it's like, people are tuning into an interview for, you know, T-Rail to be asking questions. No one can ask a question like you or relate to people like how you can. You know what I mean? No one yeah. has your sense of humor. You know, you're one of one interviewing somebody. Like how I'm interviewing somebody's gonna be different. How Adam interviews someone's gonna be completely different. You know, so it's just like at the end of the day, I think one of the dope things was like Adam academics, you know, shouting you out. Like you know, at the end of the day, he was just like, nah, bro. I feel like T. Rail has a certain um, energy to him, a certain way he, you know. Um, he recognized greatness. Yeah, like a certain energy and a certain way that he asks questions and how he goes about things, and he he's knowledgeable enough in you know certain instances. That uh, makes for a good interview. You right. Know? Yeah, man. And he also Thank said, you. this nigga's going to surpass you on your own platform. 
But instead, he surpassed mm. him and got his own platform. Mm. And that's why we're bringing back Terrell interviews in 2024 for Back on Fig when we move into our new space. Right, Terrell? Yeah, we got a new space you for sure You have to coming. bring those back because Don't like how King nothing. said, people, a lot of people can't ask what you can ask. Mm-hmm. And you just have, like, you make people comfortable, you're funny, you joke, like, and you're really from this shit. So you're not a, yeah. you're not him trying to ask, you exactly. know? Exactly. It's, it's, it's like... You already, you know, are in these conversations and, you know, these type of things by yourself. Yeah. So it's not new for you. You're not an outsider asking questions on something. You're a part of the culture. So it's going to come off a different way. And that's why you're able to sit in front of so many different people. You know what I mean? If people want to sit in front of you. Even someone like Damon Lillard being here. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was huge. You were on Sports Center. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can't like go like that is so crazy. You can't do that. You speak a certain Mm -hmm. language to certain people, and you know, ultimately, that's always going to attract you know certain people to want to you know sit in front of you and talk to you because they're like, I get like this guy's a student. This guy actually gets it. I want to go do your interviews. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not just for drama. This is this is like talking to a homie. Yeah, one thousand percent. Yeah, one thousand percent. One thousand percent. But I see, I see what you guys saying in the chat from 22 to 10. This is crazy. I love it, too. And I'm not dumb. I'm not stupid. And I love it. You feel me? But make sure you like this video, everybody that's in here for me. Run the make sure up. you run like this video and, and, um, and, and run the lights up. But I'm good in here. That's how good I'm in here. I'm just, I got a motherfucker watching me right now. I got a motherfucker that was supposed to be at Disneyland watching me. You feel me? Like, that's how motherfuckers just, like, you can, like, really choke on a dick. I got a motherfucker that was at... Thanksgiving. You supposed to be turkey and dressing with your family and you doing some other shit. I got motherfuckers doing all type of weird shit. You know what's so crazy? He just wakes up with my, with like, God damn. You know what's so crazy too? Seeing Adam speak about money, like, oh, I'm so rich and this and that. It's like, yo, one of the most, Kanye West is like one of the most richest black men, you know, Mm -hmm. to ever exist. And at one point he was down. You know what I mean? Yeah, Yeah, we all remember that. So it's just like, bro, like things go up and down. That's just the nature of the game. Whether people are, forward facing that information or not it's just like bro i remember the days you was down nigga i remember when you first started making sixty thousand a month yeah or you was making twenty thousand. you know what i mean or times when it was like ah shit's kind of fucked up right yeah. now you know what i mean we can't do this we can't buy That's other niggas world. flights and we gotta yeah, get this facts. airbnb like nigga like you just be he, i don't know i feel like a nigga to nigga, me we personally wrote- just hate it just feels like Everything you say just came from a point of like hate because I Nigga, see you guys doing hate. your thing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I genuinely see. I mean, if, what, what else? If could it we be? were not great, you wouldn't be on our bumper every day. You You're wouldn't even on talk our bumper. You gotta think when I wasn't doing anything, the nigga blocked my name out the channel because he's like, yeah. I don't need to talk about Hakeem. But yeah. as soon as I start doing my thing, what does he do? Talk about you. That's why he talking about you. He's wow. like, look, my whole thing name out. He wanna in- no, we're helping you in your your views i'm gonna stop talking about them we didn't talk about you for a whole five months bruh and when terrell decided to talk about you with academics which was he's so smart for waiting on when academics is there because he's gonna make you even more hot shout out to you terrell then we we finally talk about you and then you play victim oh they're talking about me i'm gonna stop talking about them like bitch we don't want to talk about you so that's that, that's how this whole beef got reignited again is yes. well, well no it, it was it's just basically him just throwing keep throwing little shots at us he and been throwing this. shots we and never you know responded we and never responded. Me. When you got with academics, he couldn't take it. He went fucking crazy. And he hasn't stopped talking about you since. He wakes up every morning. He doesn't kiss his kid. He doesn't kiss his wife. He wakes up and he tweets Terrell. <laughs> he fuck? wakes up and he insta That's stories crazy. Terrell like, bitch, get off his dick. Hey, you know you know what? I, I, I'm blaming it on fun, man. I'm blaming it on fun. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? Pun looked at me and said, hey, homie. <laughs> It's over with. It's time. So, hey, cuz. <laughs> he like, hey, that's out. Shout out to Pun. Shout out to Pun. Pun man. He, he, probably cool. felt it out. Out. he probably felt it on my spirit, but yeah. Pun could be like, Let you it know, out, love I one. fuck with my nigga Pun, my nigga AD. You know what I'm saying? We Shout always talking. Like, we can be like, hey, I, I can tell Pun to like, hey, yeah, it's time, cuz. <laughs> you feel me? Like, mm. he told me, like, hey, <clears throat> that's out, homie. Niggas ain't finna keep doing that. Yeah. I mean, and like, then, and then you know, what I'm saying we own it. I'm like, he like, go ahead, almost like at least the beast. Well, look, do y'all do y'all feel like y'all also probably stalled the situation out a little more because maybe because AD was like chilling too off of it, like he wasn't really tripping, and then it's like at some point it just got ridiculous. I'm assuming. You know, yeah. it, it's, it was all of us in the collective. Like, yeah. it, it's it's kind of it's kind of beneath us. 
Because at that point, you don't want to be fighting. You don't want... Like I said, I want to be our generation music. Mm -hmm. I want to be bootleg Kev. I want to be looked at and respected as such. I don't want to be sitting you hear here. That? You hear what you said? You know what I mean? Key word, respected. Yeah, hey. I want to be respected as I such. Don't I don't want to be in the media as doing that or arguing with some weirdo. You know what I mean? Some alleged, you know what I mean? Underage pedophile type nigga. I don't want to do that. I want to just go ahead and be respected in the media. Like if, like if Damian Lillard just watched that and and knew about all that, that could have like you know swayed his decision to come here. Oh, it right. definitely sways. I've had you artists. Me? I've yeah. had artists told me pull up to the interviews and say I would like yo you got to get my first shit because I would never go on there. I fuck with you. I fuck what you got going on. You're not fucking weird. You're not doing weird shit. I, I don't hear weird things about you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so it's just like, yeah, bro, that's definitely gonna cost you a lot in a sense of like niggas actually wanting to sit down and have you help tell a story. You know what I mean? Oh God, I have. I didn't even want to crash out on this fool today. I had a blessed Thanksgiving. I was looking at my kids. I was looking at my beautiful home. Like looking at my man, I'm like my family. I'm like, why do I need to crash out on this guy? Like, I don't even want to come here and do that today. Like, so I don't, I don't, your boy, like you don't exist in my world. You don't exist in our world. You have to leave us alone because it's obsessive and it's weird. Like you honestly have to. Yeah. You like, so, so, and, sorry, I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't give a fuck how much money we make. We're able to take care of our kids. That's what just yesterday I was just reflecting. I'm able to take care of my kids, three kids. I'm able to take care of my family, pay my mortgage. I'm able to do whatever I want to do in this life. I'm very successful. Terrell is very successful. We're very successful. Our families are so proud of us. I don't know if your mom's proud of you. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she should be proud of. Like you don't have a successful business and you fuck for a living and you're 40. Like, and you're trying to tell Terrell he's not successful, we're not successful. We're very successful. Our families are proud of what we're doing. They're not embarrassed or don't mm. want to show off their, their kids. Like, and you told your daughter that she could do OnlyFans. He, I saw on an interview, he said, yeah, Parker can go do OnlyFans. I'd be a fool to tell her not to. Like, my dad would never in his life, like, I feel free Parker and Lena because... Damn, your dad said, gave you the permission to do OnlyFans is insane. So I said, I'm not going to come on here and bash him. I'm not going to come on here and say anything crazy, get drunk, go wild. I'm just going to straight pure facts, honey. And that's just pure facts. So. All right, that's been an hour and two minutes. <laughs> Fuck us. <laughs> Fuck us. For real. <laughs> I got the viewers up here, man. Back to 11. I love y'all to death. You feel me? Back to 11. Make sure I get 11,000 likes on yeah, this video, man. Sure, Run sure. the likes up right now. You feel me? Run the likes up. I got almost you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11,000 people. Run the likes up. I almost got 4,000 likes. But that's it. Fucking you, know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> House phone, what it do, man? What you was What's about to say? What's the word, man? I you know what I'm saying? It, was, it, it was something related to that whole situation, but we can keep it moving, bro. Yeah, we can keep it moving. We Fuck that nigga. Well, let me saying? address the Stet stuff because they pulled up some tweets with me and Stet. Who's that? Fuck Stet. You yeah, know what we saying? don't care. One yeah, of my I don't best give a friends. fuck about that one nigga. Address it well with that nigga. <laughs> Just some tweets, but it's like I was 17, 18 years old. That's how I talked. We were best friends. I used oh, you, to gotta live with him. you gotta erase all your Twitter shit. I said some wow. <laughs> that motherfucker. And shout out to Pun, too, because but he it's made me erase it. That's not and a he, thing. He made me erase it, nigga. I was like, he was like, bro, just type in the word, and it was like the f word, and the, oh. it, I was going crazy. Yeah, yeah. he I said erase it now, answer. cause then I got on that motherfucker, and I was like, damn. So you better go you back to that. You should have did that years ago. You should have did that when you started the family <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was even on that motherfucker calling Heather out their name and doing oh all that. Oh my god! I was, I was like, going crazy. Kid. That I motherfucker. was a kid. I was a kid. I met Terrell when I was nineteen. Anything mm -hmm. before that is trash. Like yeah. I was a kid. I didn't know how to talk. I was like having a good, great fucking time. Like, bruh, I'm 33 years old now. Like that shit don't phase me, bother me, haunt me, nothing. Like, yeah, it's over with. Yeah. I was. <laughs> it's done. You know what I mean? We I got even, it going. I kept seeing that in the chat, but I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about, honestly, man. Y'all y'all got a lot of back on uh, back on fig lore, man. Like man, a lot I got, of thank you for everybody, lot. man. Hey, look, thank you. I love everybody from back on fig. 
everybody that's just like real fans i got a reddit i don't even really like i i'll be in there sometimes because i got like the notifications if i see like a headline that's like crazy, that's crazy. i'll touch it boop i'll see like a couple comments and i'll be like shut your bitch ass up and, <laughs> and then i'll get out of there wait right? does your, your account say it's your does it say it's you yeah, it's me. You know how when you make That's it, it me. generates a random ass like. No, I ain't generate no name, bitch. That shit ain't for real. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is you me. You be in the Reddit arguing with me? I be in the Reddit like, nigga, shut your bitch ass up. You don't know shit, nigga. Fuck you. But that's just me. Yeah, that's just me. I fuck with that shit, though. You, you on your me? lust shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be on my lust shit. But shout out to everybody that's in there because I'll let them get their narratives off. Shout they can say whatever shit. about Heather, whoever. Like, can do whatever on my Reddit, man. I shout, I shout out everybody. You feel me? I be seeing sometimes i'll be getting like fake little uh bots and shit that come to my instagram and you know what i mean niggas be having two followers zero followers yeah the zero followers, followers be the ones that be saying like, the huh? craziest like, shit it, niggas be sending people over to me <laughs> Bro, and shit what? like what the fuck are y'all talking about i just downloaded about, reddit and i 10 out of 10 yeah. do not heather recommend delete, heather delete that shit i hate <laughs> it there I, I, honest, hate it. I honestly don't read or go through comments that's great that's great i, I can't do it like i if i put a video up i'll probably like as soon as it goes up, I comment on it and I leave it at that. That's good. I can't do it. It's I like because you. at the end of the day, it's like everything's a part of it, right? It's yeah. like you can't have all the narratives, the you, different you, ups and it's downs. It's just like it, I think J Cole kind of, you know, explained it on that interview he did with Lil Yachty. It was just like you such know, a this good is interview. Fuck, it's such a great interview. It's just like you interview both. No, I haven't. We're, we we, we did a clip that oh, went viral, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we're talking about it. I'll definitely do that. That's the top of the year. You. First of um, all, you need to get Caribou up in there. Oh for yeah, I'm definitely. Sure. That's definitely. Um, she said put on Caribou. Yeah, on, we're definitely bro. gonna do that. Um, I got fucking Ben Slack in interview. That's okay. gonna come out. Um, hey man, my boy Hakeem be in the fuck in his bag, bro. You know what I mean, yeah. that one's gonna yeah, come out. You know what I mean. Did an Offset interview. You know Offset never going on no jumper. <laughs> 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 Shout out, my boy, that one. No, yeah. shout out my boy King though, because he was yeah, supposed man. to set that up for me for um uh for back on fig. And you know, King be doing a lot of shit too behind the scenes. You don't even know you feel me like we you know, setting up some shit. He be having a lot of crazy ass narrative sometimes that you know that probably you know sway some of you niggas decisions on whether or not if he a loyal nigga or he fuck with us or what's going on or he a renegade this over here with all the bullshit <laughs> renegade like, is crazy like, renegade is like, crazy. Advocate, like yeah like what, everybody like is play. new in this shit like and we actually homie so they'll they'll harp on me a little bit more than they harping on anybody else. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they they'll harp on me and, and fuck around. Like look at these niggas. I don't like this nigga. Why this war is going? And you know I don't. I can't tell a motherfucker um, who to like and who not to like. You know who I can't tell a nigga to dislike nobody and yeah. do all of that because you can't tell me to do no shit like yeah. that. But that's what you I was saying I mean? about Hakeem, bro. Like niggas, is, like I I seen what Hakeem is doing from the moment he started doing this shit, mm -hmm. and I'm like, bro, he's taking over that lane that like. That, that nobody else was feeling, you feel me? I, I definitely and I always give into you, the space. Always give no you your flowers really for that shit, bro. On. But I'm trying to, like, I feel like for me, my goal with interviews is to reflect everything that I, like, like in life and love, whether it's music, fashion, and art. And that's why I do, you know, a range of interview from a fucking Yeet, a Bari, a Zach Bia, a, a mm -hmm. Cole Bennett, or Andrew Callahan, like... It's just all my interests, you know what I mean? I'm only I only do things for the sake of just like I'm interested in this or curious about this or curious about your story. It's just like I'm not just doing. I, my intention is not to get views or go viral or yeah. any of that other shit. It's or like building like, an actual no, sustainable. Like, gen, like I genuinely I'm curious about this. Like I don't do it for that. Some people aren't moved by the things that you think everyone's moved by in life. Like. That's retarded. That's not how life works, bro. Like right. everyone has different views on things and why they do things and come from different places. And you if know your what views I mean? aren't the same, then you know what I mean. Yeah. It's just like, oh no, look, what look what he's doing. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, now that, that I ain't gonna hold you. That's one thing. Hey, look, when y'all when y'all was popping y'all shit about the clothes, I felt that because t Row, you was there, bro. We used to be in the group chat, and bro used to be kind of like trying to pop it crazy to me, and I'm like, nigga, hold on, bro. I just started doing this shit. And I came out the gate crazy selling clothes, nigga. So calm down, bro. Like, yeah, calm down. You doing like, a lot too, man. You, you feel me? You feel me? Like, even though I ain't got none, I fuck with it. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? 
It's not I just getting some merch. I got some shoes. I got the merch. I got the. I got the nostalgic merch. You feel me? One on one pieces. Yeah. Hey, listen. Exactly. You know. You, uh, I mean, somebody they bought this, but it's it's one on one now. <laughs> it's one. <laughs> Hey, hey, I no, no, no. hey, I said that shit on uh, You got me with that. Yeah. With that. <laughs> and niggas I'm leaving for, for a minute. Nigga, I'm in the comments yeah. like, whoa, I never seen a full bust down <laughs> orange Hellstar, right? Yeah. So I'm in the comments like, nah, custom Hellstar. My boy going crazy. <laughs> like, like, nigga, niggas responded back like, that shit ain't custom. I'm like, fuck you. Y'all hating on the homie. Yeah. Nigga, no, I done no, seen no, three hat, niggas with that shit after. I'm like, no. man. The hat, was, oh, the hat man. is though. He was talking about the hat, but so it sounded like he was talking about the hat. So the hat is though, and I was talking about the whole fit. I'm like, fuck it, I'm finna lie. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we on this motherfucker. I'm icy. Get it off, nigga. Don't be with me. Hey. I'm finna get this shit off on this motherfucking I, I, shit. I feel like when that fits from the street camera just get put Come on, on you, bro. You just you gotta start putting it on. You gotta act up. All right, I gotta act up now. I had to look at my watch and make sure it's it, yeah. young man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll be, no, I don't forget. I'll be forgetting. Oh, like, God. I don't fucking know, nigga. I just know I got a Rolex on and it's some bullshit. I had to look at that bitch yeah. like, oh, y'all matching too. <laughs> you just, I'm like, oh, it's cold. You flexing though? They like, yeah. Bro. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like, it's like, yo, if I got the craziest fit on, nigga, like, I need to be caught at the right time with fits on yeah. the street. Like, I'm like, yeah. damn. I might as well have to call that nigga on me. Hey, like, hey, you call me. You call me. Hey, I'm doing yeah, it right now. Get over street. here at Please. so-and-so in five minutes. I'll be in the parking lot. Pull up to the back on Fig headquarters. I'm doing it right now. We only doing here. fit checks for bro. Go to New right. York, nigga, and call that nigga. He's pulling up, nigga. Yeah. Our Heather having pull up, and he it's gonna go crazy. And I was like, me? damn, we really don't have nothing on like that. Nah, y'all was fitted. Y'all was fitted. Really? Y'all was matching. Don't even try to. Don't even yeah. try to downplay. Y'all yeah. came crazy. I think it was Heather hat. Yeah, that, yeah. that took it overboard. I ain't gonna hold you. It was a hat. It was a hat. That shit was hard. You know I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. We, we, you know, we out that. here right now, man. Shout out Minimal. You feel me? Make sure you go use our code, man. F I G G 20 uh, 30. You know what I'm saying? Everybody doing the Black Friday sale. Black Friday so go sale, over man. there and, you know what I'm saying? All the jeans is 30. I got some on right now. I'm gonna get up in there. crazy. Saying. Um,. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <On everything. laughs> but yeah, use our code over there, man. F I G G twenty, man. On what? And I hope y'all had a good weekend. Cause whoever bought this, it's yeah. over with. Mm. Oh. Really? Yeah, and I mean that came out on the twentieth. So whoever bought this and got the merch to map a uh, match, I know you was feeling this? good. I know you was feeling good, man. Uh, that? That's not the flavor because we ran out of it. I did. But I think I do. I got another, I got another box right there. Oh, yeah, I'll get yeah, it. in the fridge. I got Pumpkin another box in the fridge. On oh, ice. Do y'all want one? Oh, ice. I just know, take I'm it. Good. Just take okay. it. Put it in your pocket. Yeah, are you, you drug free? I'm, 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 I'm drug free at the moment, man. Are you drug free? Yeah, yeah. man. I'm, it's so, not I'm drugs, though. It's just make you... I mean, I'm good. I don't want to. Uh, it's a slippery yeah, slope. You know? oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one night. Not it's funny, gonna be not, funny not funny, not funny. Then I'm going to hit the plug back. Shout out to Mr. Mushy. Shout out to Mr. Mushy. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Mushy's, man. Use our code over there, too, man. F I G G 15, man. Go over there. Use our code, Mr. Mushy's. But yeah, our collab is out. Orange Dream Sickle. Yeah, hey, go all out. Orange man. Dream Sickle. Who came Orange up with this Dream name? Orange Dream Sickle. That's a great name. Who came up with the name or it decided a, on it? Was it. A, it was a collaboration. It's orange. Yeah, we yeah, all right. decided on it. It was mm. an A and B test. Yeah, it's Orange, a, Orange Julius vibes. Orange Dream Sickle. Fuck it. They you said we me? were. Where we at? They said we back at 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? 15? Back at 15. That's still me? fucking amazing. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Back at 15. Back at 15,000. Make sure you guys. Go like the video, you man. Like 15,000 live streamers Hell in here. Yeah. Make sure you guys run up those likes right now, man. 15,000 live streamers up in here. And a big uh, applaud for my boy being uh, sober. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. I did get hella drunk out of Sadie's the other night, though. I can't yeah. even hold you. Fit check? Yeah, yeah. Yo, fit check, fit check, you know what I mean? Minimal jeans, you feel me? Back on fig, merch tee. You feel that me? shit hard. Uh, Marty, I, I love these. I'm going to mess them up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Have yeah. Them. yeah, I need, I need, I need <laughs> a few more pair, you feel me? But yeah, back on fig, uh, custom fitted. You know what I mean? That's a part of the merch too. You can go cop that one time. That shit's hard. Yeah, yeah, man. That's on the website. That's the house phone. Yeah, you gotta go next. You gonna go next? What you got? What you got? Fitch house phone. Fit check. Fit check. House phone, man. man. All right, man. Listen, we got the unreleased navy blue and yellow high rollers on. Okay. Uh, them brown, them brown and pink ones just dropped today. Uh, shout out to Beast Troy. They sent me these socks. Shout out to Beast Troy. Uh, shout out to my nigga Home Denim Co. from Boston, bro. He made these shorts. He makes a lot of custom shit. These are actually like so, like an army bag from like fucking 1904. He made wow. it to some shorts. You feel me? We got the good Ralph Lauren polo Christmas vibe. You know mm. what I'm saying? 
And you know, we got the the red, the white, Yankee. and blue Yankee, you feel me? Yeah. Just like, just like that. Just like yeah, that. I'm gonna take a piss real quick. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Come on, Alfred. Embarrass me. Oh, yeah. Hey, come on, we on back on theme. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. So you know, you know I'm going endless jeans. Shout out my nigga Bari. Uh yeah. you know, three that. bands on the jeans. Uh you know we going Uggs, it's Ugg season. And we going um Capital on the Boy, socks, man. you know what I'm saying? All the way to the socks, you know. Uh, good uh, vintage uh, Harley T Stussy hat. Get with the it. The guy man. Come on, man. What you got, man? What you got going on, on homie? I got you know on the I mean, get with sound it. system. That's me and my homie, yeah. DJ. I okay. got on uh, AH uh, sweats, mm. you know, black toe lows, you know. Yeah. Okay. Bad new sunglasses. Might work. You know, Supreme beanie. We're chilling. Might work. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, we're really back like on Melrose. You feel me? Like oh, God. You feel we chilling. Everybody about to do the fit check. <laughs> you know what? I, this is my outfit for work. And usually I change on back on fig, but whatever. We have our Uggs on. Twin. Uh, yeah, twin. <laughs> we have our Skims outfit. This is the Skims like overlaid pants. Uh, t Skims t-shirt. And my $8 Lokes I got from the gas station that are just too icy. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Heather, really man. Not today, but we really back on Melrose with the Fly Guys. Yeah, shout, shout, out, shout out Heather, man. Black, Black Friday. Friday. Black, Black Friday. Friday. Really a Black man. Friday you stream. We all in, except for House Man, man. Make where sure did House Fun even go? Yeah, he went to go I got, lost in in this, I got lost in this big ass crib, nigga. This shit huge. You know what I'm you away or what? Almost, <laughs> went, almost went up the spiral stairs. Almost took the elevator to the wrong floor. <laughs> Make sure y'all like the video, man. We almost got 5,000 likes. Well, 4,000 likes. 4,000 yeah, well, likes. We need y'all to run it up, man. Run them lights up, man. We need y'all to run it up, man. I keep man. We messing with it. I keep seeing you about to pull up this topic, and I'm laughing every time. Like, you're Nah, nah, let's skip that one, please. No, right, oh, no, I don't want to talk about that. That's, please, let's not do that. Hey, one. tomatoes in the chat for Hakeem. It was not to be bro, funny. I don't want to talk about those. Oh, oh, we're not adding. We're not adding fuel to that fire, man. We gotta let that one we die. Didn't down. We didn't fuel hella fires already, but nah, I feel that, you. That, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, let that one die. We'll let it die. We'll, we'll let, let that. One let die. it die over there, man. It's God the homies, it. man. You feel me? Hakeem, Hakeem, two industry. Hakeem, two industry, man. Calm your homies down. I just, I just think that one is. That's crazy, deal. so we gotta deal. let that one. Nah, I felt that. I felt it's that. Too real. Who yeah, a big deal in the chat? Yeah, he said Melrose heavy oh, I feel like I know hitters. what they're talking about. Yeah, Melrose oh heavy hitters, man. Big deal was over there, my boy. I can't. You know, was running the that. streets. You feel me? God. He was running the streets that. over there. Really now we better it. living. You know what I'm saying? Hey, really doing it. I done got lost in the crib. This shit's so big, nigga. I didn't. I made the wrong turn and ended up down the street. So you pee? I did, yeah. Okay, okay, he found it. I was just saying, like, nigga. <laughs> I, I, I'm like, it's so many doors in this motherfucker. I don't know which way to go to get back. You know what I'm Fuck saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, uh, yeah, a lot of people that got lost trying to make that left. And you somebody even went into the closet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Man, listen, to man. To the left and the left. Betterliving.com, bro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, uh, we can get into some super chats before I get lost into, uh, lost into them, man. Uh, Chris Flemings, he said, Keem, Keem is bad for business. He would do anything to sell a hat. Uh, oh, I used no. to work at, I used to work at a hat store. So. Oh, 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 oh. This nigga, not this nigga, man. I was like, what? I man, shout out my nigga King, man. And shout out Daddy Cat. Daddy, Daddy Cat doing his thing, man. Hopefully, I'll be over there on Sunday. He ain't gave me an address yet, just yet. So, oh. hopefully, I'll be over oh, there on Sunday wait a to uh, go crazy with him. Uh, Jared, he said... Uh, uh, big phones in the chat, man. Yeah, Shout out yeah, my yeah. boy, man, from Seattle, NJ. Hey, I love man. Seattle, bro. Shout out to Seattle. Uh, Scooter from Hoover, he said, reconnected slash FMW. I man, y'all need to collab more. We sure do, man. We sure do need to collab more. Let's get it. Let's get the schedule yeah. going, man. Because I know me? everybody be busy. Blazzy does. Blazzy does a lot. You feel me? Bro, that on nigga his does side. hella shit. He does hella shit. House phone is doing his thing and uh, fucking Yuri is streaming eighty five thousand hours. <laughs> bro, <laughs> this nigga be doing all that type of shit. Like that. Yeah, that nigga pa, that nigga Paul Lord be up surfing at fucking three in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that nigga go to sleep at seven p.m. and wake up at two in the morning and go surfing every day. That's wow. crazy. 
Yeah, he might answer his phone on some like Iron Man shit. Like, where you at? Nigga? In the ocean. Nigga, I'm in the like, water, bro. Paddling out. Paddling <laughs> <laughs> <Nigga, laughs> up, oh, bro. Cheers, cheers. 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 Bye, cheers. Everybody. Good Back cheers. on Melrose. Right, back on Melrose. Right, it's really that. Oh, 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 shit, shit. We got to pour one up for T Rail. We got to pour one up for Julian. Come on, man. Julian. Julian Hernandez. Y'all gonna get Buka Pong. Yeah, I'm gonna get Buka Pong. The Hidden Hills is crazy. Yeah, shout out Hidden Hills, man. I think they're gonna sponsor our, our shit too. Right. Hidden yeah. Hills, I yeah. like yeah. that. We're actually, I love we're that. actually if reconnecting to the sponsor shows. too. Yeah. <laughs> we're, actually we're, building out set. we're actually building out our set right now. For real, Man, Bro, you know, I this love that. Crazy, bro. So are we, and that's okay. why I'm so excited because we have a new warehouse. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all getting y'all set built? Yeah, yeah, we're we got our set built. We're building a big set right now. I well. love that, man. Yeah. I was yeah. w- when I first walked in this bitch. That was the first thing I remember was that like the one of the like, like the first two times I came here, bro. Like y'all didn't added so much shit. Yeah, it's, crazy. it's beautiful. Yeah. It's Thank so you. beautiful, man. Nah, for real. I think on Yazzers. It's shout so out important. Shout out to Yazzers, bro. Shout out to Yazzers, bro. Yeah, Yazzers. I know you in the chat right now. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout out to you, man. But toast. Toast. Cheers. Cheers. Toast. Cheers, man. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers to real niggas doing real things. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir, man. Yes, Cheers sir. to black entrepreneurs. Oh, God, actually. Ah. I'm about to start my first. Let me, let me not do that. We'll let the, we'll, Don't all right, it. fuck it. Let me we'll announce that at the right time. Let me, yeah. address, let me address this real quick because I ain't about to just let this one slide one time, man. T motherfucking real. We're at the goddamn live show. I, they bring me out on stage. This motherfucker starts making the whole crowd chant GPS. GPS. Oh, no. GPS. You had me so fucked up. Girl, ah! Why would you do that? Nah, that's my nigga, bro. It's all good. But they keep they kept saying it in the chat, so I'm like, bruh. Come on, man. Why you why you gotta do chat. me like that, bro? I don't know. Is it something? Come on, in me? man. It's something in me where I feel like I gotta break the ice with jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you no. got the you gotta feel the most disrespectful shit so you won't feel that shit anymore. Like it won't bother that. you anymore. You feel me? That's like some real shit. For us to fuck with you and you know make fun of you, go crazy. Even the whole you know even the whole crowd like. But you kind of you kind of need that because people be feeling so timid sometimes. Yeah. And you don't you don't you don't want to don't like, want to go outside. Yeah, I want to like, see nobody. Like if that, if that shit happened, it'll just be an awkward moment and all that no, no, shit. No. I don't want. Awkward I got moments. up and roasted your ass immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we all laughed and it was good, bro. But yeah, I don't want awkward moments around me. You know what I, I mean? I don't want awkward moments around me. I don't want to kind of do that shit. So I, I, that's my way of just saying I love you. Let's just let's get that shit out let's the way. Get it out the way. Get the jokes out the way, man. Out the way, and I fuck with you, man. Nah, I fuck with y'all, man. Um, That's your, hey, speaking of live shows, man, the LA show, bro, crazy. It was lit. Yeah, that shit looked that was crazy. crazy. And that, that's home base fans. So I'm sure that that hits a little different, you know. It does, and I'm like telling Terrell as many times that we've been in this Novo with somebody else, exactly wow. headlining the show. It's crazy. Being backstage, oh. it is you and us and your friends. It must and be like, a beautiful everybody's feeling. Everybody's here real. for us. No, it was such a good feeling. Because mm-hmm. we've always, you know, supported everybody that we've been around, mm-hmm. you know, made sure we're there at every single show. And for p- all these people to show up for us. And it was just, it was just amazing. Shout Great, out to man. everybody no, that showed up to the L.A. show. The energy was insane. The energy was crazy. Now, like, it was just lit. Now, now T-Raw, I want to ask you personally, how did it feel versus, I mean, what, the last time you was at the Novo was when we all was at the Novo, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, that was, well, the, that how was, how was the how was the you know, the same did, day we did the Ooh, same the day last up. year. Yeah, wow, bro. on the nineteenth with I the other swear. platform. <laughs> I swear that's the that same day. You know that's what the guy crazy. told us when he sit down and broke that bread up? He said, "Damn, y'all were here with no jumper last year, and y'all sold four hundred more tickets than them. Four hundred something wow. more tickets than them, which is amazing. That's it's crazy. Only been a year. Let's get to that." Yeah, that's yeah, crazy, bro. To that, man. How did you feel like comparatively, like as far as the energy, like from from the the No Jumper show that we all did, and then just being out there and you know you know being the fucking forefront. You guys all being the forefront, but you know what I mean, you know. The energy was like, it was it was there because we know the screams and all of the shit. The energy is is there, but it's just like another feeling because you you worked for it. Yeah. We worked yeah. hard for it and we pushed for it. <clears throat> and it was it was for us. Like and I had to do all the work and then 
You know what I mean? Like, and I kind of got to relax just looking and just yeah. talking shit and sitting down and letting everybody have fun. Like, I was at that place just... I said the, I set the shit up half fun. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm one of the people watch this. I'm old as a bitch. I'm like, this is crazy. You we know got we everybody like, in backstage, yeah. even yeah. though we didn't have yeah. a lot of passes. Like, we got openers. <laughs> I want to look. Shit. Yeah. You know, I, I, we niggas was opening up. Like, I couldn't wait. To, you know, Ace Boys and them get on. I'm, now I'm just all people watch. <laughs> I'm just all this so it was just it was a great feeling just for me to be like oh, damn we did this yeah. and we get to bring our homies along with us nobody can tell us nothing and it's just like a big ass smile you know what I mean like and that's what it's I'm about I'm smiling on the inside too like I'm really really smiling in the inside it felt great it definitely felt great, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Man, I ain't it's gonna, gonna be crazy, you. man. You guys go on a whole tour. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, I mean, shit, y'all, mini y'all, one. y'all, y'all mini knocked tour. out the mini one, honestly. Yeah, a little yeah. mini one. This nigga Pot Lord texts me. Then nigga talking about, nigga, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's my invite? <laughs> Shout out Pot Lord. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Huh? I'm not gonna you hold you. Y'all remind me of each other so much, bro. Because if it's like, <laughs> if it's fuck one of y'all, it's fuck everybody with him. You feel me? Like, yeah. so I feel him because he, that's his energy. He been, he been on that same energy since I've known him. You feel me? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all it's remind bad. me so much of each other. You don't even know, bro. Like, who, who? You, me and Pot Lord? Yeah, bro. Nigga y'all, you the older Pot Lord. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas about the same age, for real, for real. He actually. was older than me. He <laughs> was <laughs> don't play with him. fucking Corona's getting to him, that bro. Nigga older than Pot Lord the Corona and Splish, man. And, 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 uh, and fat tires, bro. Shout out to fat tires. <laughs> He be in the I'm bed. Serious. He be in the bed with the little yeah. Bro, I'm on his story. Out of here. I'm on his story. The other day, this nigga's in the bed with four girls. Yeah. Fucking four girls. Was that time paying you? Was they? Well, well, hold on. Jeez. Oh my Sorry. god, that nigga said for the have a bad girls ones? night. I'm the only man. Was they bad ones? Hey man, shout out to my boy. He be Yo, doing he, his thing. Wait, hold on. Gonna <laughs> have a girl's night. I'm the only man. Yeah, <laughs> was they bad ones? <laughs> That's all I'm talking about. My nigga be doing his stunt dizzle, man. T Rail, yeah. Was it wasn't they? even worth it? Cause yeah. Yeah. No, but listen, listen. I ain't gonna hold you. Four, but they, hey, you wait. know, four. Is, no, no, no. Wait, listen, that listen, listen, listen. <laughs> he did his thing this time, but I ain't gonna hold you. I didn't see him pull up with some scragglers from, from, from the Venice Beach drum circle before. He was hot at you for saying that, though. He was hot at you for saying that. Oh, he, was, that nigga definitely, he definitely got some bitches from the drum circle before. Yeah. <laughs> not this time, though. No, not this time. Kumbaya. You and that nigga be finna fight, though. But we don't really be about to fight, though. Like Niggas, niggas was harping on me for that smack shit. And then I look Oh, no. I, y'all was about to squabble for I sure. I look up <laughs> and you niggas finna fight. See? Don't get at me with because that. That's, because that's really my one of my best friends, bro. I really grew up with Toke. That's why. You feel me? So, oh, okay. it's the same, it's the same yeah. shit. I don't, how long have you and Smack known each other? Niggas, years. Since, like, yeah. high school? Yeah, After high school, twenty five years. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's the same shit. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, bitch ass nigga. I'm like, bitch ass nigga. You're not about to keep saying this personal ass shit about me on this damn camera. I'm about to fire on your ass. You keep saying some crazy shit, but you know it is what it is, man. That's my fucking nigga. I think we learned that we we probably won't ever do that again, bro. We we was getting personal, and I ain't even get that personal, like. Right. But yeah, it is what it is, man. <laughs> me and Brian bro oh, was man. going crazy on each other for sure. Y'all also just made Jerry um, walk off too, though. <laughs> oh my God! What's up yeah, with that? Yeah, but when Paul stood up, you sat your ass down. Nah, nigga. I stood up first though. <laughs> but you did I not stand, ass down, But did nigga. I not stand up first? You stood up first, and then he stood up. He like, you know what? I ain't gonna even fuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you know what I realized? I'm like, nigga, we on camera. <laughs> I'm like, bro, we on camera. This is lame as fuck. If we gonna squabble, well, you can go to the to the alley and squabble right here and on the side of Blasi office if that's really the problem. Yeah. But I'm like, bro, we doing all this shit on camera. And to be honest, that's my nigga. I love him to death. But bro, really was just drunk and just didn't want to be wrong. <laughs> so sure. I was. I realized mid argument that this was stupid as fuck to be arguing about. And I was like, yeah. I'm not about. To, I'm not. About, I'm not about to fire on my homie first on camera. So now, if he fired on me, that's a different story. Why did y'all make Yuri leave? <laughs> you made Yuri leave? Come on, Why? man. Not, he didn't actually leave, bro. We just well, I saw the, just oh. a clip of him walking off. He definitely walked off. Why he, he walk off on y'all, dude? Why because, y'all doing him like that? Because we be talking about his hygiene and about him showering and like... Oh, he tired. <laughs> he tired. He doesn't shower? Sick your shit! <laughs> 
He sick of that white. shit. That's why. He sick of that bro, shit. Bro, we was on his ass the other day, bro. Mm. Look, he was talking about how he jack off in the shower and shit, and we like, nigga. Nobody, real niggas don't jack off in the shower, bro. I don't like. <laughs> I <laughs> do. <laughs> that's because y'all niggas are married. I do. That's because you. Oh, cause that's because you're married too. Kids. That's because y'all. Y- I don't you, have anywhere to go. You don't have no other option but to do that. No, you got you got hella rooms, nigga. You could go to the guest room. His bathroom go set up different. Off. His bathroom is going on. There's so many lanes that we no. can travel down right now. His bathroom set up Bro. different because he got the tub, right? So he got to be kind of close to the bathtub that nigga got, He never in the apartment. He got the tub. So he assuming that he's right. So he got to get close to the the, the, the drain. Bro, that's what, no, listen, so listen, he got to get close to the drain. It's crazy, right? That's why he got mad. No, listen, that's why he got mad. Listen, he got mad because he was talking he was talking about how his drain be clogged all the time. We like nigga, cause you're nutting down the drain, bro. No. <laughs> he got what? mad and walked off. No. Oh, oh, no. oh now what Yuri the said no. Yuri said house phone is misrepresenting <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Shaking my head. Guess <laughs> what the fuck he just oh said? Oh my god! <laughs> Stirring the pot. Call Yuri. Yuri. Call Yuri. Call Yuri. Call Yuri. Shout out to Yuri because he shout was, out to Yuri, bro. He's the only one that said Adam is hating because back on Bigs on the rise. If we weren't on the rise. You wouldn't be hating. Oh, and he did. worked for him for years. He knows him. He's yeah. a, he's a, okay. Yuri talking that shit. Wait, Yuri yeah. calling me? I think. My oh, phone, Yuri calling you. My phone vibrating. Yeah. Uh oh. It's definitely Yuri. Hold on. <laughs> that nigga Yuri. My nigga Yuri. What's the deal? Bro, you're lying. <laughs> jack off in the shower. <laughs> Bro, did you not say that you jacked off in the shower all the time? No, we were, no, we were talking about where we bust nuts. <laughs> wow. wow. All right. well, you were talking about that, bro. <laughs> you make it sound like I just randomly told you, told you like, oh, I jack off in the shower. Oh, don't, God. Do shower. Don't say don't shower. I do shower. Oh, I didn't say that. I didn't even say that, bro. I, I just said you, say you don't shower as often as everybody else, but yeah, you shower, bro. <laughs> Hey, shout out to Biggest Bros. We was on the show last week, and Yuri was like, I showered today. And we're all like, great, bro. So did, so. <laughs> so did everybody else. What does GPS mean? What? GPS? What? Yeah. what? <laughs> oh. Yuri, why'd you walk off the show uh, last case. week? Hold on, I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Huh? What, did, what did we say that pissed you off so bad? Because you guys are making it seem like oh. I was flexing that I showered that day. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you kind of was. You were like, I showered today. Because you guys are making it sound like I never showered. And I was like, I showered what? today. Like, what the Listen, the only, the only person that knows the truth to this is Riley and God. <laughs> okay, well, I just wanted to call and say I didn't just randomly tell house oh, and I fuck, told Jack man. off the shower. That's not. I just said. <sighs> It's okay, bro. I'm busting down in the sink. And I, was, I mean, in the sink? In the what? Sink. In the sink? Crazy. crazy. Yeah, you Yuri, crazy. what the you fuck? You nasty, yeah, nigga. Bro, that's crazy. Yeah, what the fuck that. is wrong with you, Yuri? Yo, Yuri, man, come on, Jerking bro. Jerking off in the sink, nigga? <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, bro, you niggas gotta chill, niggas gotta bro. Brush their that's teeth weird, there, bro. bro. Shut the one in there. Peace, guys. All right, show, bye. <laughs> what the fuck? Yuri, bro. He probably really do it in the shower. And... Nigga, That's what I'm scary. saying. Like the shower goes, the water gonna come on his head because he, he Yo, ain't got nowhere to go. He gotta go. He gotta go close to the drain. So, Yo, so you crazy? He bro. said he be clogging the drain all the time, bro. Hey, bro, you Yo, wild, homie. That's for what that, he man. said, bro. Wild you wild shit. for that, man. All right, back. I'm gonna get back to my super chats, super man. Chats. I love y'all to death, man. We got about eight thousand, uh, almost eighty six hundred people in here one time. Make sure y'all like the video. How many likes we got, man? How many likes we got, man? How many likes we got, man? This was so fun. You know I ain't gonna hold 4, you. 4,300, 4,300. You feel me? Like, with my boys here, don't worry about nothing. We in the you building. still gotta round them up, my G. You know what I mean? For sure. <laughs> Even if you sitting at home doing that shit, you feel me? You can, you know what I'm saying? They can play with the stream all you want to, but you gotta round them up. You ain't fucking with me at all, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Who you round up and you get. You ain't fucking with me at all. They just show who the people want to fuck with, who the people want to look at, you know what I'm saying? Who they resonate with. That's all I'm saying if a nigga keep talking shit. So go ahead because, you know what I'm saying, I know you're going to have something else to say. You know, just go, you know, keep getting my shit there, man, because we, we all need that shit. You know what I mean? We all need the, you know what I'm saying? I need to take the, the new viewers, too. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. <laughs> we need that. And I need, and I, you know, shout out my nigga DJ Ghost. I was, I was, I, I kind of scanned through what you said, too. I, I seen some shit and he said, 
he doing them they uh he's doing them like they did him you know what i mean and they had the uh what is that shit you look up you know what i'm saying look up people analytics on mm. that's crazy what oh, is social that blade. What is social blade, blade? Yeah. oh social blade oh Social Blade. If you ever want to look at anybody in the league and see how much they kind of make it around at a, there, at a point, like, at a point, Adam Social Blade wasn't the highest. Like, yeah, it was at that, one point. So it was like when he did that, and I saw that, I was just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, who cares? Yeah, I've seen so many dips. I remember being back uh, in the back room of the office and shit where they used to shoot the podcast. <laughs> And niggas are talking about, damn, like, the views are kind of down this month. And, you know, little shit like that. It's just like, bro, like, this is a part of it, bro. It's just yeah, like, you're like, a creator. You know, you're a content creator. When you not see every it. episode is gold. Like, not everything's going to do good, bro. Like, But shout out my boy niggas Ghost. Is doing their, but niggas is doing their things. You you sound like a hater. You're coming up with shit to just sound like a fucking hater. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you said, But you'll see the graph, and it was it's high. But it's going to be high <laughs> around the time we leave. You feel me? So we're going to take everybody that really loves so we'll have those subscribers as it come it'll take a dip and then you know it'll it'll uh, just be stagnant then it and goes back where, up and then that's where you that's where you gotta build your content and that's what you gotta do on your own cause now these people are fucking with you now you gotta kinda like you know get in there and fuck with it him alone cannot take anything from us and then give it back to itself no and we not fight with no nigga that got four point something million fucking subscribers that's, that's like, so fucking dumb we not even trying to fight with you you feel yeah, me yeah that's like, the crazy thing is that like how can you even try to compare that when like you guys are a growing thing you bro y'all one year in bro exactly technically it actually looks worse for him because at the height that he's at right him taking any like percentage ratio yeah like right. you guys are developing and growing you're a new youtube channel in a year like that scale being that that makes no sense it That's literally it's not even a good businessman a, he sounded he like a literal it out like, he like, like a, they're growing faster than we did when we first started. literally that's literally what but happened they're dipping Hey, nigga, that's a part of it. He looked like a you guys dumbass. are failing. Like, who are you trying to make believe this? Like, if you're trying to stupid. hurt our feelings, sir, it's not working. Yeah. You can't hurt our feelings. You can't stop us. You can't make us feel bad about our views. You can't make us feel bad about nothing. Like I said, we're taking care of our family. We're growing an empire. We're leaving something to our kids. We don't give a damn about you or what yeah. you have to say about us. Some days might be great. Some days might be low. It don't get. We don't give a damn. But at least we're not working for you or making you any money. You so, feel me? And you're so upset that you lost your most prized niggas. Because that's how damn. you looked at him. That's how prize you looked at him. Prize niggas is crazy. God, These are my prize <laughs> niggas right here. Hold on, that's how I said it. Now the prize and token is crazy. I don't know about that. I was a free person. It ain't only that man, but the man in general. Nah, I was a free. I was a free person. I don't know about. So you were free. That shit sound crazy. Hold on, we might get a little. They might look at you. No, but what happened to Danny Mullen? He wanted to go all white. He wanted to have the white boy in there doing the white yeah. interviews he he, he, Fuck that nigga. he, he decided Fuck that nigga. to leave y'all oh I'm gonna fire Terrell I'm gonna fire AD I'm gonna he threatened y'all every morning we woke up to a text right trying to threaten y'all's job threaten y'all's livelihood mm -hmm. but you wanted to do all these interviews with Danny Mullen where is Danny Mullen has anybody seen Danny Mullen where is he where are the white where supremacists that he they, has and they did that nigga Danny King Croc so grimy where bro. is he they did that at the end of the day you guys are the culture King Croc grimy. you guys the best thing too <laughs> is that you guys were validated by the culture before you even step foot on No Jumper you're not like someone that come there and has to get validated by I know Jumper, you know what I mean, to be speaking on and doing the things. Yeah. No, you guys have real reasons to speak on shit because you're coming from a place of success. Right. So it's just and like, but really when he said that, like, oh, he showed the social blade, I'm like, this is a retarded metric that you're, sorry, I don't mean to use that, but this is a <laughs> stupid metric that you're using because it's like, bro, it actually looks bad for you in theory because you have 4 million subscribers. If you take a dip, that make that that actually looks bad because it's like, bro, you're so high up. You're damn near as big as Complex. You have just damn near as amount of subscribers. If you take a dip, that looks crazy. But a growing new platform that's been out for a year, that is supposed to happen. That's just now you guys look at that, you know, place that you're at. Be like, OK, how do we get the thing back up a little bit? Right. It's just simple. It's at just 130,000. Like, and 130,000, that's unheard of in it's a year. A it's a no it's a oh, natural thing in growth. It's it's growth. It's just you literal that. Like 
It's common sense. He was just, he's just a hate. That, to me, I watched him like, you're a hater. You he's don't so have anything to say. He lost his I was haters. like, you sound like a hater because if you were as smart as you, you know, claim to be, he's whatever. He's smart. I mean, <laughs> as yeah, claims I mean, to be, that doesn't make sense for a growing and developing platform. Thank you, Hakeem. And you know, we're we'll we going to get back to some Super Chats and I'm going to talk about some music and some projects that came Same out. Shit. You know what I mean? But our generation music this is what we are going to be chasing <laughs> like, oh wow I got comp in real time be <laughs> chasing you know what I'm saying we're chasing this shit in real life you my friend for sure not get in there that shit's not happening yeah I mean niggas is not going and, and that shit is out so leave us alone I don't know what you think we are we not trying to do what you got going on so leave us alone and we're going to be doing some whole other shit, man. We, we, some whole other shit, We're trying to do whole other shit. I think this is probably is, like, the last time. You can say whatever. I already, like, put my stamp on it. Like, you got to, like, really see me. Like, it. like mm. you got to... Oh, I put the stamp on it, like... The fuck stamp everybody. of approval. You know what I mean? That's the stamp of the approval. That's fuck you and whoever. I got smoke with your nigga. You, kid, daughter, nigga. <laughs> the wife, mama, daddy... I, I got smoke with everybody, man. Like I, I, did, I don't said. even, I don't past even give content. a fuck. So you can just yeah. say whatever you want to say now. I mean, I think I got it out the way, man. Heather got her shit out the way. Shout out Heather. Shout out Heather. Hurricane Heather in the building. I think they was, waiting, they was waiting on the hurricane. Yeah, they was waiting on they the hurricane. The hurricane. Man, they was waiting on the hurricane. The hurricane. <laughs> somebody was waiting on somebody the hurricane. Somebody said tell T-Row to drop the report card. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, are we so dropping it's, that report card? It's going to be called the progress report. <laughs> no, that was another funny joint, bro. You was laughing. You didn't oh, laugh like this. He said, oh, God, we damn. taking your shit. Yeah. <laughs> He looked around the room and it was like, oh, he for real. We gonna take this. <laughs> I shit. need that. Yeah. Nigga, that's how he looked at the camera. I mean, everybody that's copies shit from now. everybody. I You're need not the that. only one that can do a report card. But sir. also, too, what I thought was interesting, how can you say that T-Rail has no musical knowledge when you literally was Come working on, with bro. Tyga for Come years? Come on, bro. He that means around, around every major your, artist, bro. And one of your co-hosts works at a label, a TDE. How can you not even in indirectly get information on music? This is motherfuckers he's talking about mentoring not just that's how narcissistic and I'm just like that makes you can no be. sense I'm like how what are you talking about what are you you were you were working with Tiger for years how couldn't you have pa even Wayne being around how can you have passively got information on music to even critique music you are working with an artist like, that, that makes me no sense artist still in Los Angeles, California. I was yeah. just like, you just, once again, it You're just sounded like hate. It's yeah. like, I, I was just like, this is hate. Are you from somewhere else telling me I ain't from the culture? I was like, that doesn't make sense. Like, you are a hater. Progress You're, report coming yeah, soon. Like, yeah. you're just a hater. <laughs> now, that is bro's idea. I think it's super dope. Um, what yeah, you did, but, but you can't tell like you can't start that because you have information. Oh, you can't start because you don't have information. But look, the, 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 the thing with that whole thing is, it's like, yes, it was something new. It was something innovative and shit like that. But at the end of the day, who is he to for anybody that. to tell validate what niggas can and can't his do. opinion? Nobody. Fuck? Like, like well, you're you're a guest. and that's not even hating because like, you are a guest in the culture, bro. Like, no, 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 no like I'm not talking about Adam. I'm talking about bro who did the report card shit. It's like, it's like, at the end of the day, who cares about what this specific guy got to say? Right. Like, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, it's not even coming you know, from, like, it, it's not like it was coming from, like, a pool of people. I mean, the that, report like, card's cool, but there's always been a metric to grade rap albums and rap. I mean, you know, even in this early on with um, Elliot Wilson had the five mics. Mm -hmm. Like, exactly. this is not something new. It's like, not, but it's... I mean, it is dope. What he's, it's, it's a new, new way to do it. It's, it's definitely a new, new way to spin it, but it's just and like... I, and, and I will give him the respect of, like, I feel like he was talking about a lot of L.A. artists mm -hmm. when a lot of people weren't. But I feel like his critiques just used to be like, dude, like, who, like, not even trying to hate, but who cares about what this random ass nigga got to say about niggas' bars or they delivery and, and giving everybody well, C's I, I and mean, D's I, and F's? It's like, I, I who are you? What have you done musically to have that? Uh, okay, okay, opinion. And I to mean, have us validate that. Yeah. Why like, should we... But, why? but niggas only care. Niggas only care because they don't like. They don't want to feel like they was getting disrespected. Mm -hmm. Or they don't want to feel like, like, oh, I got an F, nigga. I'm a da-da-da. But it's like, <laughs> y'all are, are validating it by 
talking about it. By yeah. talking about it or acting like you're offended that a random nigga gave you an F. Like, we, yeah. You shouldn't be offended, but it's a great conversation starter. Yeah. I you shouldn't that. be offended. He but put a lot of West Coast people yeah. into the conversation. But yeah, 100%. It's, a, it's a conversation. It's kind of like what Billboard does. They'll throw out a list of top 50 or top... And, and we were like, nigga, that's the top 50 albums. You don't got yeah, such, and facts, such, facts. such and such and such and such and such in it. It's just like a... It's this conversation starter that you got to go back to the root of it. Like, who mm-hmm. put this list out? Or who did this? So, yeah. yeah but it's, it would, it's, 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 it it's actually... Great. For, it's a great for marketing, though. It's no, great, sure. but it would actually make more sense to you guys' point of validation of, like, if someone that worked in the industry or made if it beats, was somebody that or had someone that had the musical, like, that. like, you know, some type of success in music or had a different, you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, some type of accolade, put this out, be like, yo, okay. Yeah. This person but, knows what they're talking about. But I will right. say that I'm sure the dude's a fan and he's obviously a student and he's... You know, being studious and he cares about LA music. I'm never gonna take that from that dude. No, you know and, that, I mean? and, and at the end of the he's day, he's putting bro, on for LA. But you can't bro, tell a nigga they can't make a report card too. It's just like he, saying that I can't, can't make an X, XXL. I couldn't do an XXL freestyle if I didn't want to. Like, yeah, no, or, like, or do bro, interviews. What, the OG, we all do interviews. Yeah, like, yo, you can't do interviews because I started interviews. Like, everybody copies everybody. You know how many girls who are t-shirts are sold? Oh like, God. everybody can copy, sir. It's over with. Okay, <laughs> we're taking your report card. Progress card. <laughs> Saying it like Ooh. that is crazy. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> that is the that that, that, that is the crazy. Beat, but, uh, you know, like, that is the crazy. Y'all definitely, but but I mean, shit. I'm <laughs> yeah, Hakeem on his uh. No, but Literally. like, <laughs> no, no, it's, not even, it's not even politically, it's not even politically for real, for real. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I think that we're just making some valid points on it. Yeah, it's like, bro, at the end of the day, be proud of what you've done, be yeah. proud of the accomplishments that you make. But you can't have this like high horse thing that you like are some like lyricist, like bro, like like you know. I mean, what's just, a good idea if it's not getting redone by anybody or it's not on, getting bro. replicated? Like that's not how life works. Well, stop. You know if what I'm saying? If you're coffee, you're you're, you're great. great. You right. should you you're should great. be flattered. I actually was talking about this in an interview I had with Ben Slacking. It's like some people will be mad that oh this nigga is stealing my swag and I'm dressing this way. And it's like, but the reality is like if you're teaching people how to dress, you should want people to dress like you. You're communicating style, and not even just dress, bro. You should what you should do is don't be dumb and create monetize product, it. monetize yeah. your product right. like Kanye did, like Pharrell did, hey, like um. Travis Scott, like all the ghosts, Jay Z, Rockefeller, like don't just sit in this place of like, oh, I just dress good and yeah. people steal my swag. No, make a shirt. But look, let's sell the shirt. Look, let's at least be, right. you know monetize off of it. Look, let's be That's honest. That's a logical thing. Not let's be a in your brain like a niggas is still like you sound yeah, like a dumbass yeah cause that shit don't mean cause that shit ain't, niggas cause, what does that mean what does that, that mean? mean that don't mean shit listen <laughs> like V said I talked to God he said he sent me here just to be copy like right. shout no, out the goat I want a year by the way the goat nigga album of the year album of the year hands album down album of the year He's no questions asked like, who's that album of the year V hands down <laughs> This the clip. The deluxe though. The deluxe with all with the extra songs. Extra on it songs. Too. Send the clip to V. Shout out V's album of the year. Um, okay. I don't know what your guys' <laughs> album of the year for is. I don't even know. I mean, but I'm year. giving it to V's personally. I'm gonna give it to V's too. I'm not gonna hold so you. So fuck Drake two out. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. I didn't say that. Drake's are, Drake albums were okay to me. They th- I thought they were cool. I'm gonna be um, honest with you. I think V's. Um, V's got it. V's had definitely got it for me. Personally. But real quick though, I do gotta say because I'm not even a Drake stand. I'm not even a nigga that be listening to Drake like that. This is the most. This is the most I've listened to a Drake album in the last five years, Why ten though? years. The one I just, with J Cole. Nah, uh, no, 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 just no. the whole album. The whole album. All my dogs. Away from home dogs. is my favorite song from me that. Too. Oh my god! It remind me of um, Tizo. Like it's timestamp Drake. It's like yeah. early Drake. It's like you feel the rawness. That's how you feel. You, like like you really feel like that. You're you're viewing life in a certain way. Like yo, it's it's those shocking. I'm looking picture. in the mirror. Like yo, I'm here. You know those I'm here moment. I remember like and you know that's a testament to anybody on a journey trying to like you know do something with their life. And I thought that song and then speak really resonated. People and times in that journey. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, that really resonated with me. I really loved that song. They and said it, Fig Community World get lucky, man. Hakeem, you got to plug that up. What's what's that? They said get lucky on. They were saying Fig Community World should get lucky on here. Oh, lucky. Back on Fig would be. 
Lucky on back on Fig would be would fire. Go crazy. That would be go crazy. He'd be chilling. He'd be definitely He'd be tripping chilling. off the chat too, probably. He would definitely be um, real. He would be so in tune with chat. Yeah, the right chat now. is crazy. They gonna get you. You know what I'm saying? Every time. <laughs> but shout out V too, and shout out my nigga Monty. You feel me? Because he put me on V. Oh, thanks mm. about me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you do be putting people on shit though. You feel hey, me? Listen, especially the sexy red thing. Hey, I'm going to the concert on motherfucking Saturday. Hey, I'm going too. Hakeem, let's go. Hakeem, like, going too. It's sexy red in here. Hey, Pregnant listen, it all. She be going crazy ass. with the chat too. Like, what's this all? Hey, let's do it. I hit the manager. Right now, don't even say that. Get, get her in six. here right now. Let's the ghetto, sexy Yo, red. Come to the re- ghetto, sexy red. Yeah. Kids gotta be named Burgundy. <laughs> oh real. my god, for real. Burgundy, Burgundy, Burgundy's gotta be the name of her kid. Man, come for on, that's sure. crazy. <laughs> but not a drill was the first song my boy sent me, and I said, Oh my goodness. Hey, Who man. is this? Hey, listen, even before that, Who is bro, this? when he fucking went, listen, V's whole career changed because listen. I found out about V's what, during the whole Rio de Young OG, RMC Mike, YNJ, mm. Louis Ray, uh, YSR Grams, Crispy Light. You was kid. definitely early to the. Um, Come on, bro. Uh, um, the, the Detroit my shit, for sure. are from there, bro. No, from Flint. Mm. My peoples are from That's Flint, Michigan, bro. So I was onto that shit early. But listen, I ain't gonna hold you. I heard V's on a couple features. Mm. That's how I knew who V's was first. And then, honestly, once he dropped Law and Order, he was out of here. Poof. He was out of here, niggas, bro. Bro. How long ago was that? I was like, dun, 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 dun. and you know what's so funny? Actually, I did Z V's uh, second interview, but I did the one. And also, timing is important when you timing do certain so artist important. interviews because it actually went on no jumper first. Adam did do his first interview, but I did the interview that really helped. That resonated. It resonated and propel like the vi- there was a viral moment and all types of shit. Um, but yeah, like that was back in December and now look at the year he's having. So that's what also separates me is that I'm actually a student of music. Like that was the one thing when I was no, around 1, Adam, like that nigga, there's a whole podcast where we're talking about J. Cole and Drake and this and that. And he looked to me. I never really told this story. He mm. looked to me and he was just like, wow, you, you, you kind of know a lot about this music shit. Like you <laughs> actually know a lot of, and I'm looking at him. I'm like, bro. What you think I'm here for? Like, yeah, why you don't you know here? anything about music? How are you why have are you this here? job? Like, like I always felt like when I was talking to him, like he just was very I mean, uninformed about music. He got, like he wasn't an actual like no, real fan or like no, wait, wait, had wait. real care for it. I will, I will, I will say this. Like when he first, when I first met him, mm-hmm. and like even just the story about how No Jumper came about, like the name is from a Gucci Man song and all this shit like that. Like, you know, like he was older, obviously, when I met him, but like he was into the music when I first met him. But once it got to a certain point, it was just like he he straight up admitted to us to me and AD one time, like I don't even I don't even listen to rap music no more. And I'm like, how are you interviewing these niggas? You don't even listen to rap music. I, I will be say a great this: he was he was listening to to rap music, but he was listening to more the trollability of rap mil- music. Mm. It wasn't the overall landscape of all the music. Oh, it was no, just like sure. I like riff raff. I like this violent yeah, thing. Well, it wasn't the overall too, thing of hip hop, yeah. right? That's what I took from him being around him. It was just sure. like, oh, this nigga is over here talking crazy or rap. doing yeah, this. Yeah. Or it was like laughing at it. Was, it was a laugh. It was a from so a perspective. So ultimately, that's a culture. Culture. I mean, a hundred percent. But then when Definitely. you turn around, it's like, and what have you done to give it? back to the culture? Like, what is Adam giving back to the culture? His platform. That's like, if that's your only saying, it's just like, oh, I'm just gonna, oh, just because I have this platform to help artists. Ah, ah, like, bro, you gotta do, you gotta give back too, bro. Honestly, I will say though, you did give me an opportunity and change my life, and I'll never take that from you. Yeah, and I'm I was forever the thankful thing. for that. But it's just like you know, you, you, you are on, you, you you had you know one of the biggest platforms in music. You could be doing more, you know. Yeah, like I'm now thinking legs. about doing charity stuff, like for OGM, and that's the type of route yeah. we're going into, and like you know, toy drives yeah, and all yeah, these different toy things. Toy drives and shit, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Toy drives. Like huh? how, you ever did a toy drive? No, but let's do it. Let's all do it. Come on. Let's I did, I did one. It felt good. That's what it I'm felt saying. Good. It felt good. And I fuck with it. I got some closeouts. And also too, I felt like early on, like you. Began House Phone, you and Began, and even Hesh, Hesh. Hesh were the ones really, you know, circle wise putting Adam on to music. I feel like you Hesh guys were the I influence. No and yeah, like, oh, and I, I felt like Adam so. did do a good job of like finding people to align outside of the 
the culture in areas that he couldn't really get to and like you know manage and keep a relationship with a lucky you know keep a relationship with certain sorry, people sorry I, I just snorted in the chat homie hold on what nigga happened? said weak ass toy drives fuck y'all <laughs> he said what he said Who's weak that? ass toy drives <laughs> oh, I don't want that bullshit these niggas Yo. is crazy in the chat man I, I love y'all but that stuff, that, that stuff is that needed that stuff is needed bro drives. Drives. nigga I remember yeah. I remember the first time I came to America and the the my favorite Christmas first ever. First time I get to America, you yeah. minded girls. <laughs> <laughs> the my first my favorite Christmas ever was when I got my first GameCube. I would write mm. to like this imaginary Santa Claus was really just a lot of richer families helping us and shit, and helped all the you know people that didn't have you know as much money. And like every year, I'd write for like a game system, whatever mm. game system it was, and I'd always get clothes. Always get fucking clothes or some fucking I'm like ah nigga I don't need no thermal what the fuck <laughs> I want a GameCube nigga I don't need no thermal I don't need no fucking thermal fuck in one year jars, bro nigga. I <laughs> finally got a GameCube bro and I want to thank that family so much bro because that was life changing for me that was my first game system bro I was like the happiest nigga in the world like wow I finally got this. And you know that, like, that family probably was just like, oh, that's why like, nothing to them. Nothing. It was like, hey, oh, listen, we, we, we lined you know, we up. We picked this kid. Me? You know Look, what I mean? I and we the, changed his childhood. I have the same experience, but my mom used to work for this rich ass white family, bro. Mm. Actually, those are the ones that paid for my mom's funeral. Not no fucking Adam. So shout out to them, bro. Yeah. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. But um, my mom was like a personal assistant for this family, bro. Nigga, she bought me, the, 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 the wife bought me my first pair of babes. Wow. Nigga, they yeah. used to buy me video games. Wow. Nigga, they would, nigga, like, I would be helping my mom and the, the wife would come home and slide me like 200 like thanks for watching the dogs or some shit I'm like I didn't do shit but swim in y'all pool and fucking play PlayStation all day but you know what I'm saying like like that was the real better living, bro. I got to see a lot of shit as wow. a kid. Like, nigga, what? They, the, the little neighbor across the street that was my same age, nigga, they family used to take me with them. The, the, she would go, like, ride equestrian and play polo. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I learned how to play classical piano at this white-ass family house, bro. Shout out to them, bro. Them motherfuckers is great people, man. Shout Fair out to them. Yeah. Fair to say. But, man. How, uh, how are you holding up, though, with that now nowadays? You know what's crazy, bro? Yeah. My aunt just passed away too. Damn. Like, like literally two weeks after my mom's one year anniversary, bro. Oh, so it's like back that. to back. Like, and that was my only close family, bro. Me, my aunt, me, my mom, my aunt, my sister, and my cousin. You feel me? Like, 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 like. Obviously, I have other family that I was around, but like, that was our immediate cool. circle. You feel me? And it's like, damn, it's just me, and my sister, and my cousin now, bro. Like it's damn. crazy, it's bro. The next generation. You so know how what is mean? that? Like, how are you like holding up with it? How do you deal with it? I ain't gonna hold you, man. Like that should be beating my ass sometimes, bro. But I'm really just trying to like, I'm just trying to stay on a straight and narrow path and just kind of keep this shit going and stay positive and just just realize that. That's what, you know, like, I try to just remember what my mom would tell me in these situations mm. when I'd be going through it. Because that was really my, that was really my best friend when I need somebody to talk to. That's who I would call, you feel me? So, at the end of the day, man, shout out to her, man. Big Rhonda gang. Miss you forever. Shout man, out to my auntie. Man. Shout big out to Big R.I.P., man. Big rest in pieces in the chat. I know, in the chat. Big rest in pieces in the chat, Doves man. Doves in the chat, man. Now, yeah, big prayer it's hands. So I want, I want prayer hands. emojis. I want big prayer hands up for you my boy. Me? You feel me? Uh, house phone, man. His mom, his auntie. I want yes. big prayer hands up. You, you know feel what me? Saying? That is crazy. It's just crazy, too. I man. know because you'll be dealing with a lot. We deal with a lot just oh God, in all general. Of us. For, but for to lose your mom, then your auntie, like, you still hold Niggas is living this shit know? out on camera, bro. Like, that's yeah. what niggas yeah. don't really like. That shit on camera, mm -hmm. bro. You can't even hide that shit. You feel me? Yeah. So, I, like, as a businessman, I understood why Adam would be frustrated with me in those times. Like, you know, it come off like I'm unreliable, but niggas was really going through real yeah. life, life shit. Yeah. Where it's like, I don't want to sit up here and talk about fucking... Cardi, Cardi, Offset, Cardi she B, known Cardi yeah, B, fuck? and fucking we talking about Meg Thee Stallion getting shot for like two years straight. Like, but see, when you've never lost a parent, he's never lost a parent. A I've lot of people, lost, a lot of people have. A lot lost of people a parent, never been through that. But it's yeah. coming soon. Like, yeah, that's like our everybody got to go like, through that. Yeah, shit, bro. we have to go Need through it, whether generation. you like it or not. We are the generation. Our parents are not about to be with us. Yeah, much longer. But I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've been thinking about that lately. Yeah, I get older, and I'm like, yeah. I had to pull it's over one. Fuck! Yeah. Shit, fucked up. Sometimes my sister will call me and I get anxiety because yeah. I'm just like, yeah. I don't want it to wrong. ever be a bad news because we're just at Bro. a certain age now where it's just like, yeah. that was oh, the worst. Shit. That was legit the worst you know, phone what are you call. You call for him, you know. That was the worst phone call I ever got in my life, and 
I was at this bitch house who it was just was just an ain't shit bitch, and I was just needed to be around somebody, bro. I got out her shower and my phone started ringing on the counter, and I knew I felt it. I felt it on the inside. I knew that's what it was, and she had already passed, bro. Damn. And like, nigga, I had to drive from downtown LA yeah. all the way to Gardena and just thinking about that shit the whole time, bro. Like, goddamn, like I couldn't believe it, bro. I yeah. couldn't believe it. Even like watching her get sicker and sicker and watching her like. You know, kind of like not kind of watching her deteriorate in front of me every fucking day, Man, just belief. beat the fuck out of me, bro. Yeah. And I ain't gonna yeah, hold you. Right. I wasn't. I wasn't the best sometimes, bro. I feel like I was running away from it, and that's something that I gotta live with for the rest of my life, bro. For real, for real. And it's just like it, I was just in disbelief, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But yeah. at the end of the day, bro, it really is a part of life. You know, she tried to prepare me for it as best as she could, and I just know that the relationship and the bond that we had. And that's the only thing keeping me from not going completely insane. It's just knowing that that was really my dog. That's really my heart. Mm -hmm. I got her fucking name tattooed on my face. I'm going to get a big ass portrait of her on my arm. Like, I'm like, shout what out. What were some of the things that she told you to kind of prepare you for it? I mean, she just like, my mama was the, like, I almost got some crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> she was the realest woman on the motherfucking planet, bro. I never had nobody just give me straight game, straight mm. realism. Like, she she didn't give a fuck if she offended you. Nothing like that. She was going to tell you what it was, bro. I remember I remember one time uh, when Tyler, the creator, and all them was on the MTV Awards. He won, like, they, the, the uh, VMAs, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I remember I was at home geeked up, like, Mom, they're from over here. Like, Mom, da, da, da. And she was like, Nigga, where are you at? <laughs> you oh, sitting at shit. home on the couch watching these niggas like basically like stop dick riding, nigga. And I was like, I was like, damn, you right? So you was glazing, nigga. She was like, stop glazing, stop bro. Glazing. Stop the fucking glazing, nigga. You sitting at home watching these niggas, bro. Do you ever yes. feel like she visits you or speaks to nigga, you? Nigga, all the fucking time. Like yeah. I be having dreams like mm. she really is still here. And that's how I know that, that that it gotta be an afterlife. It gotta be some energy. Mm -hmm. It gotta be like I feel her presence, bro. I feel when I be about to respond to certain shit or say certain shit or go off the wall. It's like she just come and just tap me on the shoulder, like chill, be chill, chill. So she's always with you. You feel me? That's, that's amazing, my motherfucking man. I think nigga, all bro. of the, I, I think all everybody that I love, I felt like came unexpected. But now I'm just getting yeah. a little older, and I'm looking at older motherfuckers too, and I'm like. I'm expecting it now. It's you crazy. Feel me? It's like, such a it's, shift, man. It's kind of like I gotta train myself. Yeah, it's an like I'm gonna train guard. myself to see what's going on and all this whole little shit. I asked my mama, "Hey, where are you all your shit at?" Because you know, you know, yeah, when motherfucking right. shit happen. Niggas start looking for you know insurance and all of. I'm like, bro, where is the shit? Tell me where it's at. She's yeah. like, man, what you mean where it's at? What's going on? I got all my shit in order. I'm like, yeah, but I need it. Yeah. yeah, I want to see where it's at, what's going on, because you know, I don't know, you shit should have happened out of nowhere, and you just, I just gotta be. So you gotta be thankful, shit, man, and just you gotta be thankful for your people, bro. Man, you gotta man, hug them while they here for hundred percent. Hug them while they here, appreciate them while they here. You know what I'm saying? Like even just watching y'all, bro. Like y'all really got a strong ass family unit, bro, and that shit's beautiful as fuck, Thank bro. You. And y'all raising a fucking great family, and just like them seeing y'all really be in love, and y'all really care about each other and care mm -hmm. about them. Like y'all are like such good role models for. Y'all kids, bro. I, Shit's I, I, yeah, I insane, still, bro. I still remember. Yeah, and I still remember the first time I seen you guys. It was like one of my first LA parties. I was in that bitch wilding. <laughs> <laughs> just seen a video from like our family channel for the first time. Yeah, like, kids which to is school, dope, man. Like, yeah, it's, it's fun. It's it's dope to actually have a partner and someone you respect, and yeah. you know things go up and down. But I mean, because that's it's not a bad thing to have. You know, yeah, someone that, that can help yeah. out here and this and that. That's the reality. That's what you want in life. Like, yeah. that's ultimately the end goal. goal. Like, bro, you want to have a good None partner. of this money shit, fame shit, none of that shit, bro. Nigga, you can't buy health. You can't buy love. And you can't <laughs> buy on it. motherfucking real friends and real people that love you, you and care about you, bro. 100%. On some real shit, bro. Even uh, niggas that be, like, e even all the shit that we do, bro, it's like, nigga, they love, like, no matter if they talking shit, if they, whatever, bro, nigga, they choose to engage with us and fuck with us and we wouldn't be sitting here being able to do mm -hmm. any of this shit without them bro mm -hmm. and at the end of the day niggas can make all the trans jokes they want say all 
all types of you fumble illa. You the niggas can say whatever the fuck they want because at the end of the day y'all fuck with me and I fuck with y'all and I fucking appreciate all y'all niggas, man. I appreciate everybody in the motherfucking chat right now. RIP to all y'all people if y'all people passed away. I fuck with y'all, man. Shout out to y'all, man. We in this motherfucker. I want another goddamn shot. Let's go. Turn me up. Turn me up. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Let's man, shout out to everybody chats. that's in here, man. Yeah, we're gonna read some super chats right now. Yesterday. Make sure y'all well, like you this video. Zane was like the like, video. Mom, Zoe said, when you get old, you're gonna be a grandma. I said, <laughs> I am gonna be a grandma. And then he came back like 20 minutes later. He's like, Mom. I don't want you to be a grandma. And, he's like, and I'm like, it's okay, baby. Like, by the time I'm a grandma, you're going to be older. He's like, so I'm going to be older and I'm going to be a grandma? Oh, <laughs> he doesn't man. understand. He's five, but yeah. oh, it is a God. part of life. Yesterday, I don't know what it was. Yesterday just made me realize a lot. Like, with my kid. Like, I know every day I'm living and we're going through a lot. We do a mm. lot. We wake up a lot. But yesterday I was just like... I'm just feeling extra blessed, extra thankful to be able yeah. to feed my kids, was, be able to good. have a nice house, yeah, 100%. and be able to celebrate Thanksgiving with him. My son was so excited. He set the table like That's with fire. me. and I never taught him how to set a table, but I do that every Thanksgiving, every Christmas. I make sure I set the uh, table. I poured up already. He T-Row, wrote my pass name. Pass it that way so T-Row could get one. It's just like... Ugh, I just love my kids so much. I love yeah. I I love my family. I love growing. Like I love getting older. It's just it's beauty in it all. Yeah. And I'm just so thankful. I'm just so fucking thankful for it all. Man, shout out Heather, man. Shout out shout my son. I almost cried yesterday. Yeah, That's my amazing. son was doing a lot, man. Yeah, shut up, yeah, man. man. He was he was going crazy. Let me get into the super chats though, man. Before we really forget, I just said this shit nine times. <laughs> I swear to God, man. I just said it nine times. H boy Rad, man. He said, "We uh, when do we question T Rail's character?" Question mark. You worked for two pedals, Tiger and Pedal Twenty Two. You got more. Do you got morals? You know what I'm saying? Is it all about the money? You feel me? I didn't know nothing about that young man and his allegations. <laughs> that um, young man is crazy. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about that allegations. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the other young man, you know, I was just, I was fucking with him, but that was his whole thing. And it wasn't like it was a secret. It, obviously, that's the most famous person. Probably one of the most famous people right now, you feel me, in America. And, you know, her parents knew. So it wasn't like no secret. He was he was going behind any back. That was his shit. And I was doing me. You know what I mean? So, shame on you. That's all I can say about that, man. Uh, I'm not going to... That's you. Your allegations, not mine. But it do sound crazy. Uh, get chip. Shout out to HP, man. Let's go crazy. Proud of you hey, guys, shout out to my, nigga, my man. Get chip. That's, the, that's my yeah. nigga. Get chip. You feel me? Got to get my boy his flowers. He said, <clears throat> "Out the way podcast. Bof stand up. You know what I mean? Pause. Uh, culture, <laughs> man. We allowed to talk about Heather's old uh, occupation. I Heather think she. Don't. I think she addressed that earlier. Yeah, she works for uh. uh Santander, if you if you can go ahead and look at that, you feel me? That's where she was working at. She was doing. She works for Sorella, and now she she quit. She got her own business. Yeah. Uh, Tom Tom, what's up? A uh, house phone, but is it still? We don't like Heather. You know what I'm saying? No one likes her. She's super fake. Jesus, yeah, God damn! I mean, a lo- I whole bunch Heather. of people loved her. You feel me? And still love her. Bunch of cheers at the live show. And every meet and greet that. that she wasn't at, because she, <laughs> matter of fact, she wasn't even at none of them up. They like, where the fuck is she at? So, you niggas narrative is watered down. All that little uh, reddish shit and all that shit, I know it's coming from that nigga in the uh, fake pages and him coming from five, six, seven pages trying to make narratives. Of, and just weird. Like, what are you doing? Go over there and fuck with these people, your people that you love over there. Leave us alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Khalil, he said, keep killing it, man. Shit. NJK, yeah. A D it's White, he said, shot. y'all got to put T-Rail uh, hip to V's. No, I know V's. And I actually DM V's, too. And I was like, hey, what's the deal? I really want to fuck with you. He definitely didn't DM me back, but that's okay. <laughs> His shit probably cracking right now, bro. Yeah, it's probably stupid cracking. And and that's just me. I have to be out in the in the world yeah. to, to be, you know what I'm saying? I, I you definitely have, have to show face, up. man. Because there's a lot, of, to see a lot of time, you like, you don't even know someone fucks with you until you see them in person. Oh, God. Like, yeah. Even going to Complex Con and doing those little things, bro. networking-wise, artists will see That shit's you. beautiful, bro. Going to a show backstage, like, yo, I actually fought with your shit. Yeah, like, like yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That shit's beautiful. 
beautiful, bro. I'm not gonna gotta, hold you. Yeah, and then we went out. I'm like, a lot of people was fucking with us. Like, no, no, you no, you was doing it up. Cause this nigga AD, like, it was DC Young Fly. He like, this my boy Terrell. He was like, nigga, I know that nigga. Yeah, nigga, right. You missy ass nigga. You was doing it. <laughs> <that." laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, when I turn around, like that nigga, oh yeah. You know, it, but it's just like, damn, I gotta be out. You feel me? Like, yeah, I just gotta be out. You, yeah, I gotta man. be out, but man. you know, you don't realize that until you in that moment, until you out there talking to the people and shaking hands, kissing babies, you know, whatever the saying is. But you know, what I'm saying when you really out there shaking hands and you meeting people and you fucking, yeah. you know, what I'm saying like that shit could change your whole mindset, bro. That should change your whole perspective and be like, damn, man, like I gotta keep this shit going, bro. These motherfuckers fuck with me, you feel me? For real, man. I see them big strawberries in the chat, man, for Heather going on, man, because it was real love out here. It's no no fake love. It's real love and still. She a legend like y'all gotta stop playing with me i'm not yeah, i see it now i see what's going on and i i've been seeing it but now it's just like let's put a stop to it because you a hoe uh buffalo my round uh 714 uh y'all need to have a tuesday show with t-rail house phone and ad man yeah we could do hey. some, you know hey listen man. listen man yeah man, reliable phone is in the building bro if y'all reliable listen. phone is reliable here. reliable phone is here bro i'm li listen i'm there an hour early every tuesday let's do it uh, Ace Boy Ratty said t Rail jealous HP can live his truth But you can't <laughs> Yo What's your truth What's your truth t Rail? You're not living I, I guess what I'm Paul fuck? I'm GD <laughs> Wait what uh, Keem Underscore on top. Oh my He said God. House phone Park is daddy um, TK Yo pause Y'all Parker tripping. DNA built Bill oh, that's crazy Built by like 37 different niggas Golly Yo what the fuck oh, I think I can only yeah. get on her Let's, Let me just do that Y'all stop chill man yeah. Let me they get crazy. on her Y'all don't do that You know what I mean You ain't say uh, nothing that crazy I need to get yeah. nah, That's wild That's crazy Truth in the you details that I said that you, too, you When you get that. older I'm gonna kick you in the ass <laughs> Still an innocent bystander. You yeah, know? innocent bystander, but that's what we gonna do, cause you know what I mean. Cause I'm whatever. I'm all innocent bystander. Uh, Car Carmen Carter, man, y'all guys should have seen 16's face once I posted this on his live, man. Back on Fig, man. Episode 125 with House Phone and Hakeem for sure. T Stark you know in the man? building too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, my boy <laughs> in the building. Can't leave my boy out. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Gracie Jane, man. Hey, Zaddy Phone. <laughs> you left the lube in my car. Uh, she, she always fucking with you. Uh, King, what is your name? King something, man. We love Heather. Shut up. Uh, Jay Compton, <laughs> what happened with Heather and T? Shit, nothing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen her since Wiz Khalifa episode. Um, what the fuck happened in that episode? What did I, I that was a perfect episode, man. I loved it. You know Shout what I mean? Shout out to Wiz, bro. A couple of people got high or whatever. Shit, we ain't seen the motherfucker since. That was a great episode, though. Um, Ace Boy Rat, Shit, man. Does T-Row does t Rail have any morals? Okay, you already did that one. We read it. We, okay, you gave me some extra chili to read it again. I fuck with you. Uh, Big Bruce, Hurricane Heather, nigga. <clears throat> Let's crash out. Uh, Carmen Carter, man. 16 likes Lush right now. Can't keep his eyes out the chat while he's on live. Can't stop reading comments, faking like he's getting to him. Like, bro, like, leave what people to Lush, alone, man? dog. I mean, I don't know really what happened to Lush, man, but Lush was kind of like the root of it all, but he kind of got kind of in the middle of it. And, you know, and it kind of fucked him up a little bit, but, you know, fucked everything up. Who cares? This is how it's supposed to be, because yeah, this, is this, is, this was how it was supposed to be, man. You know what I mean? Like, we were four We, Hey, God said, hey, look, check this out. Get out of there. You know what I mean? And I'm going to tell y'all something crazy. Like, you know, I'll ask a motherfucker, why are you an atheist? No, for real. I'm like, look, what's the problem? All right, read this book. He gave me a book. He said, this book right here is going to teach you why I don't believe in God. I said, for sure. I took the book, and I went home. Do it away. I said, damn. Niggas fuck with me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> why you say that? I'm like, that nigga the gave me a book. Gave you a book? atheist niggas, I'm going to teach you to do this shit, everything that I'm doing. I said, damn. In my head, that motherfucker. Look, I, tried, I, I, made, I made sure I, so you can see how the streets feel about it. <laughs> so I can see how the streets feel about it. It's I crazy. I want to see how the streets felt about that shit. That nigga said you lied to me, Lush. 
That man gave me that a image. book about some shit, did some whole other shit. Of course you'd be on me. So like, you didn't read it. You didn't read it. Of course not. That's I, why he I mad. feel like if I would have read one page, I'm done. Yeah, That's why he mad, Loki. But he it like, cooks you. It cooks you yeah, in the like, head. Like, head. Now bro. it's like, yeah, I'm going there all devil mode. Like, Hell nah, no. you would want to do that, man. I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm like, bruh. I, I kind of see, I see what's going on now. You feel me? Why niggas will only be bothering me or why niggas will only be saying shit about me or whatever the case may be. I, I get it. Like, man I don't, of faith. I don't, yeah, I don't want to do it. I don't want to fuck with it. Like, whatever. You feel me? Uh, Jared, damn, cuz y'all here. Almost 20K right now. It's crazy. Worried about nothing, man. Big love, Seattle. Cuz flew in. Uh, Cuff flew Seattle. in from Seattle. Dolo, just cuz BOF, man. Love you to death, man. Chris G, man. All 18K. Go to go to the video, man. Yeah, all 18 Yeah, light, run the lights yeah. up. Yeah, I mean, all seven, eight, 6,700 of you motherfuckers. Almost 800, 8,000 of you bitches. Make sure y'all go like this video. Run it up. Fuck with us, you feel me? All Clip the it, real niggas. You gotta do. All the real niggas, y'all go fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna play it up and do it up, you feel me? But, you know, niggas ain't dumb. Hey, right, Chris G, uh, no, LJ Smith third. he said all the way from Dallas. You know what I mean? BOF, Firm, Big Orange is in the chat, man. JK, Schooly Fig Unity World over everything. Don't nobody watch that old Jumper shit no more, man. I'm a white kid in Utah, man. I love y'all to death. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, yeah, so I told, then you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and I told him, I said, look, we can't be too much on the, the white man. All the white kids in the middle of the I'm world. Like, we have white Shout fans. Shout out to my, my, out to my white people. White. Yeah, like, and I'm, I'm like, we I'm have white, white fans. I'm, hey, but put I'm, a snowflake in the chat if you white. Yeah, you white with the snowflake. We need snowflakes in the chat right now if you white. If you white and you watching this motherfucker, bro. Hey, if you white and you bought some shoes earlier, if you white and you fuck with all our generation music, let's get some snowflakes in the motherfucking chat for all the white homies. Nah, we love, we love everybody. Yeah. 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 I lo we love, yeah. we love yeah. everyone. Man. I just try to make it a, a point with him because yeah. he's obviously using the black yeah. culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah I fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but we got fans, and a fan told me that he was like, "Hey, I'm white." And that's what all he said. I was like, <laughs> I'll fuck with you because yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, hey, calm it down on that a little bit. But you know what I mean? Try to articulate yourself a little bit better without saying that. <laughs> Yo, niggas is, <laughs> niggas <laughs> is saying <laughs> some crazy shit in the chat, bro. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> niggas crazy, put the snowflake man. in that motherfucker. I'll fuck with y'all, man. If you go off the chat, you can't really say that anybody up. really offended. Because it's like, no, what No, 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 no. Niggas gonna say whatever, man. Niggas gonna say whatever. Jedi Chris, he said, need a shirt that says, our grandmas don't fuck with you. Much love for the Bay and Chris talk. That, that's because of me, that earlier, right? That's because of me, but yeah. it's it's the truth, man. It's like, I can't break my grandma's heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I crazy. I can't break my, nah, break no, my grandma's no, heart. No, like, wow. Wow. like that's up. real, you know what I mean? Can't do that. The snowflakes in the chat is uh, the most hilarious shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big Bruce, he said, let her go, bro. Let her go. Get him. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He wanted Heather to do her thing. FMP LLC, man. Shout out back on Fed, man. Keep doing your thing. Uh, Fairfield Johnny, man. T-Rail Secure uh, in the building. They think I'm Tupac because Heather was pumping me up on the news, man. I, I love that. If y'all want to go watch that news episode with me, Pun, and Heather. Uh, M Town, uh, it's Kid. He said the biggest bros and BBC and FMW. Let's bring all the family back under the umbrella. Let's get to that. Ooh, we should do a big show like that. That would be dope. That'd be dope. I think mean, we can do something yeah. like even yeah. a live one too. Yeah, Ooh, that'd be dope. Yeah, that'd, that'd be. be you mean like a show show or like a like a stream? We could do a stream and a show show though. We can make stream a live the show show. show. Mm -hmm. That'd yeah. be hard. Stream the Nigga, show show. Come on, no, let's that'd run be it hard. Up. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to see us all together, man, make sure y'all put a big thumbs up in the chat, man. I, we gotta I, make that I, I mess with, yeah, I mess with my I'm boys. Definitely we down. definitely got to make down. that happen, man. Yeah, yeah, we got to, man, tell our generation music. I'm going to go over there with Hakeem, man. I'm going to just go. <laughs> 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 nigga, I'm like Hakeem, I bro. Go, I need to Sign job. me, bro. <laughs> nah, nigga, yo, you, yeah. better, you better live it. <laughs> nigga, nah, I, I didn't really need a job. <laughs> 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 Hakeem, you need to go. Hakeem, fuck with your boy, bro. <laughs> Follow the gang, man. Yeah. Listen, man, nah, I, man this, I think there's definitely cross energy on things we can do, whether it's some type of live show or I'm whatever I'm going to hold you. This, you know what I mean? This is great little chemistry we got. 100%. It is great. 
I definitely I know, know y'all, y'all the same motherfucker. Y'all know y'all know she, y'all know music, y'all know who's coming up, y'all know who's the next motherfucker. Y'all know people that's rapping that I have no clue okay. about that's coming. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's finna come up. I will like, say, I will clothes, say this fashion, everything. I will say this though. The keys to that is T Rel, you definitely need a little homie. Like yeah, you need you need, you need, you need to put bro. that SOS <laughs> out and try to find cause that I will say you know, Adam did do enough of that, of finding people that understood the culture and different, these other aspects of like, yo, let me go get my little Hakeem, my house phone, and this and that, which is the truth. Like, I have my, my little homie right now. You know really? I mean? Yeah, I got a little homie. I just got him like a couple months ago. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course. <laughs> hey, I just got him. I just got him. I just got him. him. I just got him. Like, like, he adopted, like he adopted a cat yeah, or something. Like, shout, out, shout out my nigga Isaiah. Shout out my shout young out boy. To my nigga Isaiah. <laughs> but you got to think though, like yeah. even to me, like Kanye, Trav, like all that was for his own. They all yeah. have young people to yeah. keep them around, to inspire. Like who put, who put Kanye on the Playboy Cardi? That might Come be on. Six, it would, right, has to be, you have to go find Rocky your back Ian. off. Yeah, Rocky, like they, they had Ian, they, this and that. You There's an extension of, like you're not going to be able to know everything, right? Oh. At the end of the day, you're going to make decisions on your taste because you're a student and you can make great decisions. Be like, oh, I've seen this before. I like this. But to have someone bring something to you <laughs> earlier than ever so is funny. always going to, you know what I mean? W Help and speed the homie. process. Sure. You got to have a little homie. Bro, they said, w you little homie. Find <laughs> W little homies. <laughs> w little homies. <laughs> T-Rail, T-Rail. You got to find a six. young T Rail, man. No, no, they said that six is your little homie. Six is the little homie. He definitely be yeah, saying shit. I'm like, nigga, I'll listen to that shit. Shut up. And I'll be saying, like, I don't know, but he's. Six to one, put you on the V's? No, no, it was my homie Monty, but he's little homie to a six no a gang of shit. Yeah. Like, I was gonna say six is kind of your little homie with this podcast shit. Mm. I feel like you don't listen to that nigga though. Put no. him on. I don't. Know, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. What about nah, you? Heather? But who listens to Where's that little, little homie? homie? Nobody you need to find who a little Heather little homie, for sure. Bro. You gotta find. You gotta find someone. Heather, like I'm one on one. Nigga, ain't no little me. Ain't no little Hurricane Heather, nigga. No, it's a little Heather out there right now. Nah, there's definitely. It's actually probably in your DM, like. I found yeah. a lot of my assistants and interns because I'm just like I just actually just went through my DM and put out SOS like yo I'm looking for assistants I'm looking for so, uh, uh, this and that and like oh I talked to him like you get how it. do you You're- determine who is best for the job though um, who got honestly, the knowledge it's man. the knowledge mm-hmm. right you gotta got wow vision? you gotta think you have to be able to wow me and you gotta be coachable right because right. I'm gonna give you information that you might have never had or like seen. niggas don't wanna take it though and sometimes niggas will be like ah like I know a lot but it's not a over like you know sharing of just like oh I know more than you this and that ah ah it's just That's like pride. you're the young you know we're both coming away from pride in the sense where it's just like yo Hakeem's been around he knows and you know I'm a young nigga like I don't have all the time in the world to be you know what I mean looking up as much as I do but I do do that already you're gonna I need you to catch shit that I'm not even looking at yeah no facts like I mean I'm not gonna hold you there's people that I've started listening to because I've seen Hakeem or kids take over Mm -hmm. uh, mention them or some shit like that and it's like and it's it's just smart it's just like yo I'm not gonna be able to get everything I need to find someone, like, I already know, like, I listen to music all day. Like, that's for the it's new stuff, uh, you know, big artists, whatever <laughs> it is. But I want someone that's going to go dig through the dirt of things that I possibly, like, I don't have time for this. Like, it's just not going to be as fun. It's just like, I need my little homie, like, yo, ah, ah, this is what niggas is fucking with. You know it's what I mean? It's just a different perspective. It's too. just a great different perspective. <laughs> and I got to respect your taste. And, you know, I got to... Re- <laughs> I gotta respect, you know, your views and this and that. Like my, my little nigga, I say every time they come to the house, he'll be like, "Yo, I just did this new thing. I just did that and this and that." And I'm like, "Oh, he wows me all the time." Like, you know what I mean? Shout out Mo. Shout out. Shout out to everyone that's there. But like Isaiah is definitely like someone I look and I'm like, "Yo, this is like a young version of me." You know what I mean? When I was a kid, like this reminds me of myself, and that's what you just gotta look for. Yeah, just like look at look for a young version of Heather. Look for a young version. You're a hustler. Like you're you're a student. You're a fan. I can teach you because you know i had a big bro and he i wouldn't even be here uh without him and like all he bestowed and all the knowledge and information that he gave me to you know when i was in middle school and stuff like that was very important to my growth to me even being able to sit in this chair right now you know so it's very important and it's like yo like you're gonna be bigger than me one day the more you help me grow i'm gonna grow you know it's kind of like asap yams like he constantly found you know, new, like, who's the new young dope niggas? Like, I got to get around them. You know yeah. what I mean? Shout out, like, that's the, that's how you keep this shit going and really keep the culture going and moving, you know? You're right. 
man, W that because you know if y'all want if y'all want to intern for me, hit me up, man. DM me. Hundred you know percent. If you're in you Los Angeles, California. DM me, mess with me, you feel I me? I need one too. Let me, let me, let me see what's going on, man. And Heather, <laughs> Heather, you better fucking. And then what's Heather, the your little sister is your is your. Uh, yeah, your my little sister and my sister Jalen. They, but my little sister, she's not really little. She's my age. Yeah, like she's really? a couple she got, years. She going too. She's just yeah, short. She, but they both That's are I mean. up on like different <laughs> stuff that I'm not up yeah, on, I and they're it. like, Heather, you should do this. Heather, you should go live on TikTok. Heather, you got to do this. You yeah. got to. They keep me young because I am getting older. I'm 33 years old, even though that's not old, but. But to stay, you know, cool, stay in, like, stay in the culture, stay in the realm. Like, I have to, I have to do these things. Yeah, yeah big W's in the chat for my boy, Hakeem. And, uh, you know, the, what was, what's the guy name that put the nails on his hair and his face? Oh, Tizo. Uh, Tizo. Oh, Tizo. 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 I did Tizo, one of Tizo's early interviews. Like, it's crazy to see Bruh. where he's at now. I did I was, I, I boycotted him, right? Why? Because he had the nails in his hair? Nigga got nail. He bleeding. Right? That's that old nigga mentality, bro. <laughs> look, look, yeah. That's that That's old nigga old shit. You want to tap that nigga? Fuck I'm like, this nigga. He's I'm, so all, I'm on my Joe Buddy shit. I'm like, nigga, that nigga, he bleeding. Fuck that nigga, right? <laughs> he got bitch. nails in his face. The whole oh. little shit. So, right? Drake out. Drake song come out. What's the Drake song? Praying. Yeah. He's, Pray. all, he's all over that. He's all over that shit. Be oh, oh, my God. That shit's so good. I didn't even know that was him. I'm going to the album tonight. Man, dogs will be dogs. That's not even the only one. He went, he went crazy on the second song, too. Bro, what? and then I seen him perform. Hey I don't man, even know if that was Rolling Loud oh, or man. whatever, right? Mm -hmm. He performed that shit. He said, dogs will be dogs. And I said, that's him. <laughs> oh, I was like, I, I fuck with you now. Sorry, my boy. I, I was talking to the screen like, my bag. I was like, you <laughs> gotta take back like, your boycott. Being some old nigga stupid shit. Yeah. Like, I, we gotta have a little homie like you said. Like, no, what am I even important. talking about? Like, not go to his music. I'm like, damn. I think that was one of the dope bro. things about the Yachty and J. Cole interview, too. Basically, yeah. like, J. Cole is at a place where it's just, like, I'm not really discrediting, like, new stuff or this and that. In a sense, I'm looking at it as, like, what in this do I like? What do I like about this? Because as a music lover and as someone that's a student and someone that's constantly, you know, has taken in all these different music references, there's if it's working and it's such a big song or a big moment, there's got to be something in that reminds me of something that I've already liked. So let me not, you know, just judge it and just be like, what is dope about this? Is it a snare? Is it a the tone? Is it this? It's just a quotable part. Like I gotta be able to connect with something because I don't think great things just happen and there's not like a reference point to it. You know what I'm saying? Like there's gotta be something for it. Like there's no reason why the fuck Drake, one of the greatest artists in the world, is, has Tizo on his artist. There's gotta be on his album. There's yeah. gotta be a reason. Or a sexy red or, or a yee, sexy red or a yee. fucking. What about this to, is dope? And we have know? to give him that credit because Kanye did that too. And 100 percent with T Pain records and stuff like that. Nigga, like he so went, many people, like, G hot? GLC, Common, Bro, fucking, like, all, all, these, all these people that was just like, nigga, who are these niggas? Who are these niggas? You know what but, I mean? But but you know what? He nigga, he gave a lot of careers with that shit. Virgil, nigga. Jerry Come Lorenzo, on. Matthew Williams. Keep going. You, it, the list fucking goes on, but that's what the Aaron ghost, Preston even Aaron, like Aaron, Aaron Preston, Preston is crazy. That's right? what that's what and the ghosts do, bro. They don't. That shit that shit's definitely baby off white. Yeah, no, it but, is. I fuck with it though. Yeah, yeah. but they kind of was doing. I feel like uh, Virgil took all that. You got to remember that they was <laughs> yeah. doing Pyrex together. Yeah, they was doing yeah, it was. and Ben Trill, no? So, I feel yeah. like I feel like he tapped the hair on like, hey, look, I'm gonna take this shit. I'll type fuck shit. with you. You take this aesthetic, I take this. This aesthetic. And he like, you are, right. but also too, fashion niggas definitely be on the same wavelength at the same time too. I mean, they in the same places. They in the same places and the, in the same, same references place. and seeing the same things. No facts. You know what I mean? Like, but we're all that, on like, cargos. We're all on carpenter. Like industrial, industrial, like. Work. But it's, you kind of alignment, you know? Else. Like, exactly. I, mean, I don't know. That's all, like the the whole fashion shit, the Melrose shit. It's like you might. This is to be blunt. You might see Ian or some shit. You might see Bar. Yeah. You might see them with a. They was in London. They got the Road Man team or mm -hmm. some shit. Yeah, they see these they come actual over here things and they in walk around. Like, you're like, oh, like, you know, Palace jumpsuits and. Yeah. yeah, everybody on the block is selling and buying. Now it ain't safe on the block. Not even in the. <laughs> that's hot. why. That's why. You know what I mean? No, it, it's 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 very in interesting. The man. When it shut down, that well, end. I mean, we, we, we all we all love fashion in here. Heather yeah. obviously having her brand. Um, 
and we all are clothes lovers and you know spend too much money on clothes <laughs> what, what do you feel like I the, need to the spend game's more missing money. you feel like you may spend more money I need to spend some more money cause the game missing something it's, it's missing originality cause mm. you know why it's Instagram bled it bro Instagram you could go on Instagram right now and it's gonna be a fit breakdown of Hakeem's whole fit from head to toe uh, which which uh, replica website to get it from if you replica. if you're trying to fake it or or to give you the real prices and it's just like niggas don't want to go out and search for their own shit have their own swag have their own opinion they just want to dress like the next nigga and that shit's lame as fuck and I never fucked with that that shit's weird I, now now, now at, at the same time though if you just can't put it together yourself and you're looking for some inspiration that's cool but what you do is you you, you pick from different pools of shit. You don't just go copy a nigga whole swag from head to toe. <laughs> that true, shit black. True, but technically, you know, I think the issue is that we're having is that it's so forward facing that we're seeing the information with Instagram and it's too communicating. Fast, too quickly. It's too fast. It's, it's always like been like that. It's even. always been like that, but the difference is was okay, we both, me and you live you're in Virginia, you're in California, I'm in Jersey, right? And we all we see, all see Pharrell. We all try to get that babe fit, but the only time we would communicate in a certain way was is on like Nike talk mm -hmm. or Kanye to the butt. If we seen each other in person in New York or something like that, we're I'm now like, best friends. I'm like, my yeah, boy, you I have to. Wow. My boy. My boy. Yeah. You got that shit on. You got that shit boy. on. Like, yeah. who are you? Yeah. Like, oh, that's some old, but that's, that's old smoke But that's what the game, like we kind of like have went away from that part where now just like it's being communicated in such in a fast way. So it's just so disingenuous. It's just like and you get that mass produced you're getting that that moment of like finding someone that you know speaks the same language as yeah. you it's like wow you a were on all these even, a community. A community. It's it's made the, it's made the community Co so in, infiltr in, infiltratable. Like it's just like anyone can be a part of the community in a sense where it's just like yo, nah. Like I met this one nigga in New York and we we cool forever. I think Barry Chicago because he had Chicago shit, ones and like damn how you get yeah. those like now we're forever like locked yeah. in because we speak the same language. And that also goes back to the same shit with T. Rowe and just like why he was so important to No Jumper because of a language that he spoke. You know, like that Adam couldn't speak in a world that yeah. he brought in. You know, that's like no one can ever take what, you know, you, me, House Phone did. Like we brought things there. We weren't and my somebody. Nigga Dizzle for sure. AD, <laughs> like we sure brought a certain nigga. language and a, lot, a certain sense of community, you know, like. To the play, Hakeem knows his shit. Come on, man. Yeah, he knows his shit. Let's, go, let's get, let's get <laughs> I'm not else. here. I'm not interviewing yeah. on these niggas let's, for no let's reason. Let's get some new projects that just drop. You feel me? Because I want everybody, uh, you know, opinion. So you know, projects just drop. We got my boy Trippy Red, man. Mm. Saint Michael's mm. Volume Two. I haven't heard it yet. Same. I have not either. Rest Trippy Red been in the in the media a lot lately, and not for music related shit. I don't even know what he said about me meal to get him hot. So he got me. Yeah, what hot. the fuck was that about? He got that was so hot. random. He got me really out of character. Meek, hey Meek, don't even do it, bro. Go that's talk even, to Wallow. That's not out of character calm for me Meek down, Mill. Bro. Well, what did he say to get Meek Mill help? I, I don't know. I don't even know enough Meek about. Does anybody that's know? Like, nigga, it's smoke. I guess he was saying that. Um, Meek Mill was saying that that Trippy Red mentioned him in his album or something like that. Mm -hmm. But does anybody know exactly? And we still ain't going to listen to that. And we still don't even know what the I fuck is. I haven't he listened to the Meek Mill Rick Ross album, personally. I, I probably wouldn't um, listen to that unless it was casually played in the car by someone what, else. What, the new trippy? No, no, like the Meek Mill and Rick Ross. I, I have respect right. for Meek Mill and Rick but Ross at the end of the day. I'm not throwing that on. I'm sorry. I'm probably not throwing that and on. And that's not even on no hating shit. It's just like... You're not throwing Meek Mill and Rick Ross on. Well, they, they right put on. out a collab yeah. album? Yes. Yeah. Nigga, Did not you put it on? it on. Why would you not throw that on? Did you throw it on, t Rock? I threw it on. t Rock. them niggas is the same age, though. That's why. Oh, I'm... see, there we go. <laughs> nah, they trying to <laughs> age you. So if the, old, if the older niggas say they don't like the younger nigga, oh, then you an older nigga. Right. <laughs> so then when the older niggas drop music, and you like, I'm not throwing that on. I'm I will not say, throwing that. I will say I did watch one of the videos, the one where they're in the hangar, and there's all the cars and the... The um, planes. Okay. I seen that, but I wasn't. That didn't make me want to go listen to the rest. Okay, listen. What, what I love championships. I love that Meek album. That shit came out like 2013. <laughs> I mean, that was the last time I really tapped in. Like, wait, listen. <laughs> I will say though, when Meek will get in his bag, he be on his high pitch freestyle shit. I'm in on the corner. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. Fit a fit a birdie. 
Chilling in the way. Chilling <laughs> <laughs> in the day. Oh, y'all niggas call, man. <laughs> now he be in his bag, nah, though. He be, in his, fucked up, he be in his bag. He be in his bag when he do that. But I'm not, but I didn't know that they was even promoting an album for that. So y'all don't like Shaq and Kobe, the song? I never oh, even that heard is the that. first. That's <laughs> one of the first singles. Y'all niggas crap. Nah, I never even nah, heard that. So the say, marketing so, may not be good for um, our demographic. But guess what? But though? your you demographic that is saying, nah, we're not checking that out. Your demographic is saying music is watered down, which is Lil Yachty, which is a super. Nah, Yachty, 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 so that means music watered down. We listen to the Lil Yachty and don't listen to Drake. Listen, we listen, I mean, listen to the, the concrete. Rick Ross. We listen to the we listen to the Caribou, Caribou, Lil DC, Yachty. I'm fucking with DC Two yes. Chain. You feel me? We fuck. We fucking fuck with Yachty, concrete. Though. We fucking with we fucking with the female and rappers right now. Let's talk about just like you. Yachty, like making such a great experimental album. Like that shit was good. Wow, the album it was great. I I mess with it personally. I like the Lil Yachty album. You know what I'm saying? I like I like music like that. You know, especially when I ride. It's, it's smooth, big one on one, four on five music. I you know I love it, but I also love the rap. I also love Rick Ross. He's he's one of my you know he top five for me. I I love Ross it. is definitely one of the like I love he's most one of the ever. most fires lyricists in the game. I yeah, but like, him. okay, yeah, that, but God forgives, that God forgives look, I don't mixtape is so classic to me, man. But I really see him in high definition, like. But I feel like we need to be able to go back to those. We don't have, like, they took the classic. I'm not a go now. back type nigga, though, bro. But that's like, what's happening now is that n- ain't nobody going back to. Like, all right, no, so, niggas is going back look, too much. Unpopular, no, I, unpopular opinion. I don't agree I with that at all. Long. Niggas is going back too much, sampling too much shit, no originality. Like, you can sample a beat and make your own song. Niggas is just remaking old songs over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's all niggas is doing. Are actually, actually who are you listening to? Nigga, listen. Drake, I'll be on some other shit, Rick though. Rick Ross, <laughs> Nipsey Hussle. I listen to everybody, but those are like my top three. And and yeah, yeah, the music, you only gonna get as, as if the girls love you, yeah, then you, right. go, you out of here. I love everybody. If, 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 if Hakeem and, if, and House Phone just li- look and listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's over? What bitches is it listening to? It ain't over. It what? ain't over. What you bitches are listening to? You gonna sell Rick Ross? What bitches is listening to the new Meek Mill Rick Ross? Oh, None God. of them. I'm yeah. a DJ, so they listening to Caribou, the Yachty. Come on, bro. Yeah, bro. bro. We're not listening. We're outside, yeah. bro. Or what, Caribou, uh, what Caribou song they listening to? Bro, Caribou going up. Don't even play with her at all, Caribou, Anisia is going crazy right now. Anisia, too. She going crazy. Oh, what what song on, are they far listening to? It's oh. different. It's like, look, Yachty, the reality is that Meek Mill uh, and Rick Ross are uh, celebrity-wise, right? They're they're extremely big. No, not play this shit. You gonna get claimed? You gonna get claimed? No, 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 T real. T real. Loda Great did box the forty. Loda Great did box the forty. We fucking with Caribou. Yeah. We fucking with Caribou. Man, flames in the chat if y'all fucking with Caribou. We fucking with Caribou. We fucking with Anisia. We fucking with all that shit. We fucking with Sexy Red. We motherfucking like, come on, man. I'm I'm listening hard. Sexy Red. Sexy Red. This her baby, this one baby daddy, and then Make made up the other one and said a free baby daddy. I don't get it. Like that. Who's the new baby daddy? Who's the new daddy? Who's the new baby daddy? I don't, know, baby baby daddy. Baby yeah, daddy. I don't yeah, know, but I don't honestly, know. I'm going to the show on Saturday, bro. I cannot motherfucking wait, bro. This shit about to be so lit. I can't wait to see the thoughts in there, throwing ass, shaking ass. It's gonna be like a big ass blood party. Everybody gonna be in all red. Everybody. She's got to just tell the world her her daughter's name is Wow Burgundy. Burgundy. That so, would be crazy. That would be a hard name. Little Burgundy. Girl? Little Burgundy. I just I just said that. And maybe, shout out to baby. I'm just like shout out to baby Africa <laughs> too. The hardest female rapper out of Inglewood, California. Rolling loud. We turning the fuck up, nigga. Baby shout out to baby Africa. Africa wait, 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 wait. Baby yes, Africa. Sir. Baby Africa in the motherfucking building, nigga. Man, I didn't know it was so many young people in the chat, man. Y'all gave me fireballs to Caribou. On, man. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Caribou is so I'm fire. Anisia is... Are y'all my... Going look, crazy hey, too. fuck that. Y'all my little homie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah bro. Yeah. 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 We look good. <laughs> Hey, fuck listen. all of that. These niggas are my listen. little homies. I ain't looking for no homies. These niggas my little homies. Hey, listen, Ross... Meek Mill legends, I have the utmost respect for them. But we and ain't everything. listening to that shit. But I, if, if, if Caribou and if Caribou put, and- they drop on the same day, I'm gonna go listen to them. I, what if new- Caribou do a song with me? 
That'd be that, hard. That's great visibility <laughs> for her. That'd be great visibility for him at this point. <laughs> no, 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 we're not doing that. Bro, that, no, nigga, we're not doing that. If Meat Mill that drops just, a video on Twitter right now, it's not getting over 10,000 likes. Nah, it's still doing that because Come he's still on, a celebrity bro. at the end of the day. I'm in my whole shit. Niggas on that whole shit. <laughs> You're trolling that point. Nah, Meek Mill is still nah, a respectable nah, nah, celebrity nah, 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 at a certain nah, level. Nah, he's, nah, he's at a certain nah, level for sure. Why are you saying shout out it's that? More of, <laughs> it's more of a visibility. More of a it's visibility more of a visibility for, for Meek Mill if Meek Mill and Caribou do a song right now today. Man, no, do not bro. disrespect Meek Mill. No, Meek Mill is an extremely no, famous person. That is out. Ain't nobody listening to that shit, bro. There's a more wide... Meek Mill's a real celebrity. Like that is a real famous person. It's a bigger person. pool already. It's a way bigger pool. Like it, Caribou and them, yeah. they're not on the same level. Okay, I'm not obviously joking. Not, yeah, I'm yeah. obviously joking, but what I'm saying is, right now at this moment, if who? Caribou or Nisia drop a motherfucking album the same day as Meek Mill, I guarantee you, I'm not even thinking about. You're Meek personally Mill not, but to the masses, more people we're are going to listen to Meek Mill. That's what we're talking about. That's, these niggas that's is literally sheep. what we're talking about. These niggas is sheep, and they're going to follow the masses anyway, mm -hmm. so that's cool. But what we're I'm saying about. is, we nigga, are we're talking about what Meek are the hoes listening to, though, Hakeem? When we go to apartment 200 <laughs> and bitches and shaking ass, they're not shaking ass, bitches and nightmares. I don't want to hear that shit. How many times you gonna pray for times like this, nigga? You've been praying for the same times for fucking 15 years. Fuck that shit. No, you mad at the DJ community. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you mad at DJ. But, you know, like I said, to us, we care about Anisia, but I know, I'm just playing. So we want, we want something new. But we want stupid. something new. We're trying to listen to something new, but at the end of the day, it's like, Meek Mill is actually a real big and famous person. It's a difference. Facts. But this video is harder than any Meek Mill video I've ever seen. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, I'll hold, say that. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> We just playing you on though. We you just this video is harder than any Meek Mill video I've ever seen. You don't gotta go that hold far. On, hold on, hold on. There's some new shit that I was gonna compare. I was gonna compare the the views. I was gonna go do some hoe shit. I was gonna do some hoe shit. It's too early, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. We just talked about too early. It's too early. And we just talked about some bullshit like that. Talk about the views and all of it. It doesn't even matter. It's it doesn't even matter. As far as forward facing culture and in the front, it's it's okay. Hold on, dog. Nah, he, Hold on, dog. He a voice for the people right now. So this is saying. a girl. Yeah, you yeah, Caribou's, Caribou's a girl. Yeah, he thought Caribou was a guy. Nigga, Car do that sound like a nigga? Caribou? I need, I need homies. Caribou. I need little she homies part of, ASAP. She part of Lil Yachty. Arx K, concrete. Arx K Nephew is a better rapper than me. This Mill. is a young Stop lady. Stop going for me, bro. <laughs> bro so you're a tripping. Alicia and Caribou are two, are two girls. girls. They're girls. They're doing their thing right now. And you and like killing shit. And you said fuck we wrong since we <laughs> beat Mill. <laughs> Nigga, they okay, must okay. be crazy. Hey, hey, look. T-Roll. Oh, oh, see, now you didn't put Heather on. These are two yeah, girls. Yeah, you on? They yeah. are. They These are. They are. Caribou is fire. Caribou is fire. I had niggas scream play Sexy Red to me, and I'm like, this is crazy. Yo, I seen a car. Yo, months ago, I was at Escuela <laughs> eating, and this is when I, like, I already, you know, you we're already, here. like, Forward facing and gonna know something's yeah, fire, facts, right? Facts, facts. But when I seen a car, a Full group of, of men, no, no, oh. not bitches. It was niggas yeah, bitches mad in the car. Driving <laughs> off of a, a group of niggas. Group of niggas at a squala. First thing, all of them get in the car. <laughs> press play. This is mad because they fucked the gay, so they ain't got no clothes. I'm like, what? She the don't like my song because she think it's her. I'm talking Wait, about. I'm like, it was four niggas in the car. Yeah. Turns up. Like niggas. Turns up to sexy red. Like niggas. She oh, red. sexy red, sexy red, sexy red. Oh yeah, bro. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. See, I, I was like, really she is fucking right out of here. She is out of here. She's so out of here. Skater niggas, they don't. I'm like, yo, okay, what now, the fuck? Now I know who she is because she did that freestyle on Rap Radar, right? And she, yes, you, yes, so Yachty was behind. Yes, 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 and yes. No disrespect. Oh, to, no disrespect to anybody else. Oh, I've seen that. No okay, disrespect. I've seen that one. I've seen that. I've seen no, that. No disrespect to anybody else on that freestyle. She murdered all them niggas. No, I don't but, give a fuck. But to go into that is like they the stand beat. behind. That's the that's the first girl I be seeing in Mitch Yachty. Like that's the first lady of concrete. They line that whole joint up for her to body. It. She did body it though. Like I'm I'm thinking it's two different freestyles. The beat slow down mm, and I'm like, oh they changed the beat on her. For her. Like so check that out. Man, that's I gotta hard. check them out. I'm check like, the look, they've been on big. Oh, that's hard. Like, yeah, like House Phone said, if Meek 
and then <laughs> drop. Yeah, look. <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I, I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> no, I, I nah, was crazy. He crazy. I was agreeing. Like, like, yo, they all drop. I'm mm-hmm. thinking caribou. I'm but not hold you. I'm, we're not, not gonna be thought. like Meek Mill is not Meek Mill. Like, yeah, but, I, I but agree with you. If we go to apartment, Meek Mill and Rick Ross. If we go to apartment 200 tonight. Yes. You're not hearing no, no Meek Mill, Rick I agree. Ross, but you will hear that new Anisia that just dropped last night. I mean, that new Caribou that just dropped last so, night. So, so, I so, promise so, you. So this. My Car- life revolves around the hoes, nigga. <laughs> if the hoes are fucking with it, I I'm agree. fucking with it. I, I agree, right? I don't agree. But, nah. <laughs> My life revolves around other things. I'm trolling you. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I like he bitches. Tell me like, what the fuck? I <laughs> love you guys, I mean, you mean, oh, boy, yeah. you mean, I, 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 I love you guys. I'm fucking with Slime Seat, though, for sure. But if if Caribou and them, I'm, that's not even to make sense. I'm not even going to bother. It, it, it is right. common sense at that point. Okay, I'm do okay. That. So let me ask y'all another one. Buster Ryan just came out with his... Oh, my God. Let's not chill out. You, you, you <laughs> trolling. Shut, you Bro. fucking trolling, T-Rex. No, I'm going to do number one. You talking about what you do for T-Rex. Bro, 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 when's the last time you listened? The last the verse I remember out. by by Buster Ryan is "Look at me now." <laughs> Let's go. Nigga, I do not want to hear that shit, bro. T-Rail, bro, you are trolling. We're not listening to Buster Ryan. So y'all not new. So hold on. Respect to the legend. Respect to the legend, bro. I thought his speech on the BET Awards was very beautiful. And shout out to NBA legend. He paved the way for hip hop, bro. Shout out to him. And another Jamaican brother. But not jacking that. I'm sorry. Never. Listen, listen, listen to Busta Rhymes new album. Never. Oh, no. I listen Busta. to some old Busta before I listen to new Busta. I, I listen to Scenario before I listen to a new Busta Rhymes album, exactly. bro. Exactly. Like, we're not doing that. I listen to Scenario not. on a 10 hour loop repeat before I even <laughs> think about listening to a new Busta Rhymes album. Realistically, you can't, like, you supposed to, like, hip hop 50 years, we going into year 50, 51. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that nigga's probably about 60. Listen, you shouldn't be looking to listen to a new Busta Rhymes album yeah, fresh off the press. crazy, bro. Like, you know, that's Why like, is he not even going to try? Never. Never, bro. Like, I, Why? I'll listen to it. I'll listen to it. I'll listen to it. I'm, I'm not. DJ, though. I'm a little, yeah, yeah, and I'm a little older than, than my 20s, so it's like, I'll listen to it to see what he's talking about, but I am going to look for something newer that other people want to hear first. Bro, one million percent. Like, I, like I'm not like, listening. To that. When I t- I listen to some old shit, bro. bro no, when brother. I tell you that that is so like the furthest thing away from what I would listen to, like I would listen to literally anybody else, bro. That is kind of funny though that he did like no disrespect to us, bro. But it is like that was such like a middle of the like forecast of people that you could have picked to be like. New Buster Rhymes. So, T. Rowe, did you listen to Buster Rhymes? <laughs> no, I did not. That's what I'm saying. Like, come on. But, <laughs> yeah, come on, T. Rowe. Heather, do like, you listen to Buster Rhymes? Like, if you were to say, Rhymes? like, Sugar yeah. Free, <laughs> you listen to the new Sugar Free, I can understand how you pull Sugar Free out. I'm not, it's like, I might fuck with some new Sugar Free, though. Like, baby, exactly, like, right? Like, like, or some new Sugar Free. Because it's my beer, actually, let it breathe. Yeah. Lasting in, don't smoke. Yeah, come on, man. All right, okay, we gon' <laughs> shout, shout out Buster. Shout out Buster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a legend, he gonna, bro. He gonna, he gonna be looking. Yeah, yeah. He, gonna, he gonna beat my ass up when yeah, he sees us, brother. Looking. He gonna be like, hey, no, did you help though? You niggas help though. Going no is that Wiz Khalifa? Khalifa? These niggas don't Wiz know who he is. Is that Wiz? Nah, it's not Wiz. <laughs> come on, come on, Maybe. come on. Don't, don't be. Come on, man. That ain't Wiz. Oh, I mean, he was on the bus. Yeah, it might be. But if Wiz. Shout Wiz, out Wiz, I man. fuck with Wiz. Shout out Legend. What a classic. He said, yeah, nerds. It is him. Yeah, nigga. Shout out Wiz, man. Shout out my nigga Wiz in the building. Shout out that Wiz, was his man. first comment. <laughs> he was uh, like, yeah, nah, lame. y'all tripping type shit. <laughs> shout out, shout out uh, Addy LOL too, man. You feel me? He, he, I think he uh, gave us a hundred. Where's chilling though? What's in the, what's well, he the next? He gave me a hundred. Wow. Fuck music though. Uh, oh, because I support the movement, man. Addy LOL. What other music takes we got LOL? Shout out LOL. We got YG Tiger. That's it. No, that's his yay and Ty Dolla Sign. You know what I'm saying? Both. They said Meek and Buster for the Jump House. Wiz says much. Love after he called y'all nerds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Much shout love. Out, shout, out. shout out Wiz, man. We need a KK. We need a KK sponsorship over here. Yeah, <laughs> man. Is it still it over here? We got a couple ashtrays over here. Mm. You know, we gonna smoke it up. We got <laughs> the ashtrays and KK shit. KK don't get left, you know, <laughs> around. Right, 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 <laughs> no KK got get left man. behind. That shit getting smoked. Niggas definitely got the music going. You feel me? And Steph uh, definitely dropping. What well, Wiz Khalifa is dropping? He in the chat. What y'all gonna say? I ain't gonna hold you. I one thousand percent will listen to a new Wiz project before I even think about listening to the news. Anybody else that we Rick were talking Ryan. about? 
Ring Rock. You feel me? Okay. Now listen, listen. I was just playing, crashing out on the legends. <laughs> oh, but I'm, just, I'm being honest though. I was not. I'm not nah. listening to that. That's Somebody a street standpoint though. Is dead. It's probably it. Hey, <laughs> that's a street standpoint though. Hey, you know, right, we go out. That's what people. That's valid though. That's valid, that's bro. Valid, bro. That's my ass on fake wigs. Like, but now. yay and Ty Dolla Sign vultures. Um, Shout the out hook, the legend Bum J. The hook is really crazy. I want to see if they Shout gonna out. let that go on all platforms. Mm. That's one of the things I want to see if they gonna do. I uh, I seen Chris. Brown and Wiz over in Dubai. They was, letting the DJ, they was letting the DJ play the song. I'm not going to repeat it because it's so crazy. Because it's crazy like that? The people bullies out here, man. <laughs> he said, shout out to Fake Wiz. It's funny. Yeah, the now, I got a whole bullies, other take for that, though. Put like, people bullies that. out here, man. You can't be... <laughs> fake Tiger in the chat, too. Y'all niggas are jokes, <laughs> No, I, I, got, I gave Fake Tiger a wrench, too. I fuck with my boy. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about... What if that's really bro he modern can't, in your he chat? Can't every, what if it is? Cause, so, <laughs> like, hey, this nigga here. He be like, hey, I'm late. You know what I mean? Bro, that'd but be shout crazy. Shout out to that nigga, too, man. But yeah, that that hook they got is really crazy. He said, "I fucked the year and the me." Who Bob like, J said that? No, uh, Kanye. Kanye, Kanye man. He's like, yeah, yeah, we just Wait, what fucked he say? the. Uh, no, no. You know what I'm thinking? We I just fucked the year and the me woman. You know yeah. what I mean? No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. He did. He did. He did. No, he, he did, did bro. Yeah. I don't believe that. Yeah, he, he did. did. But you know what? Yeah, <laughs> That's the hook, and he got Chris Brown on it. He got Chris Brown singing on that motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. with the album, yeah, he did. I just, I just but if he said that, yeah, he did that shit. He did that shit. That shit is so funny as fuck. Yo, 50 Cent is the fuck. Funniest nigga, bro, on the oh, planet God, Earth, bro. Oh, God, he on bro. Diddy ass, bro. bro. He on Diddy. He on Diddy. Bro. Like, he's so untouched with Bumper. it. Like, Diddy will never say nothing to 50. But I be feeling like a lot of motherfuckers is scared of Diddy. Like, oh, he gonna get something yeah, done to nigga, people. Blah, blah, blah. That but 50 like, that nigga ain't gonna get nothing done to me. Nigga, 50 like, yeah, that nigga ain't gonna do shit to me, bro. He finna come out with the surviving Diddy and all the whole little shit. But this other than Diddy... There's a lot of people that's been uh, accused of sexual assault now in New York. It's at least about Why five, six. Why filing all this shit in New York? That, uh, about Diddy? No, just not no, even. No, just in New York. It's uh, Diddy president. Uh, Bill Cosby again. Diddy got a couple of them. Uh, Jimmy Iovine got one. Man, they just serving people with sexual assaults, assault cases, man. I, I Pun tried to give me a little uh, insight on it. And said, you know, they trying to change the laws and the stipulations. Mm. That this was your, I think it was like they last day or whatever the case may be. If you so ain't get like raped between in. this point and this point, you can't come out with a rape case. And then, you know, on that last day, everybody just start getting hit with it. Oh, wow. So, Is that right, though? Like, yeah, that's crazy. It's the deadline. <laughs> they got, you know what I'm saying? It's the deadline. As a woman, like. It's the last day, and it's just like a. a on-site if it thing. really happened to them, yes, good job for doing that. But you should have done it when it happened. Happened, right? Right, you should have done it when it happened. But I think everybody is trying to get that money since it is the last day. If it really did happen to you, though, yeah, get yours. But yeah, like, get some yours. Of them are probably lying. Yeah, definitely bring it to the forefront. For man. sure, get yours. Get and yours. And don't be scared to bring it to the forefront before everybody before, else. Is. Yeah. yeah. Make don't sure you do line. it when it happens. Don't be scared. Yeah, I mean, we not we not gotta, signing none say, of that. We can't. You got innocent until proven guilty, but you gotta throw it out there if that happened to you. I ain't gonna say motherfuckers be lying or whatever. There, but some people do. But you know, you gonna throw it out there, whatever. Feel me? But that is kind of crazy though. On the deadline, we just gonna say fuck it. Who could prove somebody? Who you was with, bitch? Oh, I was with him. So yeah, do it up. Let's do it up. Uh, shout out Yaz yes, too I like that man So Sorella man Sorella right now Is having a big sale Black Friday okay. sale Hell yeah um, mm-hmm. We having the Cyber Monday Black Friday it, It's going You feel me It's going all the way Through uh, December You feel me To January We Make sure y'all um, Tune into that Today we went on TikTok You feel TikTok me We went live. on TikTok live today And uh, we was giving away Stuff for orders So make That's sure fine. y'all Um Tune into that because she be on TikTok. And that's so, so real. Keeping away product on TikTok? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We be doing it up, man. Make sure y'all follow up. Make sure y'all follow up. Because, you know, up. like a, um, like on TikTok, they have a lot of that live, like, shopping. Stop. Like, I've HSN lot, vibes. Mm. And I feel like that's what it's, it's coming into a little bit. Like, you have to... You have to get on there and like sell them the product. Like an Insta story is not gonna work no more. You gotta oh, show God, them. You gotta there. talk about it. Try it on. Show them what it is. I mean, unless you're like 
you know, a brand that, no, you know, people just, I don't know. I just feel like these are the new vibes. I used to just be able to post an Insta story, hey, we're having a sale, and it go up. Nah, facts. Now it's just a little different. I feel like Instagram doesn't have that power anymore. Oh, I'm like God, TikTok. I'm starting to realize yeah. that, too. <laughs> so much, yeah. it's, I mean, it's just a different You can't sell pool. like you used to. You can't to. sell crazy shit off just Instagram no more. No. Like, like you, you could, you could tap in with your like core people that already fuck with you. Yeah. But come on. But man. to reach new people, yeah. Like you I've been it. on TikTok. I get like Who new that? followers every time I get sorry. on TikTok. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Who is that? Shout, Shout out Sorella, and they oh, say God, right now. That's, that's a crazy segue. Be having the Lord, baddest, baddest, baddest model. model. IG. The baddest model for Sorella, hey, man. Lord Send an IG, man. We need the IGs of everybody that's not Heather on this website. <laughs> Exit out of that little flyer. They won't let me. Nah, leave that motherfucker, man. Let, let, let it cook. Let it cook. Uh, go to yeah, go good, yeah, good ad blockers, nigga. <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas talking about. Y'all get in this sale, nigga. Y'all gonna get this sale. <laughs> Make you sure you me? get your 20% off. <laughs> it always happens to us with this little X. That's crazy. But yeah, man, make sure y'all go to sosorella.com. Oh, God. Uh, 80% off, man. A money for nails, site. too. 50% off. Uh, yeah, oh money God. for nails, too. 50% off. And then don'tcrabout.com got no percent off, nigga. You better just cop that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Until Why Monday. got no percent off. Because it was, it was the first drop, bro. Okay, you can leave the first job with a new No, listen, I'm doing no. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna leak it right now. On Cyber Monday, though, we doing fifty percent off all the old style. So tap in with us on Monday. Don't crap out. Com. We got all the skate rollers. I mean, not the skate rollers. The, the old high rollers on the website. You know the vibes. Yeah, tap in with us. Nah, dude, don't wait till the do it now. Tell no, do it now. Don't wait till Monday. No, it's coming on Cyber Monday. I gotta get my drop out the way first, man. Don't be hating on my methods, T Real. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Mushy's just tapped in for me. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mushy. Oh, shit. You took one? I took four of them. Basically. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Okay. We need the live review. Let's see the yeah, self-destruction here. Four? Is that crazy? Let's see the self-destruction. You about to melt into that couch. Yeah. <laughs> you about to turn into a, a, a orange. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all. Look, you know what I'm saying? Sorella Boutique underscore. Make sure y'all go follow that, too, on Instagram. No, TikTok. TikTok. Oh, TikTok, TikTok. Uh, follow, follow, follow all of it. Started. TikTok, TikTok. I need a thousand followers right now, man. I need a thousand followers. I get that. What is it? 70? What is it? 60? 60? 60? No, 57. 57 yeah, we need people. that. Run it up. 57 people. I'm giving something for free right now, man. I'm going to know the 57 shit. people. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing all giveaways. Oh, shit. That 57 people, man, I'm going to give y'all something right now. Make sure y'all go uh, follow Sorella Boutique underscore right now. If you want something for your girl, man, make sure you go to your girl. You know, and go to the site, man. Use code Pink Friday and get 80% off. You feel me? Yes, sir. I mean, and that was a real whiz in the chat. And also, DJ Charisma is in the chat. DJ Charisma! Uh, DJ Charisma! Uh, we gotta start talking about music more because they were tapped in when we started talking music? about the music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And, and DJ Charisma is one of the pioneers that always found new music, always found a way to give the new... Um, artist a platform she tried her best you know what i'm saying while working at every well working at the radio station even if she was djing an event whatever she did even if she was at a club she made sure she tried to highlight as much as she could so shout out dj charisma i didn't did a lot with her um over the years and she's highly respected in my book oh, so God. shout out her um, definitely shout out her, man. Um, I, love you for real, for real, for real, for real. I mean, I, if we're gonna have a music conversation, we gotta go like maybe just like song of the year or something like that. Okay. Honestly, for you, you know, about everybody. Pound Town Sexy Red. Pound Town <laughs> Sexy Red is for you? I mean, for me. I'm talking about the impact. Just the impact. impact. Not even just for my personal listen. Yeah, we talking about impact. That shit, catapult, that shit catapulted her to a whole different stratosphere, bro. I honestly am gonna go with Gunna. I think Gunna. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Don't care. Yeah. Still don't care. Yeah. I think I think that's Gunna. A, that's a good one. Definitely had song of the year. I did want to hate on it, but can't hate on that. Yeah, one. it's Songs a banger. Was good. Fuck you mean is definitely. Fuck you mean. I'm not going to listen to it though. That's more so my standpoint. Like, yeah. You're not listening it, to it. I'm not going to. But, it, but to you don't to have to though because it's going to no, come it's on wherever play. you are. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I think that speaks volume. And that's I don't have a personal side of, like, song, situation. but Drake and Twenty One Savage Project is one of those ones for me. Still, overflowing into 2023 into 2024, I think is one of the best albums for sure. I, I, I can listen to 
What do y'all think? I love Drake in 21's project. I love Drake. He's always one of, you know, been one of my favorites. Um, but for me, if I have to give it to a song, I'm going to give it to Gunna. I think that was okay. honestly probably the biggest song of the year for me, man. I still hear it. I don't think it's, it's so unavoidable. Like you guys said, it's just like whether even the people that didn't want to listen to Gunna had to listen to Gunna. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> like that's real out, power. It tailed out though. Uh, I think it's I definitely shows. Yeah, that. I think I think it definitely does its things, but I think it's like still gonna be somewhat of a consistent record because you know of the virality of it, and you know it's an answer. It's just the more uh, gonna progresses and drops music, people are gonna remember that song. Okay, let's go to the Grammy nominations then. Sheesh. Yep. Mm. Let's see what let's see what the Grammys got going. Look at the song for the Yammies. So you hear what I mean? We, who we got 2022 song of nominees? So we got nominees. We got okay, Taylor yeah, Swift in here. Do y'all know any Taylor Swift songs? I don't you know not one Taylor Swift song. Me. I know that one. I know the old stuff, but I, I haven't hey, been listening to it. I genuinely don't know not one song. Not no, I don't know about I know. you, but I'm feeling 22. Yeah. Everything gonna be all right. Yeah. I like Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. I like Taylor Swift. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Adele. Love Adele. We love song Adele. Song of the year, though. Hey, I never, even, I never heard a song from her this year. But you know what? Shout out to her. Shout out to her for getting fine as fuck. Yeah. Having that bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. And yeah. Didn't like, got her a nigga. Yeah. Who? What? what some nigga. Rich Paul. Paul. Rich Paul. Yo, Paul. yo, yo. Listen, listen, He's bro. The goat. I ain't gonna lie. I went to my first Lakers game um, last year, mm-hmm. and I seen Rich Paul uh, uh, at the game. And when I tell you, bro. The way the nigga was walking around the arena, you could just he walk around. It shit. was just like, there was no care in the world. Yeah, it's almost like time wherever. didn't exist. Bro. I was you, like, that's when, a, when I want to get to that point in, in life. Time don't exist. So I'm like, yo, then. this okay. nigga, I don't even think this nigga thinks about shit. Like, it's he just, just like, he just living. What's your stress? Okay, music opinion, because we've been having a lot of opinions. And I've been going back and forth with this with my homie. And my homie is a big, 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 big uh, Andre 3000 full of shit. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga. on your hell. (laughs) He fucking hates this nigga, right? Because we give Andre 3000 a lot of praise. And he said, where's the album? Where's the album? Where's the album? So 17 years, Andre, he drops his album. His debut album, right? His debut fucking album. And it's all flutes. What? Okay. I haven't even listened to that. I ain't gonna hold you. I was. I didn't want to say it, but I haven't listened to it either. I'm not trying to. Why listen you didn't want to say it? It's almost because, disrespectful, huh? Because, 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 because it's like, almost like, disrespectful. I listen, right? It's like I don't want to run with this. I'm crashing out on all the the OGs. The OGs. There, I listen to it. Cause nigga, nah, I'm old. You bro. I'm thirty, bro. Like, but I'm just, I, I didn't listen to it because that's not what I want to listen to. That's what I'm saying, bro. And that's just the reality. It's like, bro, I. I don't want to listen it's to a flute album. It's a flute album? Yeah, it's like, all like flute and like... They so somebody play it right now. But this nah, album, it's, it's, right. it's, it's an organic so album, crazy. though. Don't do that. That nigga it's said so it's an organic crazy. album. No, it's I don't want to hear that. It came about, bro. Crazy. Bro, they say he was walking around, he ran into Playing another musician in Erewhon. And then mm-hmm. that dude invited him this to This sounds like some L.A. ass shit. That's what I'm saying. That's some L.A. ass shit. And what happened? They went to his crib like, oh, you playing flute? Oh, I play, um, he was a Grammy Award winning percussionist or something they went to his crib jam session <laughs> oh damn I have other people that enjoy this music I don't have to just be playing this shit walking around the street so he started making music and this, this is what that is yeah that's fire um, I love that I you and, know, I, and, I, and I love that and I love the fact that it's you know he take. got to express himself as an artist and no, he's continuing facts. to do that and that's you know very important but for me uh, I'm not trying to listen to a flute album, Andre 3000 album at all. I'd rather just go listen to the, you know. Ross and Meek Mill. <laughs> We're not, yo. Okay, bro. listen. <laughs> now imagine if Rick yo. Ross and Meek Mill Me put out a flute album. Y'all don't want to listen to them anyway, so it don't matter <laughs> what the fuck they put out. There flutes on there. I, w- I would it never know. It don't matter what they put out. Y'all niggas Wait, are crazy. Wait, let me, let I don't want to listen to that. Let I... I am. I love the self-expression mm-hmm. aspect of it that he got to you know do and and got to get off pause. Um, but somebody I personally, it, I, just, it. I just personally don't want to listen to that. Somebody okay. said it. Andre though, you're the goat. I love you, bro. I think you know your Come music on back has. On imp- face. Yeah, your your yeah. music. <laughs> Come on, like, back your on music has show. affected my life and impacted my life. But 
as far Man, as... I think music ain't impacts your life, life. Uh, Hakeem, stop going to sit here and say that. 100%. <laughs> I think Hakeem out here seeing a whole bunch of... Oh, nah, music. like... You bro. impacted my life. Nah, nah baby. Three stacks no, music yeah, definitely yeah, impacted yeah, me. That's not the shit, though. So when he put on that wig and he... <laughs> you don't feel like you don't you don't feel like you've had an album that impacted your life? Nigga, not that nigga. <laughs> what? You tripping? Hey, but he from the West Coast. But look, oh, that makes sense. He definitely from yeah. y'all from the West Coast. No, we yeah. more so East yeah, Coast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what? I think, what I, I think Andre was. I think Andre was trolling. Nah, I think Andre no, was he, he he walked was, around with a flute before the flute album. Look, no, at his, look, at the, look at his album title. I think it's a what whole is it called? What is it called? I think his album title. This is just What's my name? Tracks. What's the title? That is that's the verse. Tracks. No, the that's track. the tracks. That's this the is track. the album tracks. I think the album tracks is a whole verse, and I think he was just oh. trolling us. He was no music, no rap in there, but the album title. I ain't gonna hold you. So that's kind of hard. That's kind of hard. I swear, I really yeah, wanted to tracks. make a rap album, but this is literally the way, the way the wind blew me this time the slang word pussy rolls off my tongue with a, a far bar ease then a proper word vagina do you agree the night in hawaii when i turned into a panther and started making these <laughs> <T-Rail. low-rest laughs> <T-Rail. laughs> <laughs> like like you bars <laughs> you probably you probably did that on bourbon it was wild yeah T-Rail, bro bro by the polo disorder <laughs> daughter wears the three thousand butt down the border yeah 93 till infinity and beyonce Come on, dog. This is yeah, the verse. That's the bars right that's, there. That, that's this is the verse. That's how Andre he raps. Though. But Let's look, he would have been. He would have. What if he comes out and raps over the flutes? That would be. Sick. What if there's a second album where he raps yeah, over, where he raps over the flutes? Yeah. Well, maybe because I, I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> you <laughs> you can't even listen to flutes. I can't even say I that. I don't know how it's But you can say over the flutes. He said Gandhi. He said Gandhi. <laughs> Dalai Lama, your Lord and Savior, <laughs> JC Bundy, Jeffrey Dom, Jeffrey huh? Dama, and John Wayne Gracie. Ants to you, gods to who? That's a verse. <laughs> the sixteen. It's a sixteen. It looks like it when you play like that though. It is it's a crazy. Verse. It's a sixteen, bro. Dreams once buried beneath the dragon floor slowly sprout into the ugly gardens. Man, that is a verse, dog. <laughs> bro, what if Andre three thousand gets you on the flutes? That'd be hard. Bruh. I'm not listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> what? It doesn't matter. You're not listening to the, the Playboy, Andre 3000 Playboy Yee Cardi Yee and, Yee and, and Andre 3000 in the flutes. It's still it has to be crazy. Good. And just because you have those you names, don't matter. it still has to be good for me to listen to it. Bro. If it's, now, if it's good and like, oh, this is fine. Like, yeah, I'm gonna listen. I swear I cracked the code, <laughs> man. Y'all give a thumbs up if I cracked the code. That nigga trolled us. <laughs> Everybody thought it was funny. He gave y'all a verse. Nobody paying attention. He yeah. gave you a 16. He gave y'all a verse. He gave you a cold ass 16, Conspiracy too. Conspiracy <laughs> real. Right, hey, that's the Tuesday channel. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna hold you. That nigga said Gandhi Dalai Lama, man. I'm your Lord and Savior, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny Jeffrey Dama. And Wayne Gracie. Ants to you, God's to who? Question mark. Look, bro, this is a verse. It is a verse. It's a verse, man. Like, and he just don't even care about y'all niggas, bro. So he's saying, maybe he's trying to heal the world, bro. T Row is conspiracy theorist right now. He's saying basically, Andre 2000 said, fuck it, I gotta get one last 16 out. But I'm gonna give it to you and, and disguise it form. as a flute album. But really, I'm gonna just give you one verse. But I'm gonna give like, you one like verse. Like Wu Tang gave you one album, mm. but he rapped on other shit too. Recently. He did do some. He, he did, did do he some. Did, it's not he like he's too scared to jump he on did. the beat. Not to say that he's. Scared it's been a while though. But remember, 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 he did that fucking D- Divine Council verse. For uh, December, that's true. They I hold it, bitch up. Shout out Virginia. Like December and drop the whole down like December. He yeah. gassed that shit too, yeah, and that was a cra- that was a crazy ass remix because it was like, what the fuck? Who knew that Andre Three Thousand was paying attention to fucking Icy Twa and and Silk Money? Like, what the fuck? Oh no, he's paying attention and he's in a studio and he doing and it he up. fluted he up. Yeah, he fluted down. Flute called <laughs> Chili. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Made from wood <laughs> from. Yeah, wood from wherever the fuck he was, way over some shit we don't even know. Mm. Nigga carving that shit out bare hand. 
That nigga. This nigga T. Nigga made that shit. Nigga the first time it was. I swear. Nigga said there's other woodwinds. I don't know what the album is, bro. It is. That's why I'm laughing. That's so funny. They said Andre 3000 off the mushy. He's playing. He off the mushy for sure. Hey, that nigga Andre 3000 is off the mushies for sure. Bro, that nigga oh, off the mushies. Nah. This shit coming in phases, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> what the nah. fuck, nigga? That shit just came through a whole nother phase. Like, nigga, you still high, bro. I'm Shout fucking Shout out to Mr. Dead. Mushies. They come straight to your door, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> straight to my mom. Yeah, what does come straight to your door, man? Shout out, man. Munchies, man. Come straight to your door, man. Don't worry about also nothing. Also Imperial. You know what I mean? Yeah, also Imperial, man. Come hey, straight the, to your door, man. It's really playing. Read the Imperial mean? ad. Imperial where, where the pre-rolls at? I know y'all got some pre-rolls. Pre-rolls is player. You feel me right here? You feel me? Let me I got get one. Let me get one, man. I mean, pre-roll. Imperial pre-rolls. Golly. You know what I mean? This is the pre-roll coming. Shit, let me in. check the whole thing. Oh. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm, I will spark one, though. I'm over here. Like, I know it's hot. Power, the pre-rolls coming, man. Make sure right you now. use our code, man. For munchies, make sure you use our code. FIGG20. Feel me come right to your door, man. Got the best edibles in the game. This you know what's a crazy? You know what's, you know what's a crazy yeah. part of this? Is that literally every person that we've talked about is probably gonna see this in some way. That's the crazy that part. The crazy. Mm -hmm. I, I had to think about, thinking about it, huh? Nah, I had to think about I really it. Didn't I didn't think about, about it, huh? Nah, because now, Meek Mill will get you. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I was just going both of y'all. Look, look Hakeem be outside at the industry party. Yeah, he be outside. No, 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 no. Like, Meek Mill outside. I'm about to get you sent on back on Fig. I heard you. You gonna see a whole bunch of DC trains, nigga. You know what I've gone, I've gone to realize. Like, I feel like I'm not saying anything that. Some That's people aren't thinking or crazy. Like I, I think I speak from a logical standpoint. As always, yeah, I was kind of being illogical. But I, I, was just, I don't not be illogical. To me, I mean, I'm not respectfully. saying respectfully. respectfully. I try to be as logical as possible, and I'm like, bro, like it is a reality. Like I'm 20 something years old. I'm gonna check out Anisia first. One thousand percent. I agree what? with you, but I'm not an idiot. Meek yeah. Mill is an actual real know, famous bro. person. I know, I know. You know what I mean? I just, like, I just like, like trolling, bro. Rick Ross is a real actual famous person. Like if Anisia dropped a project, Meek Mill dropped a project. Meek Mill oh, is yeah, gonna sell on. a certain amount of rec uh, copies, way more than Anisia. But of that's course, just bro. where she's at. You know what I mean? But. The fact is, like Anisia and them, they got they got my attention. Caribou and them, they got my attention right now. You oh, know? so they got your attention. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. 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 We got to use different words. Yeah, we got. I mean, use my attention. Attention. I think I think the best is just learn. You know, communicate and know how to communicate. And no, I just like trolling. You know? So I'm like, fuck these niggas. Them niggas old, but uh, whatever. But I'm really just playing though. But but Buster Rhymes though. I'm really not, not checking for that. I'm not checking for that. I'm sorry. Like, like I'm not checking for Buster Rhymes. What? Why? I don't give a damn. Yeah, what Buster Rhymes I say. don't like you don't need to be rapping anymore you're OG bro just stop just stop bro There's, like that's that just a reality like what do you, you can't even be mad at that so can he feature you can get a feature as out of respect you need to start writing for niggas or out of respect nah be an executive which executive, you know what I mean yeah. like it's time to be an executive at that point get these get these young niggas sign yeah. you you know I mean, utilize he your OT yeah he, should, oh, he okay. had OT right he had OT but you he should have signed like ski masks the yeah. slump guy people that's what that look up did. to you be more mm -hmm. of an executive but like as far as you if he would have signed ski masks that would have been crazy yeah cause he literally got his whole swag from him so it's just like you know that's who he's inspired by but yeah, it's just at the end of the day. Yeah, we were like, all inspired by his music videos. Let's be honest. Oh like, God, definitely. On. You know what I mean? Like uh, a, a culture, cultural figure, and someone that pushed the culture forward. Um, Come 100%. on, him and the Neptunes together is unbeatable, bro. <laughs> what? So, so but y'all yeah, gonna let the all only that go, way, right? The huh? only way that I'm listening to, bro, a but new we're not trying to listen to him. Like I can't listen to that no more, though, bro. So y'all like, over that? We are yeah. definitely over that. So the, the only way I would listen not listening to Buster Rhymes. Nobody's listening saying. to that shit, bro. Listen to the homies, bro. Listen, I don't care. Oh, I can crazy. give you your flowers, but I can also tell you the truth. But listen, yeah. and that's the facts. Only I'll way I give you flowers, but I'll tell you the truth too. We're not listening. To only that. way I'm listening to new Buster Rhymes album is if the Neptunes produced it. I promise you. Yeah. Then maybe I might listen. What about Timberland? I don't even think I care if the Neptunes produce it. I still don't want to listen to it. I love the Neptunes. I love Pharrell. Y'all niggas But scandalous. it's just, bro, it's nah, just I not... <laughs> now, it's I see Neptunes, new. you know what I mean? Like, Neptunes, Brent, Pharrell, Brent Fiaz, Wasting Time. Wow. Fire. Ugh, the um, best. What a Ooh, song, song, of crazy, right? song of the song summer. Crazy, right? Song of the summer. And no one even talks about it. This Damn. is the first time, too, that Drake and Pharrell got on a song together. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it? they did. That was the first ever time they did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably because they ain't like yeah. Drake stepped in the studio. Bruh. But it doesn't matter. That yeah, piece of art still came out. 
and those are two great people and at the end of the day like we got to experience that we could have never experienced that drake and pharrell working together let's but- show more love to brand yeah. right now because oh, yeah. brand is going crazy he man. is Fire. Y'all better tuck y'all hoes away, bro. He is oh, fire, man. He and SZA, too. You feel me? Shout out to SZA. With the shout out to record. Yeah. I can groove. Yeah. Shout out yeah. Leon Thomas. Leon Thomas' album is really good. No, but he also writing a lot for SZA. Him and Babyface. They wrote a lot of... No. Babyface, the, the actual baby face. The actual babyface. The actual baby face. Listen to Babyface Ray, no Babyface. Babyface Ray is Shout out hard. Babyface Ray baby too. But Leon right. Thomas Ray is did hard. definitely write a lot. And Babyface for uh, SZA. Definitely yeah, blacked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going, man. Me, I'm big, you know, big oranges in the chat, man. I have my boy Hakeem in the building. I got my boy uh, House Phone in the building. We over here talking about it. You feel me? We didn't have some ratchet moments, uh, some crazy moments. We talking about music over here. Something I really don't get to talk about a lot. I got to have a little homies over here more, man, because I don't really get to go crazy, man, like this. You feel me? Who was your favorite uh, new young artist then? A new young artist. Who was my favorite new young artist? Uh, that's a good fucking question. Cause the youngest I'm going is Travis Scott. Oh, my oh, God. Crazy. T-Row. That's the youngest I'm going. Damn, nigga. And, then I, <laughs> oh my God. and I don't know how old V's is, but I, I really like him and, like and Babyface Ray. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's it. It's over with. Oh, you, you know, niggas always misconstrued it like, yeah, oh, you hating on the OGs. Like, I'm not bro. hating. I'm not hating. Yeah, yeah like, I can give. OGs. Yeah, no, I, I can OGs. give the OGs flowers, but I could also call a spade a spade, bro. But like, you, but you, you would get on me for not listening to the younger artists. What and you then mean? you'll get on me for not listening to the younger artists and we can get on you for not listening to the older, older artists. Yeah. I mean, look. It's the same shit. But you it's wanna not, be tapped in. It's not even like, it's not even necessarily a, a getting in, like a getting on, right? Because at the end of the day, Buster Rhyme has done what he's done. He had a Lifetime Achievement Award a couple months ago, right? Mm-hmm. So we're also respecting, we're also respecting what he has done, right? We respected what Buster Rhyme has done. These new artists... They haven't even had the career span as so and so. Well, yet. don't put well, don't put Meek Mill in that. No, I, I, that, I, that was house phone. phone. That, that, that was house phone. He blamed it on house phone. phone. Nah, yeah, he blamed it on house phone. Nah, like that. That, was, that was house phone. Like, but nigga, I keep me in there. He blamed nah, it on house nah, phone. Like house phone made it a youth versus, versus uh, what's Meek Mill thing. I don't know what that was about. Okay, I like I like Lil Tyler. I kind of threw that on Lil Tyler. I was fuck with Lil Tyler. Then we just seen him in the little mix with a little year and a mean. I fuck with you, Lil Tyler. Okay, I see you, but uh. Damn, Lil Tyler is hard, but I ain't heard no like complete album, like no body of work. It's just songs. He dropped the album, but it was like a compilation of the songs Ooh. that were viral. Lil Tyler. Yeah, I mean, nah, Lil Tyler's doing his thing. I actually told him in the interview what I wanted to hear more from him was him to make a hook. You know, I felt like a lot of his songs were kind of just like just long free. Through. It's just a long freestyle, and I even yeah. told him, I'm like, I think the time that you make a hook and someone that's memorable for people to scream, remember, and say, you know what I mean? Like that's gonna be a, a, a big moment for you because I, that's the only thing you're lacking. I think you rap great, you choose good beats, but there's no hook there. It's no nothing that t- you know, Tony. You as a DJ can like, yo, this hook is crazy i can yeah. cut the mic out and Everybody cut the sound out it. and everyone sing that part and i think that's something that he needs and he even agreed he was like yo that's actually funny because my team told say, me that they yeah. steam and that's the thing like i speak from more of a place where it's just like i think the things i'm saying is probably being said in those studio sessions and those internal things because you know i'm a student i kind of study music i not kind of that's and what a i do fan, though. yeah and a fan like i study music and i and i look you know and hakeem don't appreciate longevity no, I mean, I appreciate longevity, bro. Like, Just I respect, so. like, Buster Rhymes for what he did and <coughs> everything about him. Like, I'm going to give that man his flowers. But, yo, it's time but for you But you just niggas. don't want to listen to it. I'm cool, bro. At yeah. a certain age, I can't do this anymore. That's but the I, difference I see, with me. See, I'm going to give this up. At a, it's time for me to move on. And it's time. No, no. When I get to those points, it'll be time for me to move on and be an executive. And do, that's why you got to, you know, put yourself in positions that you're not stuck doing the same shit over and over again. Like, bro, like, at a certain point. I need to grow, nigga. Like, I can't just be... Why are you still rapping, bro? <laughs> uh, it's, a lot, it's, a, it's people in the chat saying uh, Destroy Lonely, 310 nah, Baby, destroys fire. ESCG, Ken Carson, um, yeah, Baby Drill. Sure. Uh, Baby Drill's fire. Yeah, it's going crazy. Uh, Iceberg Vezo. You feel me? I mean, yeah. 
It's it. I, I heard all of these names, and I probably heard maybe one or something, one or two songs from everybody. And it's just like you. We was talking. We was talking about that too, where we said numbers don't really matter right now because the way you you way you gotta put out music and the way music is put out, like it's just put out at a rapid rate. Mm. So it's hard for me to digest everything. So. That's when it's like, okay, you only sold ten thousand, like so what? But his ten thousand really is ten thousand, like mm-hmm. you feel me? That's how I kind of like, that's how I kind of think you feel me? Like you have mm-hmm. your fan base that's gonna come to your shows, buy your merch, do all of that, like, and you're gonna make your money that way. So this is uh, this is legit. You really gotta find like your path in this shit. So it's just like it's not really like oh broad now because I think numbers are being fake marketing and all that 100%. shit. It's kind of like being fake. So. The number thing doesn't really bother me. I just be thinking like people have their core fans. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, and I think that's what everybody too on here. People have their core fans that listen to them. You know, whereas the iceberg vessels and stuff like that. Like, and then they can always go do shows and things like that. And everybody is still doing good. But yeah. you know, I I ain't on that path though. That I I gotta like pick a person and see what's going on. Then go pick another person and see what's going on. Like you gotta tell me about these things and then I kind of like dive into it a little bit. But it's just so much shit coming out. Like how the fuck do I keep up with this thirty artists that just dropped music in the last two months? Like what okay. am I gonna do? You you. I mean, you tap a nigga like me and yeah, man. like I listen to music. My day is consisting <laughs> of listening to music. Like I just listen to music all fucking day. Like every day, I'm probably about to go to my house. Me and Tony gonna fucking DJ and have a session. I wake up and I just listen to mad music, whether it's new, old, and that's why I can respect someone like a Busta Rhymes and, and you know respect his catalog and this and that. But it's like, I bro, do that. yeah, yeah. You should go, yo, it's so fun. Like yeah. I, I love that, it though. I do that. I he love the discovery that. of music. Like I love to find new things. I love to you know. I'm not in the, one of these people being like rap is in this complete terrible place because like oh, at the end of the day like yo i listen and i go out my way to listen to music i'm not having someone necessarily completely put me on in music i'm also doing the work to go find stuff you know what i mean and i'm not listening just listening to older stuff and i'm listening i love listening to older stuff i be looking stuff. at a story he's like listening to older albums I'm, shit i probably didn't listen to and then you and know. i love sharing that i love like yo i think this is dope you should and i've always kind of been like that you know in the sense of just discovery like i think this is dope ah uh, ah uh. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, a lot of, there is this, you know, um, thing of just, you know, older people, you know. Still How you feel stuff. about Baby Tron? I love Baby Tron. I, yeah, I, I recently seen somebody in the interview <coughs> saying, oh, y'all only giving him that shit because he white, he this and that and the other. Like, y'all giving him too much, too, too many props. A lot of people that rap like that. But I, I actually think Baby hey, Tron is Baby Tron is hard. Awesome. Niggas who rap baby, like that is baby Tron is hard. Yeah, he's super yeah, fire. Yeah, he's baby super Tron fire. Baby Tron is hard, dog. You I make baby? playlists all the time. If you go on my Instagram, you're going to see a bunch of playlists. Like, he I should be going up. Yeah, I don't even really do them as much anymore because uh, that's... Uh, he one of the ones, DJ. He, he one of the ones I DM <coughs> too. That was like when I was at the other little place. He's mm-hmm. like, nigga... I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? He's like, oh, what's up? He answered me. I'm like, oh, he answered me. I'm like, what's up, man? Let's get it in one day. Yeah. And he probably went through like, dang yeah. No, they're definitely man. You know, they definitely come on here. Shout out, baby, Sean. He's a cool guy. He's definitely a cool guy. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. But it's all good, man. Make, uh, thank you for tuning in, you know what I'm saying? Back on Fig. Got my boy House Phone here, you feel me? Hakeem here. Heather in the back, you feel me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Big strawberries in the chat for Heather, man, going crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Hurricane Heather, she go on one. <clears throat> I could try to get through a few of these um, super chats. I'm going to go from top to bottom, though, pause, um, and, and try to get through <laughs> one time. I know y'all didn't do like, it. Said, I, I seen a lot of motherfuckers like, nigga, the super chats, what you doing, bitch? This shit say three hours ago. You feel me? Oh, uh, shit. Arby Lane, he said 22 on your head. Nigga, come on, stop it. What are they saying this shit about him buying us fake life? He probably did, but it's okay. I seen it go up really, really, really rapid. But I, I love that, though, because it went up rapid. It's probably people that really going to see me, you know, even if you work in it, because you got to really work to do that, even if you, you know what I'm saying, even if it's a fucking farm, fuck it, somebody in there working. But we still going to hold our real people, you feel me? And we still got a lot we of... We still um, have 10,000 viewers. That yeah, month. and then we still got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, a lot of likes. I want y'all to go like this video. All my real homies and fuck around 
wrong with it. You feel me? You do it up. When back on Fig got deleted, it was him, and I told you it was him. Mm. And you it were working fair. there. You were working there. Remember? It could have been. And I said, I'm telling you, it's this man, Terrell. He he did it. How the fuck did we all of a sudden get deleted? And then he goes on there after I started posting Insta stories. He goes on there. It's like, hey, follow back on Fig. They got deleted. Like. Bitch, you deleted it. Mm. Stop playing games. Stop so trying you, to you discredit thought, us. You, you thought he was hating from the beginning like that. Like I knew that. he was hating from the damn, beginning. Damn. He been hating from the beginning. You can see She's it. still on your head, my nigga. We gonna get off <laughs> your head, though. Pause. Golly. No, we gonna be on your head forever. But right now, right now, nigga, like, not on the street. Fuck that nigga right now, alone. man. Yeah, you feel me? Uh, it's low so wait, man. Hurricane Heather in the building. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hurricane Heather in the building, man. She's still on it, nigga. She is not giving it up. Once she hates you, she hates you. Once she hates you, she hates you for life. I mean, it's kind of like me. That's well, definitely we, your energy, too. If he says too. anything yeah, that's my, back, that's I'm energy. knocking on that door. You know what I'm saying? That's my Swear energy. To God. Uh-oh. That's my energy, man. Uh, Keith Reynolds, man. Just showing Hold y'all up. love. Uh, Lil SK, man. 21. 21 is crazy. No different K. Yeah, uh, the BS Zone, you feel me? 22K, yeah, on oh God. You know what I mean? I love that. Uh, Big Bruce, man. Heather uh, unveiled, uh, unalive that nigga. Golly. Uh, Ace Boy Rat, man, you make so much. He said, you make so much chili. Why MacWop work for free, man? MacWop is over here doing his thing, man. You feel me? You got to... We, we paying it for you feel me just like he doing you know what I mean the boss is all yeah. right like, yeah and, and he about. definitely a motherfucking boss but that's that nigga y'all, y'all worried about the pay you know what I'm saying yeah. we ain't even really worried about none of that shit you <laughs> feel me uh boof boofy whatever that whatever the hell your name is fig nudity gang man or don't bang any any potty mm-hmm. killer uh, whatever the hell your name is, too deep. Uh, Alley Boys, man, screenshot the views. Let Buster show act. We on. Um, Boogie, man, Big Heather, give him that work. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Pierre the God, he said 20k on a kid. Um, Cameron Carter, man, 16 just left his live. His just left his live, guys. He is shook. He's going home to fight his woman. Uh, Lil sure. SK. In the beef, man. Bertho, man. Rug cuz smash your sitch. <laughs> oh, my Never. God. You know what I'm saying? Shout out that nigga, man. I love that nigga. Instead, man, he going crazy. Uh, Concrete muscle. I'm out the shadows with this one, man. 14K stand up. Figness, nigga. You feel me? FMW. Uh, FMW is, is on top, nigga. You funky cock bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> fair to uh, say. Fair to say. Lemon, pepper, lemon pepperoni poppy? Uh, I still want to lemon pepperoni yeah, poppy. Lemon pepperoni poppy. I still want bof time. Let your seven four man. Now is a good time. Now is a good time for milk man. Shout out milk. You about to run it back? Oh, no <laughs> man. Let's run it back milk. Yeah. Let's run it back milk. Let's see what. Let's see what it do. Um, Ryan Rackshaw. He said Adam's daughter is definitely gonna be giving up. Okay, we ain't Yo, gonna do that. Uh, Piffington, <laughs> appreciate you letting me in the a homie mob out with y'all in NY, man. Showing love for real, for real. Y'all, y'all let niggas mob out with y'all? Yeah, on God in heaven. I'm like, come on, you hear what I mean? We I'm like, show up to the show. We doing it up. If you there early, we lit. Uh, Almighty so T Rail and Heather. Just in case y'all forgot, man. Monday, Monday hit it first. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, T. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at your tech connect. You know what I'm saying? At your tech connect, go mess with them. Ace boy rat, use a bitch. Okay, we gonna, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you for all the money. Uh, Ryan Rackshaw again. Heather, Heather, get with Cardi B, BS lawyer, and get your money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Esco season, man. Shout out back on Fig. W Heather, shout out House Phone for putting a lot of us on the culture. Yeah. Mm. That's what he said. Carmen Carter, man, I'm telling you guys right now. 16 has somebody at a YouTube mess with him and takes you guys out of the algorithm, out, out of the algorithm and makes it for people that can't see stuff. But God got us, you know what I'm saying? And I got somebody at YouTube too, bitch. So don't worry about nothing. Uh, Marky B, man, T Rail, don't stop, man. The one on one interviews. You are a natural at it, gang. Great point, Hakeem. 100. Mm-hmm. Um, NY sure. Bully, man. Shout out Hurricane Heather. 
she put that culture vulture in a body bag. We support oh, you God. forever, NJK. Uh, Lamar Halls, you feel me? 14K BOF stand up. Mark, Mark Polo TV said, change the narrative and re- reboot the Matrix. Let's go. Uh, T Rail's missing tooth. Y'all got y'all got to fuck with a Cito Rico. Rico too smooth. Young, young Iggs and GB. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, check them. them out. Shout out to them, man. TK, one of those whole jumper fan boys bought 10k viewers to troll y'all. He posted it on his Reddit. But let's let's get to that. We still got 10k, 8k. This is what we do. Still more than yeah. you. Still more than you. Still more than you. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Round them up. When we did the whole, uh, when we came over here, nigga, we had 20,000 live people. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's not far-fetched, Come nigga. on, bro. It, no, it's not far-fetched. I don't believe that they Oh, God, when y'all came it. over here. Did we I not have a 20-piece, bro? Oh, God. <laughs> we did. Oh, God. When, 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 when it was disconnected back disconnected then. Disconnected came when over disconnected here. When disconnected came over here. Fuck you, niggas. Talk about oh, y'all going like this far-fetched like you. We ain't never did this shit before. Yeah. Bitch, y'all niggas sound but stupid. But you should've gave them to yourself because yeah. while we was live, when you was live, you had 800 viewers in there. So you should've gave them to yourself, honey. Yeah, Jeez. don't worry about nothing. William Bucker, you feel me? Uh, so much respect for Heather, man. She's a real one, man. Shed light on that. Shed light on a lot of BS. Sixteen is doing, man. Tell phone, he's a real one. He got a fan up here, man. In Portland, I appreciate for real, you. Man. Hey, shout out to Portland, bro. I love Portland, Seattle, the whole Pacific Northwest. Hey, I own you in Seattle. No, I, know I, fuck with, I fuck with it up there, bro. I know. I know I've been out that. there too many times, bro. Uh, get a hold on yourself, there. man. Topic. He said house phone. Play that lush one track, my boy. You got a diss track, man. You crazy. Mm. No, nah, no, no, no. That nigga paid me for a feature, and it was a, a lush verse was on the feature, too. Damn. So he, he got both of us on the song. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, DSC, he said, we need a Apollo Time's uh, biggest bros ASAP. That'll be great, too, part, man. Part. That'll be great, too, man. Y'all great conversationalists. <laughs> yeah. I love going over there. No, I, love, was funny. I love talking to, talking to them guys, too. I, I lo- also love BBC, too. It bring out a, like, another me. You know what I mean? You feel me? I, I love that. Pastor Paul, man. What is Adam's last name in the convo? Oh, yeah. That Instagram Mason shit is wild. I did my research on that, too. I, the, the devil's crazy. I said, oh, shit. I might... I got my have to stop talking. You got uh, Cy- <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. You gotta bust that Bible uh, over. Cy, uh, T Rail will consider having Lush on uh, BF and FMW. Man, I mess with my boy Lush, man. I mess with him. Uh, Daily uh, Repetitive TV, man. Heather, you have you have white. Embrace it. P.S. I want the big white cake to sit on my face with uh with the string in it. Oh God. Tell AD I'll show him the pool again. Mark. Ha. <laughs> Okay. Yo, he, what are y'all niggas saying, bro? Golly, I, I gotta start being like fresh and fit and only read niggas that's got a dub. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do that anyway. God damn. Oh, you gotta set a, a threshold now? I gotta uh-huh. set a threshold uh-huh. for this shit because yeah, this game crazy. You can't read the $5 jumps because that's man. the minimum, man. Mm-hmm. I crossed for the board 247, oh, man. He walked around breathing, breathing hard. Huh, <laughs> chicken. I don't know what that means, but shout out my boy at, uh, Addy LOL again, and he dropped a hundred on our head. Pause, but you know what I'm saying? He said, cuz he support the movement and we support you. too, man. Thank you, man. Uh Jack Young, he said, Keen, how can he said, Keen, how can artists get featured on OGM? Hakeem. <laughs> um, <laughs> what he said, what did he say? He said, How can artists get featured <laughs> on our generation music? Shit, DM the page. DM the page and see what it do, man. DM the page and see what it do. I need an OGM chain. Um, yeah, for real. <laughs> to <that>. LS, <laughs> man, much love to the house. Much love to house phone, man. Keep your head up. I appreciate y'all, man. Um, grandpa, grandpa underscore groove twenty six. He said, "Bring a grand, bring your grandparent. It's awesome. Being a grandparent is yeah. awesome, and y'all gonna be some dope ass grandparents one day." Thank you for sure. Uh, K Tracy, man, what song? What what song is the theme song to your life? Mm. Wow. That's a that's hard a good one. Question. That's such a, a good question. question. That, that woke you up. Wow. With the music oh, talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Music yeah. talk. You know, that's always going to do. Damn, uh, what, is the, what is the theme song to your, your Prada, life? Prada Tune by Lucky. That's my that's my life theme song. Okay. If y'all haven't heard of that, go, go look it up. Wow. I think, this can, I think this can change, but I feel like right now, for me, if I had to just off my head, I would say The Sky's the Limit by Biggie Smalls. 
Okay. That's a good, good one. one. Okay. I would say I that. I think my songs change periodically through what I'm listening to. Oh, yeah. God. I think, like, core songs I always go back to is, like, Addiction, Kanye West, like, uh, Roses, Kanye West. Um, those are really songs like, uh, fucking shit off. Uh, through the Wire. Line. Through the Wire. It's like those deeper songs that, like, you know, like Through the Wire, that be like, you know what? Let me get up off my ass and get to it. Yeah. Those are songs I That's how I feel when I play any Rio to Young OG song. <laughs> mm. Mine is, uh, fuck the bitch and they click you play. <laughs> no, we rock, rock, we rock them in quick, quick game. game. You came to be a player while well, I fucked your wife. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> That's the thing song in my life. I don't give a fuck. You, you know what I mean? You fucked his wife? No, but it just yeah, sounds tight. That's just the song he liked. It sounds tight. It's the theme song. You feel me? Like, we, once you get up, once you get up going crazy, like... Did y'all feel any, like, they was trying to get some swinger situation going on with y'all? Who? Him? Nah, hell no. You think he was trying to do a wife swap? Nah, hell no. He would have loved to do that. But Hell we no. never got close enough with him. I couldn't even look that full in his eyes. Damn. That's some devil work. It, uh, He's a white devil. Personal. Yeah, it's personal. Yeah, it's personal. It's personal. She still don't cut right yeah, now. Three like, hours. He, he three hours and 30 minutes. That's why you were singing the song. And he the, is a white devil. <laughs> yeah, you were singing. Three hours and 30 minutes. You were singing the song, so I was like. You thought you, that was a, he was, I thought that was a subliminal, like. Okay, that would have been a crazy subliminal, though, if I, I just, they, if I said that, right? Uh, it's low so way he said oranges he said oranges in the chat man uh for the best live of two the best live show of 2023 or just the best live man let's get to that man of our lives roller coaster keep y'all keep your head up my boy <laughs> bof for life man 20 co 22 k is crazy ask me my theme song to my life yeah, oh you sure. never answered go ahead nipsey hustle i do this mm. uh kanye west i wonder and then rick ross tears of joy Ooh. So you gotta like I don't that's like a little three P. I toy. bet you they don't know <laughs> Tears of Joy. <laughs> so y'all don't know Tears of Joy? I know Ashton Martin music. You yeah, know Tears of Joy. Uh, I'm, nah. I'm not I'm not talking to these niggas, man. <laughs> he said what did I do to hell. deserve this? He said, Buck around on my wrist a year ago. I didn't even know these bitches exist. Mm. Tears of Joy by who? I'm sorry. Rick Ross. I was, Ross. That's nigga, that nigga, uh, Hakeem is lurking for, for BBLs on Instagram right now. Uh, Put a million on the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's and the BBL lurker. But That's you gotta keep it wet. Keys open door, so I gotta keep it set. All these niggas know that I'm a lot of niggas threat. Uh. Mm. Okay? Biggie Smalls in the flesh. Mm. Right in life after my death. Mm. <laughs> what else? Around? Yeah! Okay. Wow. Tell me, Lord, will I be selling dope? Tell me, Lord, will I be bro something broke? I'm trying to send my mama to the poker loads. Go ahead, man. Yeah. I love that. Y'all gotta that. check that out. Tears I'm of Joy. I'm listen, listen to it on the way home. Tears I of swear. Joy, man. He said, what did I do to deserve this? Hakeem, you gotta play that one. in the whip on the way. Nah, I'm gonna this check might that be, out. This might be added to the Hakeem playlist. I'm you gonna gotta check listen that out. Tears of Joy. Y'all better listen to Tears of Joy, you know what I'm saying, while y'all talking all that shit, and man. And Nipsey Hussle, I do this. Yeah, shit crazy, man. Arizona, man, live Tell from it. Arizona, man. Good looking, man. Chris Morris. He said HP roasting Yuri for being dirty was epic. Damn, uh, I remember they said that hours ago, bro. You got yeah. a lot of them. No, to go this through. is an hour ago. Uh, Scare Soul One, man. HP, explain why you got kicked off your own stream. Bro, that was a joke. Y'all take everything serious. Y'all get crazy. London Town, man. Love from San Diego. Talk about Gucci Snakes by Tyga. Super rare, good music. Last King stuff. Love live T Rail, man. The real Suge Knight of the West Coast, man. Tiger, first of all, I be I do sometimes be trolling them. I let the homies make fun of them, do it up. I was with Tiger, <laughs> I was with Tiger, but being with Tiger was not <laughs> like it wasn't at all. I don't know what the fuck is funny. I just be laughing, but it was a real <laughs> boss shit. Like I really right. seen real, real boss shit. That nigga make real boss moves. He's done everything as a boss. I'm talking mm. about flying jets, TV shows, nigga. We been in Dubai. We been in Paris, nigga. I'm talking about. Niggas I got didn't my. Even know what Dubai was <laughs> at all? Like nigga, when Pharrell was buying Goyard trunks, he was too. Mm -hmm. Young nigga, nobody knew. He was on heels, man, and nobody was doing nothing. He was the only nigga from the West Coast, really with style, doing it up, flying out the country. And I had a ball, man. I went on I went on tour with Chris Brown two, three times. I went on a uh, tour with uh, Lil Wayne three Fucking times. Fan of a fan tour? Uh, big, uh, big, 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 all of that. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like Young Money Tour. Drake, you feel me? I went on a uh, tour with Drake. I went on tour with Diddy. We we I, we've been on tour with a lot of people. BET tours. I always stay moving with him. Rich shit. Man, houses, all that. Like, this nigga had a look, check this out, homie. This nigga actually had a tiger in his house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay? That's At different. one point, I was feeding that motherfucker. Let the record reflect. Mm-hmm. And we came home after a week, and that motherfucker was the size of house phone. <laughs> and we had to get rid of that and motherfucker. He was living in the courtyard of his house. You know how those big houses they have like a the little outside yeah. part in the middle of their house. He was living right there. So while you're walking through the house to the kitchen to the living room, you can see this fucking tiger walking around Ball in the shit. house. In Calabasas. That nigga said we can't. With a tiger. With a tiger. With the tiger. That nigga was being anyway, doing was shit. Gone. He did put us on a lot. He has been Bruh. doing a lot of shit before Bruh. all the I thought you said he put y'all on a lot. A, a, a lot, lot. A, lot. A, a lot, a lot. He's definitely put us on a lot. He's def- definitely really like hit a, in a league of his own, dog. So, bim, 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 dog, and did that. He's at his age right now, but he's he's for sure like at an older age as far as what he's did. You feel me? Like in his life. So don't worry about nothing. That's why I don't even be tripping. I've seen shit that niggas probably would never ever see in a lifetime. <laughs> um Blizz uh Blizzburg Media Man House Phone, let them know about ham days. Man, uh, I talk about that shit so much, bro. We got y'all gotta leave oh, that in the yeah. past game. Uh, yeah. Ham on everything? Uh, yeah. yeah. It was it was some party underground parties in LA that niggas used to go to, bro. Uh Trap News Network, man, let the record reflect. Dijon is sassy. Big sassy uh, Jay Compton, man. <laughs> hey, house phone. What about Slim Cito? Slime Cito. Slime Cito. Slime Cito, Cito, Cito. Cito. What's up, bro? Uh, Real Neptune. He said, uh, Concrete Boys, really, really the best new wave coming up, man. So. Uh, Caribou is up next, man. Her music is crazy fire. Uh, Green Afro, man. Hakeem, I know you are an A&R a little bit along with other things. Do uh, he said along with other things you do in music in the music industry? Do you have any advice for y- a young person who's trying to get in the music industry to be an A and R to start? Shit, just be passionate, man. I think as cliche as that sound, I think like my first time even being offered jobs in the music, I was just talking about music to other people that worked in music, and they're like, "You want a job?" And they can just sense that I actually cared about this, and this is something that. Whether, you know, however big or wherever I take it, this is something I'm going to do for the rest of my life, you know? Yeah. And just be passionate. That's really it. That's all I, you got to do. I love that. Be passionate. Be and, persistent. And be, and, and, be, and be persistent, you know? But don't be annoying, but just show that. I think if you're really passionate, people won't think you're annoying. I feel, You know what I mean? Like, they're going to just see passion instead I'm of like... be annoying. Fuck it. A lot of passionate people do come off as annoying too in the yeah, music industry. It's like, bro, get the fuck away from me. I don't give a fuck about your music. I don't, <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about right now? I'm trying to have yeah. a drink. Maybe but, I'm just different. I don't know. You know, yeah, <laughs> but it, it depends on the person too, yeah. how you come off, man. Uh, Marcus, he said, back on Fig and Fig Community World, man, we love you. We love you to support you guys. Thanks for the abundant joy and laughter you brought our lives, man. From an old head all the way from Vancouver, man. We appreciate you too, man. I appreciate the love. Uh, T Rail's missing tooth, man. Tap in with Rico too smooth. Okay, we already that we already that yeah, one. yeah you you love them niggas man money twelve <laughs> but about he said but what about Wayne had the verse of the year on YG and Tiger song brand new brand new Go, did A-A-P. y'all listen to that I yes. get my money I, I get my money like Riri A S A P up front A S A P that was a bar right that was yeah. a hard bar man damn. Shout out Wayne for that. Shout out Wayne for that. Money twelve. He said, "Okay, you said the same thing." Hey, Angel, he's Angel. He said, "Team Heather and T Rail, man. Yes, sir. Stella Capper, man. Tell Tony Stark, I love him." There you go. Mm. And T Stark got some fans. Oh, he got a fan. Let's go. Yeah. I love him, man. And to come stop by Supreme soon. Okay, yeah, right, go we, stop we, we pulling up with him too. No, yeah, yeah, we gonna pull up, we pulling up with me. Yeah, no, we pulling up. Yeah, we pulling up for sure. Yeah, we pulling up for sure, yeah, nigga. Supreme. You feel me? They ain't trying to give a nigga no discount. Come on, no di- no packs. Uh, and the boys at Supreme, man. Yeah, Esau Walk. He said, Hakeem House Phone need an official playlist name. For sure, that'd be dope. The phone mm. list. The phone list. Phone mm. list coming soon. That'd be hard. 
Oh, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good name. Hey, listen, me, me and Hakeem about to fucking turn into a fucking Ben Trill on y'all niggas and start fucking mm-hmm. taking over this DJ shit. Oh, oh, man. No. Oh. The boiler room thing when I went to the boiler room. You already thing, doing it. Oh yeah, I seen that. That shit was crazy. I ain't never experienced nothing like that, but the energy was in there. It was crazy in there. The I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Keem, yeah, it Keem, phone, Keem phone boiler room coming soon. Well, that'll be hard. Uh T Rose missing tooth man search uh <laughs> Mo Media, crazy. hella young talent. <laughs> um and then that's it, man. You feel me? We when we got through we got Thank through you. them bitches. We got through them bitches, man. You feel me? You yes, know what I'm saying? Sir. I got my boy Akeem with me. Got my boy House Phone <laughs> with me. Heather with me. You feel me? And my boy got a fan back there. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my nigga T Stark, man. Man, man, that nigga got some fans back there, man. They that, that, was, phone, that was him on his burner account. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm faded off this joint, man. Yeah, it's, it's going crazy right now. I'm coughing in this motherfucker. Hey, I've been coughing made, for a minute. Who made these big ass joints, bro? Man, Imperial. shout out Imperial. You feel me? You feel me? I smoked not even. Read. I smoked not even half of that shit. I'm faded. So With shout 16 out years of experience in the West Coast cannabis space, Imperial Extraction is bursting onto the hemp scene to offer you their award-winning product shipped straight to your doorstep. They're giving away free two grams THC A diamond infused pre rolls, which is what House Phone just smoked with I'm any order. Fuck. Each pre-roll comes with 1.5 grams of top shelf flour, 0.5 grams of pure THC, A diamonds, and reusable glass tip that for a luxury smoking experience we all want. Head to ex- imperialextraction.com and use code FIGG at checkout to get your free 2 gram pre-roll now. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. Shout out to Imperial. Straight to your dough. Straight, Straight to, to your, your dough. dough, man. Straight to your dough, man. Well, that was a good one. Loved everybody that actually tuned in with us. Oh, God. Um, I love everybody who actually liked my video. You feel me? Actually liked my video, man. We almost yeah. got 6,000 likes in here. Uh, I know we're going to have 6,000 likes by the time we uh, turn this shit off, man. 6,000 likes is amazing. 6,000 likes, man. Run it up. Yeah, run it up, man. That's 6,000 people actually putting the like button. You feel me? So I know 6,000 people is in here running it up, messing with me, and, you know, in tune with what we had going on, man. That's that's how I read this shit. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. I had Hakeem in here. You feel me going crazy? Appreciate you for having me, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah man. And Hakeem always hit me. He always like, man, I'll come through anytime. I'll do it anytime, man. Thank you, House Phone, for not uh you not know flaking. flaking. <laughs> thank you, House Phone, for not flaking on me. You already me, know, man. man. We in this bitch, bro. Uh, no I, long time coming. <laughs> Yeah, and I had some real, uh, you know, interesting music conversations, you know, put me on some new stuff and how y'all think, you know, this is this is really what it's supposed to be, right? You know, yeah. a hip-hop yeah, platform. I, shit crazy. I yeah. Mean, I remember even getting, like, a shout-out from Nori, like, hanging out That's with them. That's hard, bro. Yeah, that was fire. Like, getting, re- some, you know, some respect from them, for sure. It was cool. And even nah, Elliot. That's fire, Listen, man, man no, gla- me, no man. glazing, but my boy Hakeem really, he and his, he and his nah, bag he right now, bro. I think I, we're all nah, in our bag, man. We're, we're all just trying to progress at the end of the day, you know? And that's, that's it, all bro. we're trying to do is just he keep it going. Be consistent. Control what you can control, and that's it, you you know, that's just the mentality, man. Hell yeah, this is man. a marathon Health like as well, baby. It's a marathon like Nipsey said, man. It's a marathon. Remember that. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Remember that. Remember that. Okay, we got 51. one more super chat. He said, How was it working in round two? Oh, that's a Tony question. I was you got that. fans, boy. Yeah, that's two. The Tony that, lore man. is crazy. They coming in. Yeah, nah, he, can, he hit on Instagram sure. like nigga. He asked me some questions. Hey, asked <laughs> nothing, man. He posted the link. Nah, we did that. <laughs> I'll still pay you later. That was a nah, he got real. pass, and you know, here we are now. The future of all of that shit. Man, that? tell him, tell him what you got going on, my boy. Uh, you know, I DJ around the city here and there. T Stark, you know, I DJ with the homie Voila Sound Systems, you know. That's about it, man. We ain't gonna end it on that though. Now we gotta talk about something else. <laughs> no, we ain't. I, know. I ain't ending it on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do fuck with my nigga Sean Witherspoon though, man. He did a, he, he yeah, did some things on Melrose. He did some things that nobody could do. He had an Air Max. Yeah. He had a hat to match and a T-shirt to go with it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. super crazy. He had some Adidas. 
Love like, bro, like he sent us all the stuff. He was doing it up. He had the adventure stories. He was, it was going crazy, but it's just like, come on. I think, I think after that Floyd, uh, what was it, uh, Floyd? What? It was the riot. It was, it was the, the riots. riots. Oh, mm-hmm. all of that. I mean, it was that the riots. A, that closed a lot of people's businesses. Bruh. We made it through that. A lot of people. Barely. Made it a little that. bit. Barely, but the but store in Virginia yeah. closed. Like I moved oh, wow. here from Virginia with them. So oh, wow. Really? Yeah, like, so oh, yeah. I'm from yeah. Richmond and. They open round two, you know, I was working with them. Mm-hmm. They left to go do the whole L.A. thing because it was starting to get popping in Richmond, you know, the whole buy, sell, trade shit. Yeah. So they're like, we're going to go to L.A. and do that. And um, they asked me to come out here with them. So I moved out here with them, kind of through the whole beginning of the store. And, you know, okay. like kind of once I left, I kind of did some other stuff, left the store. OK, OK. One question I've never asked nobody. How do you actually authenticate some shoes? He'll definitely know. I think certain shoes from a certain era have very big quality differences. You know what I mean? If you're talking about like... So side by side, you will know a fake. Now, the fake shit is crazy. Like, oh, wow. It's too crazy. Now everybody it knows crazy, that it's though. profitable. So it's like, you know what I mean? Now you get to There's a point where clothes. When you get to a certain point when even clothes come into a store, you can see the manufacturer. If you work at a store now, you might can... See mm-hmm. where they make their stuff at it. You can go over there mm-hmm. and tap in with those manufacturers, but now the manufacturers know, like, oh shit, we was making these shoes for Nike. I still got the cut. I can re rock it. You know what I mean? Wow. Now they're super, you know, there's whole Instagrams that make reps and they look identical. No, literally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, Nigga, a lot of those rep factories, B factories, like that made the real the shit. Shoes. That yeah. made the actual shoes. Or the yeah. clothes and the and they just mad back well, yeah, going. They getting they get their lick back on the low. That's crazy. I'm like, how are y'all making the fake girls tour and y'all are making the real one? Like, why would you do that to me? <coughs> They're oh. grimy. Nigga, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. I mean, once deals. people start faking you, you lick. You oh, made that's it. true though. Look, look, it's look. enough money for yeah, everybody. everybody. Like, so, if so, but they start faking you, it's lit. I mean, even Virgil spoke on that. It's like, nigga, you not lit unless that they is happening for you. you. It's sure. like that's the bootleg. Until other people realize compliment. that it's uh, you it's know, profitable for everybody. It's like, oh shit, they they're bootlegging my shit out here. I'm lit. It's really stapled in America. America, culture. it's a real because cultural so moment. That's a whole cultural thing. thing. Like hip hop, I think it, it it took a whole travel from like we didn't really know what was going on. Mm-hmm. You know, we started intermingling, you know, white people, black people, the music, everyone likes it. And then we get to a point that where it was like, wait, this is our culture. Like, Hakeem, you from Jamaica, you know, Jamaica yeah, yeah. has a culture. Mexico has a culture. Europe has a culture. But us as African-Americans, we kind of looking lost. Like, oh, we don't really know what's ours. Mm-hmm. And you turn around and you like this 50, 51 year old thing <clears throat> is our culture. Right. And that's the core of what's kind of going on. So it's like, now everybody's kind of grasping for that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like... It's the core of all this shit now at this point. You feel me? Like, there's no more pop culture, nigga. Rap is pop culture. But it always yeah. was in a sense. Like, a little from bit. the core of like, when pop culture became a thing, it was always like, oh, what what the black people kind of doing that? Facts. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of cool that we can kind of bite from. And, <laughs> Somebody know. said I used to sell fake Glass Kings. <laughs> and people so was definitely last getting off last yeah. teams though. And, like, that's and, a, a and, and a back on fig shirt. I seen some you back on fig back shit. On oh my god! I seen crazy. back on fig shirt. On Bro, you know what I mean? Or some shit. I'm like, you, you might have to bring damn. Lost Kings back, low key. It might be time. You might <laughs> not doing that. Last fig, uh, last fig. You don't even want to listen to Buster Rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> no, for the old time, you know, uh, uh, that might be a crazy rebrand, bro. Tisa, Tisa has is coming back. Oh, bro. Tisa, Tisa is crazy, though. That's crazy, yeah, though. Tisa, Tisa is crazy, Tisa, though, man. To be honest, like, that was like, boy. First of all, Last Kings was crazy. Fuck y'all. Last yeah, Kings they was interchangeable, crazy, like, from the last time. No, shout out, was, shout out Last Kings, bro. Last Kings was, like, it kind of survived off of Tyga and, like, him wearing it and, like, him repping it. I don't think we could bring it back without him. Bro, yeah. that's you know? 100%. And hey, when y'all get good, the, last the piece of land. That's bro. how y'all, hey, that, the that makes sense. The rebrand, yeah. bro. Style the rebrand. Style rebrand. Hey. Okay, so back where that should shit. we buy shoes? Like real authenticated hey. shoes. Don't come out dot com. That's where you're going to buy you all the real shoes. Hey. But if, you got you. <laughs> if you want other stuff, man... <clears throat> The homies down in Syndicate got Let's you. go. I'm just about to say that, the man. The homies down in Syndicate Shout in Chinatown. Shout out my niggas at Syndicate, man. We just okay. had a little... Anim- I, I DJ their anniversary, their second year anniversary over at General Release. I, I actually okay. sell my shit to two places, and I buy my stuff from two places. 
Syndicate, and my guys at Cool Kicks. I fuck with Cool Kicks too. Yeah, Those are my cool people. Kicks, yeah. Those are my two people I go they to for sneakers. But I'm actually too. at the luxury point in my life now that you're not selling your truck. No, no, my, I get free stuff from yeah. Nike and Jordan. Yeah. Everybody. So, I'm not hey. selling nothing. I, my shit ain't worth shit. I'm no, fuck no, no, no. I you get shit. Stuff no, 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 no. That's my shoe. I ain't getting shit. Fuck you, bro. You supposed to sell me the babe chair? And I need them Dornbacher fours, bro. I got the babe chair downstairs. You can have that. You can have it. Hey, oh! Don't tell me that. I take it in the Uber right now. <laughs> <laughs> I bought that from a store in Chinatown, huh? I'll drop it. I'll drop it off. No, hey, don't tell me we bought that from old boy off the oh, corner on Fairfax. Yeah, from that big store. What Dom was that? Dom Gallery. Yeah. Dom mm-hmm. Gallery. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, shout out Chris He said bro I knew I knew bro From round two in Virginia God damn <laughs> He said I knew he, But yeah We finally gonna get up Out of here I ain't gonna hold y'all Too long. we been man. in this bitch man yeah, like two, two hour stream Four Four, so four He million. said two hours <laughs> That's why you sleep Two hours It's 8 o'clock We been in this 4 p.m. bro It's 8.08 That's why you fall asleep Heartbreak yeah, Four boy. hours What the fuck you talking about He's talking about two hours We've been in this Two bitch. hours man. It don't feel like We talking about likes that, too, We right? talking about Hella shit bro Four hours yeah, We man. crashed out For about two hours yeah. <laughs> We crashed out for, for sure For sure Four we hours went, We went an hour And thirty minutes Talking about crashed the boy out. He got about two weeks Worth of content Oh man, man uh, yeah. We'll see you in the bar He about to do A whole surgical we'll breakdown yeah, yeah, Now yeah. I'm involved Now I'm in the beef <laughs> Yeah you in the beef For sure Let me tell you this Put these niggas In the beef You talk about me I'm showing up at that dough step. I'm not yeah. even hey. wow, no, we, come, we come in peace, man. Shout out word to my boy Smack, bro. Yeah, word to my boy Smack, fair man. Love my boy Smack <laughs> to death. <laughs> yeah, fair to say, fair to say, fair, fair to, to say, say, man. man. Um, Monday, up, Monday, 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 Monday. I'm gonna try to stream this. Uh, cra- it, look, they invited, they invited back on Fig to this golf tournament, and I'm gonna try to stream from the golf course. On Monday, if it does not work, I'm gonna definitely film it, and I'm gonna still probably try to drop it at 4 p.m. If I film it, it's gonna be pre-recorded. I'm gonna still drop it at uh, 4 p.m. and I'm gonna premiere it. If not, if I can get Yuri over here to give me that backpack, and oh, you know what I'm saying, I need that backpack, and I can walk up. around on the golf course in Calabasas and stream with the homies and I'm you know I'm hopefully I got a surprise guest on Monday too. Hopefully I got a surprise, you know, co-host on Monday. It's going to be it's, it's going to be lit. That's you feel me? Good. It's going to be lit. So y'all don't y'all y'all don't be uh y'all don't be yeah look, if I premiere some shit, don't be mad at me, okay? Cuz I really need to get this golf course thing off. That's the homie, shout out the homie Ali. Feel me, y'all might know Ali. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah, a great Ali. engineer. Yeah, he's yeah. a great engineer. He didn't did a whole bunch of stuff from you know for TD. I'm not even gonna get into that because y'all know Ali. I'm just trolling. Um, but Ali, you feel me? He's doing ball shit. He has a company called Engineers. Going going crazy. If you if you need somebody to engineer engineer, you need an engineer. You need to call an engineer. Go to his site right now. Mix Engi- your songs for yeah, you. Yeah, mix everything. Master your song. Mm-hmm. So. Go over there at engineers.com. But yeah, we gonna get up out of here every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. But I, I might switch it up. It was. I might switch it up Monday, but every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. Back on Fig. Thank you for everybody that's tuning in. And you know, thank you for everybody that's supporting us.